hello person who clicked on this video. This is my full series on the Croftopia SMP Season 2. You can save this video in your Watch Later playlist and come back to it anytime because it is pretty long. There are timestamps for the individual t episodes so you got some navigation. So, the journey starts off on a snowy mountain. I joined a Minecraft SMP, it's Craftopia, and we're 12 members. Everyone's also doing YouTube videos, their links are all in the description. Check them out, they're really fun. This is gonna be the first episode, we have a little terrain altering mod in here and some other things, but it's mostly vanilla. So let's get started. Right, anyway, I suppose uh, uh, we should uh, head towards the, uh, the spawn area, which uh, I'm not gonna lie. I've forgotten which direction it is, so I'm just gonna... Let's go! Yeah, this is where we'll be putting our village. But that's oh, wow. it down it's there! Uh, yeah, I put a crafting table down for everyone. Just getting some... There's a cave. I'm gonna have where? to see about yeah, a making sure cave all this... Over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there's a village, isn't yeah, there? The oh, my God, oh, sweet berry cave. bushes, let's go! Oh, cool. that's actually an idea. <laughs> oh, oh, you're sorry. stealing yeah, all of them already! Okay, me. time to Don't steal cancel the me, bales. Please. Oh, no. There we go. Oh. Wait here, I'll, oh. I'll let you... Oh, hi, Colin! Make them quicker. all into bread and, Hello. like, divium, yeah. because people are gonna starve to death. Yeah, no, yeah. we need to um, plant a lot of sweet berry bushes for the beginning. And secure the villagers. Uh, maybe oh, this is not, it, the well. game is on hard? It will be oh my round. gosh, look at this huge cave. Oh, I started on an SMP and this right here is our team. Oh, I think before People. we break off, we should like <laughs> introduce ourselves and maybe the content oh, yeah, we make yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Alright. Hello? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 Can we sleep to remove the rain? Oh hell no, we can't. I would love for y'all to join me. Fantastic. Yeah! Yeah! He's yeah! our president. <laughs> Come on, loyalist. Bunch. Oh. <laughs> uh, hence why I'm very sound very posh. Can you explain yeah. what posh means for us Americans, please? Posh. <laughs> uh, it means I like to sip tea with my pinky finger raised. <laughs> the it and means he's better than all of us, okay? And I, yes. I look down on the savages uh, up north, like Morgan. Uh, so... Excuse me. I will not ben. take this. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, my turn. Go away. <laughs> look back there. There's pillagers behind us. Oh, oh yeah. no, don't uh, kill them. It's okay, just ignore them. If you ignore them, they'll go away. I'm from Scotland, northeast Scotland, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how it is. That's I just know. steal my limelight. <laughs> and I also just make Minecraft content. Someone else go now. Okay. I guess I'll go. Oh no, you go. Uh, you go. Hi. I'm Pepone. Oh, wait. And, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and I mostly make uh, Minecraft videos at the moment about tutorials and redstone and such things. And mm -hmm. yeah, now I guess it's time for uh, an SMP variant other than tutorials. Something something new, yeah. Woohoo! Where, Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Um, I'm from Austria. There are no kangaroos here. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, but there is one very famous painter. Oh, awesome! Nice. I think yeah. that was everyone. Okay, loyalist, let's take them on, but not the one with the flag. Wait, you wait, do... don't, don't, don't. I got you guys. I'll back don't you kill up. Them. Don't kill them. Don't, don't kill them. Don't kill the one with the flag. We can make them shoot each other. We can make them shoot each other. Ah, uh, no, uh, we have to kill them. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. We'll see. I just wanted to get iron because oh I die so so much. So I just raced Whoa. for iron. Bro, there were so many There's cows. What the hell? Cooking. All right, oh, time wait. for armor. Where's this last room? All right, I'm full iron. Let's go. This generation here is sick. Ooh. The caves are also modified. Oh, I've got <gasps> no idea how many levels. Oh this my one gosh, has. I found diamonds. I just did one on hardcore, and I think it was. Woohoo! First diamonds of the server. Yes. Let's go! First time. Wait, how do you get diamonds? Yes, I oh, got a totem. Oh, more diamonds! You no scared me, man. You... <gasps> more Honestly, diamonds? What wait, is I this? Can... What oh, the f... Oh, no. oh, is... oh, I found a deep dark, but without an ancient city. I found it in the skulk things. Oh my god. I know. What's, what's it? <gasps> no way! Nope. What? Vindicate. Well, if you just come here and pick up the stuff that's left no here, way. just so that we don't... I just I, found I, diamonds I behind lava. I just lava. saw that you walk died. What? And that can died. Alright, oh, yeah. perfect. Have mercy. 
it lit by just having some lava. Um, right, it's time to go die. into the nether. First person in the nether. Wait a minute. Did you get all of your um totals? Oh, right. I picked up one as well, so this is what it looks I, like. Here. I have three. This direction. More diamonds. Like not where I'm looking, it's but like the I'm way cheating. I'm going. I'm not X-raying, believe me. You're gonna see it in the recording. Yeah, no worries, it's not yeah. x-ray if it's called free cam. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't yeah, even have here. free cam. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> no! Oh, are they all in here? I'll get the, uh... I wanna right, go down get there back and get out. that stuff. Alright. Hero of the village! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Five totems, stuff, that's though. really not oh, there are more yeah, diamonds. Totems? Well, oh, yeah. yeah. I guess then... Oh, what the... <gasps> there are just more diamonds everywhere. Oh, oh. do you only need coal for torches? Is the diamond spawn rate increased? No, as far as I'm aware. Okay, might just be the biome then. Here. Here. I mean, it's not like it's That's not crazy. One. It's it's still kind of normal for what height am I on? Yeah, minus fifty. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it is kind of normal. To it's find normal. Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, uh, diamonds. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, paper. just talking about it. I just found more. Just gotta watch out that the creeper doesn't explode him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Congrats. And diamond armor. Oh man. I don't want to spawn a warden because I'm in a deep dark run now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I cannot I'm, I'm wait sneaking. until I show Harvey the fucking deep dark. I That's mean, it's it's just a small, small deep dark here. But it's still one. Just jump into the water, in the lava in the nether. Well, I don't know. Where am I? Yeah, 500 blocks away, down deep. Where am I? <laughs> where am I? I don't know where I am anymore. If you don't know where you're at, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I left my. Oh no! Back in the Look at the achievement. Oh, no. oh, there's, there's. I'm in the deep <laughs> dark. Oh, I found a mine shaft. I think, or is that? Does anyone have oh, this wool? Is cute. This is... Um, I think. No, I they heard me. Okay, I found a mine shaft and I found more diamonds. Yay! Whoa, that's a lot of diamonds. Yeah, free cam cheating X-ray. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I am now officially <laughs> deaf after that. I know that was a lot of I'm sorry. I think, I think there's blood in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, uh, that, that's um, not mine over cool. there. Cool, I, li I like the concept. I had the two extra doors, because, you know, um, from that one thing, and I thought I might use them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah please don't take anything like from the, that uh, chest. Bro, I tell you, my first video is going only going to be me finding diamonds. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm go I, cause I clip it every time I find a diamond. I'm gonna cut it in every single time. <laughs> oh. Remember me. Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I, like that. I, I got it. Oh, no. oh his, you, you his, him. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I'm oh, nice. I'm gonna have to dig a hole. Uh, me? More diamonds. Oh, God. <laughs> disaster. Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll go to so good. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. the sniper. Yeah. 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 Oh, what the fuck? I was just tunneling up and found diamonds. What the hell, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, what? Get your big head back in here. Come here. There's so many. There's so many. This is the biggest. This is the biggest diamond Wayne I've ever seen. What the hell? This... Do you guys care? Can I take the white one back? What the hell? What? This is. I'm in single player world, cheating right now. What the fuck? What is this? Bro. I just need white wool and I don't have any dye. I'm gonna be excited once I upload the video. I am done mining and now I will be settling around this area here. It is around the community center where everyone else is. Over there is still my chest with my stuff that I had parked there earlier. And this here is all the loot I got from mining. 42 diamonds and full diamond. It is crazy, bro. Okay. I'd be sweet One, two, to build three, a little village four, down here. Five. Almost, you know? Thanks. Oh, well, I'm gonna go on an exploration. I have enough for to get two. Some sugar cane. Wait, did I not just. That's it how our really that's our society nice. for you guys. Yo, there's a flying island generated. What? Yeah, someone yeah, found the loser earlier. Is crazy you near me. What the hell? That's sick. I want to go up there and see what's there. It's above an ocean even, so if I fall down, then nothing will happen. Do you want an enchanter? Oh, you want a hoe? No, I want. A, I actually want an axe. Alrighty, time to jump down. Isn't it? Whoa! That looks crazy. 
Alright, I just came up over here when I placed my nether portal. This is where I was earlier. And here is kind of the spawn area. Wait one second. And yeah, here we are. I placed one over here. And yeah, really funny coincidence that this is so close. I need to go find an ocean. Wait, oh. you were oh, flying. Uh, I don't know what oh. you had. Hang on. Okay, perfect. I, lo I love this village here. We have here lapis, we have the repair and enchant table, and we have this <gasps> immense smelter here. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oops. And I'll be nice to give you Wait. a couple of these. Well. No, okay, we didn't. Um, what the hell? It's got armor. <laughs> it just dropped three pieces of armor. Whoa. <laughs> Taking damage. <laughs> Yay. Alright. Smelter's finished for now. I can make the bamboo farm bigger if we need more bamboo and if we need to smelt more. Leave me alone. But Leave for me alone. now, this is finished. I just nearly died, nice. Well, I have now decided to end the farm a little, because we want some more bamboo, because we want to trade the sticks, and we also need more fuel. Yeah, this, this is quite big, isn't it? This quartz mining here is dangerous. What the hell? Surrounded by lava. Be careful with things Oh, like I this. found a rune portal. Nice. nice. Bro, this here... Bridging along this area is always kind of dangerous. Alright, perfect. I think I have a stack. I'll get oh. some more because I'll need more observers in the it's future. Time. I'm exploring the nether right now. Oh, there's That's a warp forest. We can have some endermen oh. and ender pearls. That's sick. Yeah, That's the amazing. bamboo farm isn't... It, I've finished the bamboo farm now, so... Baboo this farm? is the baboo, baboo. farm. The baboo. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is done now for now. I don't think I'll expand it even further because this is already crazy. <laughs> this will produce so much bamboo. Oh my gosh! I mean, we can make it bigger if we want more sticks to trade, but it's quite good for now. All right, don't wonder about the cut. I was just making something for my automatic smelter because we have a bamboo farm next to it and if the bamboo farm produces too much bamboo then this chest would overflow. But with this system I made right here, which is very complicated, I make it, made it so that if it is overflowing, if there would be too much bamboo in there, then it would just always flow down here in this overflow storage and still keep being full over here so you can smelt enough items. This is really useful. The way it works is you detect that the chest is full. This sends a signal strength of 15. Then this comparator here detects that there is a single strength from 15 and because it is powered by the side by 14 and set to subtract mode, it will go to a signal strength of 1. This signal strength of 1 will be led over here down here, I try to make it compact, and will deactivate this redstone lamp here, as you can see. I'm a real quick showcase it again. We will deactivate it and then there will be items flowing through this hopper here instead of this hopper will because this is full and will be leading down here. We've done a lot. This isn't the only thing that we've done. We've also made more things everywhere. We have an iron farm, we have villagers. This is crazy for day one. I am currently on the search for diamonds down in the depths of the modified caves of the Craftopia SMP. So far I have gathered a stack and 21 diamonds with my fortune free pickaxe. Let's see how this continues. Nice, a name tag. And over here I've also seen something. Oh, another name tag. And whoa, there's another chest. Here we have another name tag. Woo. Whoa, this mineshaft is right at bedrock. Whoa, it's really deep down low. And by the way, don't wonder, these black stones here are due to the modified caves of the mod. Alright, I have encountered a cave spider spawner and I have lit it up so nothing will spawn. That was a nice batch of diamonds and there are even more! I'm at minus 55.
Oh, down here at height minus 60 are some more diamonds. And there's another spawner. I have just found my nether portal from the beginning. I was just digging along. What is this coincidence? This was the thing from the first day. I, I built the nether portal here. What? No way I just found this. This... What? Yeah, this is the same area and those are some diamonds that I haven't seen yet there. I'm gonna take those now. Some nice parkour. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Alright, crawling down here to get those diamonds over there, which I just saw under the lava. Oh, hell no. Whoa. Whoa. I got under the lava. What? Oh, gosh. That could have ended badly. Oh, a bat head. Oh. Behind the gold were diamonds. <laughs> Bro, I trapped him and now he's dying in the magma blocks. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god. Whoa, this is a huge vein. Nice. Yo, there's a ton of mobs here. What? What? Why are there so many mobs here? I usually want to kill the creepers for some gunpowder. But hell no. Not while 10 skeletons are shooting me. Oh, but I'm gonna take the diamonds. What? <gasps> oh, there's a glowberry cave and a slime! Huh? There, w there just spawned a one zombie here. What? They all have gold armor. What? This is so random. Where was that slime now? Bro, yeah, and obviously in this area are slimes and diamonds. This area where I have to fight constant spawning mobs. Oh, here he is. Both died to fall damage, but at least there's one slime ball. Wow, I couldn't even kill them with looting. Disappointment. Yes, Axolotl! You're mine! Yippee! Oh, and an Axolotl head from the data pack, and another one. Let's go! Now I have three bat heads, one zombie villager head, and I guess I'm kicking out the rotten flesh and. I don't know if we have beetroot seeds, so I'm gonna kick out the blackstone. And there's another one, let's see uh, if we can murder some more axolotls for their heads. Give me your head. Okay, this time we didn't. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, there are so many skeletons. I can't, I can't get out of the hole. Oh wow. Well. Bro, skeletons, I tell you, number one most annoying mob. Especially in hard mode when they hit every single arrow. Alright, I believe I've gathered enough. More than a half a stack of blocks of diamond, two stacks blocks of redstone and a lot of lapis and gold as well. Some nice heads, some glowberries glowing, name tags, ender pearl, exolotl, slime ball, beetroot seeds for Harvey, and yeah, this is great. I'm running out of po baked potatoes, so I just have two left, so that's why I'm returning up. Alright, the light of day. Well, it's night, and I have no idea where I'm at, and I don't have enough resources for a boat. But there's more loot to be gathered in this shipwreck. What? I can't open this chest. What? Oh no, it's lagging. Nice, did the server crash? Nice, okay, now the buried treasure map is a normal map. Great! Yeah! Wow, nice lag, bro. What the hell? Oh, there's a ship down there. Maybe this will have a buried treasure map. Or the server will cra crash again. Oh, this is far away and I don't have a boat. I'd get, have to go... This way, so, so, yeah, this is like the exact opposite way of where I need to go to get to spawn. Uh, let's go there anyways. Alright, this buried treasure would be really far away. As you can see, my thing 
is small here, so I would have to go really, really far. But I don't, bro, I'm so far away from spawn. I don't know if I should even, yeah, now I'm gonna get it. Now, you know, I'm so deep into it. But at least I'm on one height. Bro, every time a bird treasure map gets generated, the server nearly crashes. What the hell? Alright, we have arrived and it should be right around here. And yep, easy, let's go. Oh, some nice heart of the sea. I'm also gonna slaughter some turtles because I want their head. Alright, got one. Time for number two. <laughs> it's not a 100% chance, I think it's quite low, but for turtles it might be a little bit higher. Okay, just got one out of those three turtles. It's fine though. Oh, look what I found just right here. It is a drowned with a trident. Time to get a trident, isn't it? Oh, he's dealing quite some damage. And he's knocking me back. But, okay, never mind. Sadly, did not get one. Alright, I'm back at my base. At our base. As you can see, we have quite some progress. And here's my wonderful bamboo farm, which is working like a charm. Whoa, we are already have two double chests of bamboo. Nice. And phantoms. Four phantoms. Time to burn them. Yes, burn. Burn. <laughs> yeah, they're burning in the sunlight. Alright, so in total I now have 40 blocks of diamonds. Wow. This adds so much redstone. Bro, I'm finally rich again. After I've crafted everything and used all my resources and what whatnot. Bro, and all those heads, bro, this is sick. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need blaze rods, but where could I get them from? Oh, right. Alright then, here we are. Let's get some blaze rods, shall we? I'm now gonna explore the dangerous nether to find a nether fortress and maybe some bastions. Alright, I have arrived in a warped forest to get some endermen. And here is our first one. I have looting free, so, so this should go pretty quick. And yes, we have two ender pearls already from one enderman. And here I already see the next one. Get ready to drop your pearls. Oh, he teleported away. Oh, hell no. He wants to drop me down now, huh? Does he? Okay. Alright, got him. Hello, would you pl please move over here? Yes, this should be good now. Yeah, perfect. Alright, time to drop your pearls. Don't fall in the lava, please. Yes, and more pearls. Three endermen and seven pearls. Here is, by the way, looting free and mending. Sadly, don't have a uh, sharpness there yet, but that will come in the future. I can't believe there are so many endermen, and they're quite aggressive. I don't have full prod 4 yet, but I'm still quite resistant to damage, and 11 ender pearls. I don't know how much I need, I think I'm gonna go with 16 or something. Because I want some ender chests and other things. Alright, one more. Get here, oh he's not even fighting back. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Gotta cover up the lava so it doesn't just occupy the whole way, and also that no one gets hurt. And it's also more beautiful this way. Alright, that one took a while to spawn, but... Well, we got more now. Oh, he didn't drop anything, I believe. But I still got 15 already. I think I'm done with Ender Pearls. Now let's head over to searching for some fortresses. You always have to watch out with gravel like this, because it can all just fall down. And you have to carefully place your blocks here. Now when you are bl bridging along anywhere, then I recommend bridging at the lava height. So if you happen to fall off, you can just swim back up your track if your armor is good enough. Or if you just damage cancel by just rejoining. If you are in the nether, I recommend always scanning the bone blocks, because they can be used for bone mill and for building, obviously. They're really useful, always get a stack or more. Or at least, you know, everything you can find. Oh! Yes! I found one! Alright, let's head up then. I already hear and see a blaze spawner and a ghast right above me. Oh, I need to watch out. Also from the for those wither skeletons over there. 
See, you have to do this to prevent wither skeletons from coming, and there's also a ghast, which is not good. Oh, hell no, there are so many blazes. I mean, I want blaze roads, but I don't wanna. I don't want that, to have that many blazes around my place. Just trying to get every single blaze here, and I'm burning again. But I already have 13 blaze rods, which should be enough, but I want to brew a lot, so... Uh, so that is not enough. I need more. And I'm gonna get those more. Right now. Yes. Get here. Okay, I believe half a stack should be enough for now. Oh, there is a ghast shooting me, and I can't even render him. Okay, nice. Alright. I have found a chest. And yep, I have a saddle. Yippee. And there's another chest. Whoa. And it doesn't have anything except gold. Well, that is not too good. But we can continue searching. Alright, some horse armor. Nice. Always when you are in nether fortresses, mark the paths you have been at. Because then you won't run in a labyrinth in a circle. And as you can see, placing two blocks above your head works perfectly because they are three blocks high and you are just two blocks high. I still need some nether ward and as I am saying that, I find some. This is awesome. I'm not going to take every single one to make sure that if someone happens to come over here later than me that they can find some more. Always do that. Always leave something. Oh. There's even more, but I don't need that much, I just need at least one. And there's another chest, and sadly it doesn't have too much in it, but it's better than nothing. Right, two more horse armor, no diamonds or other, you know, templates yet, but that might change. But I don't know how much I can still loot here. The only things I could get would be some wither skeleton heads. Other than that, I think it's pretty empty already, isn't it? Alright, now that I have gathered all the resources I need, I'm on my way back to deposit all of them. Maybe later I'll also have a look at finding a Bastion, because I didn't yet, and I really want Bastion loot. Alright, now that I'm back, I have stored all my items, and now it's time to, I guess, get some netherite. And also, I wanna enchant my boots and my helmet, so for that I'm gonna need some levels. Because I need 14 levels, because I have two books here that I wanna put down. And yeah, let's go. Yo. Yeah, he made that earlier today. Yo, I just got Feather Falling for Fire Protection 2 Unbreaking 3 Gold Boots with 2 Durability. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> yeah. I mean, throw Mending on him and you got some good boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm getting the levels by just mining some Quartz here, because they give a lot of levels. Let's see how much I can get, because I want to get those 14 quite fast. And I think this is the fastest early game way, because we don't have an XP farm yet. Oh Hello. my gosh, I have to somehow get back, hey, and I have lost the way. And there are magma cubes everywhere. Oh hell no. Here. I now have the 21 levels, and it's time to return. I kind of found my path, so let's see how that works. We've gone backwards, and I nearly trapped myself over here, so I have to watch out really badly. Oh, yeah, I've look! Replaced the sign so there are two no, striders on top of each here. other. What? I'm gonna kill them both. <laughs> Server's lagging a bit. Oh, sadly, yeah, didn't get a head from them. them Alright, now it is time to enchant my armor and I will finally be able to also repair those two pieces because they're quite broken already. Alright, I wanted to show you my new house. I haven't recorded the building of it sadly because I forgot, but we have here something standing out of the mountain and as you can see there's a bottom part and a top part here you can just look out and also have the great bamboo farm and smelter next to it but you can go in by just running through a wall yes this is very funny and yeah we have some things in here we have my resources and hats and diamonds and such and i don't know what i'm gonna put in here yet but this is really cozy here hi you're here now hi ah. I found a way. I, found I just a way wanted in. to record about uh, record the uh, thing. Oh, I just wanted to try to find the way in, and I just realized how I could get in. So. How you like it in there? I feel 
claustrophobic. <laughs> That's good. If that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, I try to make it as compact as possible for some reason. It's <laughs> I, I like it though. You haven't? Did I've you notice the axolotl? Wait, that was an axolotl. I thought that was a <laughs> yeah. for some reason. <laughs> That's I an axolotl. That was like a security box. measure. No, no. Down here is the security measure. <laughs> Oh, and look, gotcha, here, gotcha. here are like, you know, repeaters and such, and there are different types of storage, and a yeah, bed, and a diamond gone. block. Oh my uh, god, the amount of bamboo you have goes a double yeah. down here. And a double chest up here, yeah. Here you can see the house from the outside. As you can see, it is very small, but it will get bigger, or at least I will add something bigger next to it in the future. This here is just a starter base and really cozy place to just store my items in and also here by the way a very cinematic shot of the huge bamboo farm which also connects with the smelter which is very very cool you can see me building that circuit here in the first episode hi today i want to show you how i prepare for the ender dragon fight and then the end city looting on a minecraft smp but this time the Ender Dragon fight will be a little more challenging because we want to go in without armor and without weapons. So we should only, you know, punch the Ender Dragon and <laughs> and destroy the crystals with hand with just stacking up with blocks. So this is gonna be fun. But anyways, I have made a list of the things that I usually take into the end and also those extra things which is on screen right now. Something that is not on the list is slow falling potions, I might make those in eventually but not yet. Alright let's begin the process of gathering all the materials. Well before we start gathering all of them I wanna show you where I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them in the ender chest and also in this minecart with the chest here cause this right here is just you know my personal storage over here you know I got my valuable chest, I got my heads down here and some other things. First off we're gonna need the stack of bottles. For this I used my smelter to get quite some glass and now I'm gonna craft some more bottles. Those bottles are for the dragon's breath because you need that for brewing. It's kind of useless but I still want to get at least you know a stack when I go in there because otherwise you would have to respawn him extra and then get them and that's a little bit tedious. Then the next thing I'm gonna need is not bamboo, no, it's mending and unbreaking for the elytra. And also an anvil obviously, because whenever you get an elytra in the end cities then you can already enchant it perfectly so that you can fly further. You would also need some rockets, but I don't really have the resources for them yet, I'm gonna have to see. The ender dragon fight is just a few days after the start, so like this is quite close so we don't have that many resources to already go into the far end but let's just see well now here I'm trading some sticks that is the main source of emeralds that I have at the moment because my bamboo farm is so great you can by the way watch the video about how I made that bamboo farm oh that guy reset already that's good okay now that I have some emeralds I think this should be enough oh gosh all right two times mending and unfortunately our unbreaking free book is 36 emeralds. I do not know why he accepted that trade, the person that made the villagers, but I guess he cured them so it's probably just like two emeralds for him. But still, I, he's not online so I have to get him myself now. This right here is a bit beside the point, but I want the head of the wandering trader and I also want the leashes. So I'm just gonna, you know, take care of those llamas here. And yep, I got the head. Alright, I'm crafting an anvil now, so we're also obviously going to need that. And now I'm combining those two books, make sure to use the way around that it costs two and not three. And yeah, here perfectly you have your books and oh, yeah my door is a little, you know, special, but here we have those things now. I'm gonna put those diamonds down in the bottom because those aren't relevant at the moment. Next on the list would be a silk touch pickaxe, but I unfortunately don't have silk touch anywhere, so we will have to wait for that one. Though I can try unenchanting this 27 durability uh, diamond pickaxe and see what I could get. 
with this and uh, nope there's no silk touch for 100% so yeah mm, next thing would be for the ender dragon's egg the pistons and some buttons you could do it with several ways I like to do it with pistons and buttons and yep here we go I've got them now and th this is also sorted an extra ender chest, we already have that here. I'm going to real quick implement a few clips that I recorded yesterday on how I got the ender chest and such. It didn't make it in the last video, so I'm just gonna throw it in here. Have fun with that. Alright, I am currently making something for a path downwards. Because uh, we are up here in, you know, far above the lava. We are at height 66. So we need a safe way downwards without going, you know, somewhere far. So I'm just dropping some gravel here and then I'm gonna put some ladders on it. But first I'm gonna light up the area here with some nice candles. I mean lanterns. They're all on these poles here so that it just looks a little nicer and we have a little more light now. And there will maybe be less skeletons over here because there are skeletons around here all the time. I'm also gonna add a safety trapdoor here and a sign that says down. Yeah, as you can see we have the pillar here and it will go down right in the middle of the lava so you're able to collect some lava and also make paths to the other sides. The only issue is that there are ghasts that can shoot you. Alright, I have now bridged over to this part over here and I will make a little tower out of the deep slate here because if the gravel here gets destroyed by a ghast then the whole thing will just be down and we don't want that. I am currently adding some extra safety measures. This is just by encasing the whole thing. It's mainly everything against ghasts because ghasts are awful. As you can see, I just got shot by a gas here and it shot right through. Wow, that was funny. And yeah, that's basically it. You just place the lava in there and then you have some obsidian that you can mine. Alright, now I just made it look a little bit better. This looks like a kind of well now as well. So it doesn't hurt if there's no lava being converted. This looks fine and normal. Alright, I now have 16 so I can make two ender chests. This is perfect. Alright, crafting them now. Here we have the eyes of ender and here we have two ender chests. Perfect. I think I'm gonna place it here because that's the only place in here where I still have space. For now I'm just gonna fill it with these things because all the other things I have in here in those things are not as valuable and I don't believe anybody will steal them. And now because we are doing this without armor I'm gonna have a chest, a sign and a bed for me to have in the overworld next to the end portal. Then also something real important is a water bucket but I al always have that in my inventory but also some extra food would be really nice because running out of food is really awful so I'm just gonna put two stacks of baked potatoes in there I know baked potatoes isn't the greatest but this right here is I think day four of the SMP so we don't really have anything better yet then we're gonna also need a stack of logs because you always want to have some wood when you're in the end because you can craft chests you can craft several things like trap doors and such and you can also bridge yourself along with the slabs. So I'm just gonna farm like two stacks of wood and put it in the ender chest. Alright, this is done now and we can continue. Okay, putting it in there, maybe also that kind of bit, because you know, it never hurts. And also some iron, uh, you always need some iron. Then the next thing would be feather falling boots, but we don't have feather falling either yet. I just have, you know, here mending and prod fear. I don't even have unbreaking yet there, I could put it on, but haven't yet. But yeah, feather falling is very, very important, especially for end cities. 
then I also have on my list having three ender chests. I will get the remaining two real quick. Alright, you know what I'm also gonna make? I'm gonna make this a tiny bit more automatic with just placing one of these here and let's see if this works. Yes, it works! Perfect! Alright, then I can do this every time now. Now I just need some more ender pearls and blaze rods and which is, you know, eyes of ender. I'm gonna need three and then I'm gonna have three more ender chests. Obviously I won't put them in the ender chest because then I can't access them. I will have them in my inventory but still I put them in the ender chest for now. And the last thing we're gonna need is some iron pickaxes and extra food because you know we're without armor and without weapons in there we are also not allowed to punch the things with the iron pickaxe but you know we have to get have some way of getting up to the ender crystals so yeah this is mainly everything you can also have some feather falling potions i mean not feather falling slow falling potions yeah and feather falling enchantment and obviously you will also need rockets but I don't really have the resources yet for some rockets but and yeah it's mainly everything if you would go in there normally I would also recommend a bow but we also don't have the enchantments for a bow yet this ender dragon fight is really early into the season oh yeah and have looting have looting free for the shulkers and preferably you know sharpness 5 because I don't know if it affects shulkers that much but, you know, still also for the ender pearls you can get in the end. Alright, it's what happened. Oh my gosh, this is not intentional. Sorry if this is the intro. But yeah, I wanted to say that I'm going to farm some wither skulls and skulls and bastions. Have fun with the video. So let's go and get some. Alright, I have now arrived. This is the same place as it was in, in the last episode. Alright, we have our first one here. And no skull. But I'm sure I'm gonna get it soon. Oh, they're fighting. Hey, I got one and he picked it up. Nice. This took a while. I already have a stack of bones. 36 wither skeletons for one skull. That's kind of unlucky, I believe. I want to mention that I have looting free. Usually with looting free you have a chance 5.5% of getting a skull. But right now I am at a 2.5% chance, which is quite bad. Oh, let's go! Second Wither Skeleton Skull. This is taking quite long, but I'm soon done. Oh, yes! My third one. Alright, it's time to return now. Alright, I'm now home and I have posited the three Wither Skeleton Skulls and I have seen a Bastion, so I wanna go explore that real quick. Alright, I have arrived and the server is lagging a bit, so I'm unsure about going in there. As you can see, I can't even hit this guy. Um, let's just see how this goes. This might already even be looted, because I've seen kind of a path to here. Oh no, this seems quite full. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there's another chest, nice. Oh, I got pig stab, let's go. Oh, there's a piglin brood. Oh, there's a second one. They can't get up here, right? I hope not. All right, killed one of them. Okay, second one down. All right, time for more loot and there is more ancient debris and some more stuff, I love it. Whoa, smithing template. Let's go. All right, I have reached the top chest part up here, so I'm gonna loot those carefully now. So many golden carrots, wow. And I, <gasps> smithing template. No way. Let's go. All right, more things. This is insane, brother. Okay, more gold. I really like Gilded Blackstone. Gilded Blackstone is one of my favorite blocks. And now let's see what is in here. Oh, yes, the banner snout pattern. Let's go. Wow. I've gotten like everything I could from here. 
This is incredible! Gilded black stone obsidian crying obsidian ancient debris smithing template, then another smithing template for the netherite thing, then music discs, then the banner pattern. This is sick, bro. Bro, what is this down there? <laughs> What the heck? What is going on there? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, this is like a mob grinder, what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, I have found another bastion and let's loot that too real quick. Oh jeez, there are... There's a ton of big brutes after me. Oh my gosh. Yippee! Another oh, snout smithing template. I, yeah. I Time to kill some button. more pickling brooders. There are so many. Jeez. Jeez. There are so many. Just gonna hit them all at once. I don't know where all the chests are that are inside. And I'm not, I don't really want to explore that. Because that's yeah, really... Cause I just encountered a piglin brute, and this is the reason I don't explore this. Oh my god. Oh, there is a second one. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in the tunnels of the things. Oh! I got a piglin brute head now. On the 12th. Let's go. Yeah, bro, I, I tried to block him off with blocks, and it nearly didn't work. Like, he, he glitched through the blocks. <laughs> oh, I hate Oh, I know exactly what you mean. <gasps> he was he was sprinting at me, glitching through the blocks I placed. Oh, I found ham. <laughs> I found ham and 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 a knife. It's from the mod. Yeah. <laughs> what? In the back. Oh jeez, there's a, a bro. Where there's so many people sure, yeah. after me. Oh, but I've I've successfully looted the bastion, so that's good. I'm gaming right now. Jeez! I found a chest now, and there is a saddle, gold chest plate, gold ingot, and flint and steel in there. It's kind of useless. I'm gonna continue searching for a bastion now. Ooh, right past. One tiger. Oh my god, no way! I just killed one winter skeleton and I got a skull. Oh, and the second one! If I get hit, I'm dead. 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 <gasps> what? what? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I found an ancient debris at height at height 33 while randomly digging through the area. What? And you know, anything that's naturally generated. Wait, I just found a bastion without noticing it. I was just bridging along here. What the hell? Bro, I'm, I'm, how far am I? 2,000 blocks away now. Uh, okay. <gasps> no! More sheep, if anything. <gasps> yeah. Zombie Harvey, pigment's head. Harvey yeah, I know now what you mean. Yeah, I might need to watch a tutorial uh, yeah. where they are. I just made a crafting table. I just I made a crafting record. table and I crafted hey. up the SMP. <laughs> I'm not gonna report this. I just made a crafting table on this SMP. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> also, a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so please subscribe. <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> mm, I've um, seen a rune portal and I want to go there. Through... There he goes. Oh, never mind. He doesn't go. He doesn't go. He doesn't go. Go, 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 go. Please go. Go. Go, Mr. Lag. Man, I have two chests instead of six, but at least it's two, huh? Should I go for one more, more bastion? You, you should, you should come back. Yeah, <laughs> true. Let's see on my mini map. Oh, sorry, I've just found. I discovered on my mini. <gasps> I've just discovered on my mini map that there is a treasure bastion. <laughs> sorry, I'm not coming back. <laughs> I am going to loot that damn treasure bastion. <laughs> oh, you just you upload too much, <laughs> too much. <laughs> but they're just eight minutes. <laughs> eight minutes is hard to find in school. Any other time I have has to be on the grind. <laughs> yeah, true. You can grind a dime. Bro, killing piglin brutes with sharpness zero is taking forever. Sharpness zero. And right <laughs> yeah. now the grind is me. Uh, <laughs> if you're watching this, Harvey, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> no, I just nearly died. Oh, and then nearly died again. A hoglin knocked me down and I nearly fell into lava, but I, catch I caught myself on a block and next to the block was a piglin brood. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And a chest, okay, that it was worth it. Soul speed 2. <laughs> <laughs> Should well, I? Yeah, I'm keeping soul like speeds too. Alright, time to loot the treasure. And the treasure bastion. And not die, hopefully. Lol. Lamau XD. Piglin Brood Lamau XD. I only have one Piglin Brood ahead so far. Left. Oh, those piglins really don't like me taking all their gold, do they, huh? I'm gonna block myself in right now. This is the story of me getting hated by all the piglins. This is the story of me crafting and mining on it, that's it. <laughs> this is the story of why a whole entire species hates me. <laughs> my bloodline. Yo, I opened the chest and I have a netherite ingot. Let's go. And more smithing tablets. Yo. Alright, now I am on my way back. I am very far away. I was, I uh, think, like 1,500 blocks or like 2,000 even away from spawn. Yeah, 2,200 blocks away from spawn. Yeah, I'm gonna walk that whole path backwards now. Fast bridging over lava. As well. Sheesh. Oh, I forgot, forgot what his name is. What? I just found ancient debris again. What? It hides 55 of foundation debris. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? There's some turtles in my goddamn lettuce. <laughs> Can't believe these turtles are infecting my plants. Damn, these damn turtles in my refrigerator. <laughs> gonna, gonna have to put some plastic on my plants. <laughs> <laughs> I am so back. Don't, don't worry, from... turtles. I'll, I'll eat the plastic <laughs> for you. <laughs> I am back from my exploration now. Yes. Oh, nice. Bro, I need a I'm second chest for valuable items. I have too many valuable items. <laughs> too rich, bro. Chest. Should I display my piglin and brood head in front of my house? Can I just put it there? Yeah, yes. I'm gonna do it. Then I can feel it. Yes, I put Your it there. Your house is gonna get defaced because everyone hates the brutes. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and from the craft hope, yes, and but little do they know. All right, I've returned to my base, and here we have a lodestone now with a compass, and I have also put all my ancient debris stuff in here. I have a lot now already, and this chest is getting more and more full. I might need a second chest for valuable items. I mean, I kind of have with these here, but you know. This is getting quite full here already. Oh, there's an illusioner, huh? What's there? Why the hell is there an illusioner? Excuse me? There's an illusioner here in the nether. <laughs> oh my god. Well, he went from the raid. Did. Oh. Nice, I got oh. him. What the hell? <laughs> oh shit, you got voluntary exile. Which means if you come back, you have to do a raid. New person isn't the best at PvP. Yeah, let's you do know. it, whatever. <laughs> I never died once like, more than once just because got uh, Let's go. <laughs> Alright, got him. Next ones. Those are easy. Oh, some witches. No, they're destroying the crops. Illusioner! Oh no, Ravenger! Oh hell no! Bro, what okay. the hell I can't see? Um, just keep track of all the tomes you get from. I just played half the. Oh, there, there's a, there's a, fuck, there's a damn the magic guy on the, <laughs> on oh the ravager. God. Yeah, that ravager's not gonna be easy. Oh, half a heart. <gasps> oh, that wasn't. Oh no, rage quit. Okay, I got two totems. <gasps> oh. oh, he rage quit. Oh hell no. We're that good. We just didn't die. Oh yes, Max head. You got a Max head? Yes. Bro, I didn't even know they had heads! Yeah. Put on the goddamn head. I wanna see it. I didn't realize you guys couldn't hear me. We, we no, didn't I take it. that whole fight. <laughs> <laughs> you have the mad face! Let's yeah. go! I have the oh, mad Max no. head. <sighs> I'm right here in the end to take out every single end city I can find. I've borrowed an elytra from Keeves so I can hunt faster. Here's how I got that elytra. Do you need fireworks too? Uh, I have a stack and a half. Um, I know. Oh, here. Yeah, that's here. Farm, but yeah, here it is. 
Alright. This should literally go straight to the stronghold. <laughs> Bro, this is so scuffed. Look at the dimensions. Let's go, I'm in the end portal thing. Alright. Yeah. Uh, wait, you wanna go in there too? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'll just go through the end portal to get home a lot quicker. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Jeez, there was a fight. Oh, have you not been here yet? <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't been online oh, it, for it three really days. Bad. Um, the dragon wouldn't perch, so we had to jump off these towers to punch it to death. <laughs> it took about an hour. We I'm... ended up just using swords because we weren't doing damage to it. I am... <laughs> it was I'm... really bad. I'm glad was... I didn't... Oh, I'm glad I didn't attend. Really scuffed. Because yeah. none of us ended up even, like, using our recordings of it. It just wasn't entertaining. Oh, okay. Okay, what the heck? I don't know how that happened. If you go straight north, no one's been there. And if you go okay. straight east, no one's been there. Okay. Wait, is there any way to Here. turn off fog? Oh. Take a little extra. Oh, thanks. You might get stranded. I would make sure you mark any of the portals you find. Anyways, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. Yippee. I just found one the second I flew away. And it isn't looted yet. There's no way, bro. No way, bro. Here's gonna be my first shulker. Yep, let's go, shulker shell. Alright, this is a way to get down if you have the levitation effect. You just use water and then swim down. Oh, this one dropped a shulker head. Oh, this is really cool. Oh no, this is the worst room of all of them. There are so many shulkers that just teleport everywhere and that shoot you every time. And you cannot stop floating. And the things always drop on the ground. And bro, this is awful. At least there are many shulkers here. Bro, I can't stop floating, what is this? I don't have a bow. I have to swim down, that's the meta strat, but that also teleports the people away and it pushes down the shulker shells that I've already gathered. Alright, I'm trying to not get hit while eliminating the ones on the top because if I get hit here I will just fade up into nothingness and with no chance of recover. Don't worry, by the way, I've tur just turned on hitboxes so that I can see the items that have dropped. If you happen to be looting end cities, I really, really recommend to you getting a bow with you, because otherwise you will not be able to eliminate those shulkers from afar and you will not have a great time, I can already tell you that. I also recommend always switching between your chestplate and your elytra if you already happen to have an elytra. And make sure to crit correctly, not like this. This is the correct timing for critting, by the way. Ah, he's trying to teleport away, but I'm still getting him. Alright, getting this one too, and some clean MLGs. You can also use like a mini water train to go down. They're also hanging from the ceiling. I don't know how to get those from there. I sadly don't have colors for them, but I'm gonna make specific shulker boxes for specific use cases. For example, this one here would be for blocks, which would be these things right here. And then the next one would be for tools that I get all the time. And then the third one would be for resources that I get, which is the rest, I suppose. Alright, the city seems to be entirely looted. On to the next one. Oh my gosh, no way what I just found. Look at this, this is the one I was just at. And this is the one I just found and there is even a ship. I have never been so lucky with these end cities. I tell you, I once searched. Three hours for one when I didn't have an elytra. It was after the ender drank fault. Three hours! And now I find two right after another. Always make sure to take the ender dragon's hand because it is really funny and really fancy. Oh no, it fell down again, but at least this time I don't have the levitation effect. 
Alright, we're in this room again. Let's go. Time for them teleporting away each time they're 1 HP. Bro, I'm getting juggled around like something else, mate. Oh my god. But I can still take this because my armor is pretty good. Alright, made sure to sneak under there so I could get him in the last second. And now I wanna see... Okay, there's nobody up here and now I can get some loot. Alright, dropping down to here to get some more. Oh, he teleported 1 HP away, but then he got back again. And now I gotta watch out so I don't get hit by those. And then I can go to this guy down there, but I hear so many shooting at me. This is incredible. And yes, I got them. Uh, <laughs> I'm commentating like some football commentator right now. What the hell, bro? Alright, I always use the levitation effect to scout a little bit because I don't have too many rockets. So I use my rockets to just propel myself upwards to be able to get those ones that are further up top. And man, I can tell you, those teleportings are so annoying, especially when they teleport to the outside and drop their things downwards. You can also sometimes fight them like this in water, so you just get pushed up if they try to shoot at you. This water bucket right here is very 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 valuable you can also sometimes go in f5 if you can't see them for example right here i just saw him in f5 under here and this is perfect use f5 yeah <laughs> bro this is like a tutorial of some sorts it shouldn't be it should be kind of a let's play but you know i i always do tutorials so all right this one is also looted now I have a lot of the Shulker shells now. I think like a stack or something. But I want more because I want a second Elytra. And I also want some more Shulker shells because they're always really useful. I will try to not use. Oh my god! Not as many rock heads because I didn't. I don't want to waste all of them. But no way! I ca I cannot tell you how surprised I am. Look at this! I am. This is where I started. This was where the first one was. This is where the second one was, and this is here where the third one is. Keeves told me to go north. Because theirs isn't looted yet. And thank you very much, Keys. Home, I have never, never found as many of the ships and stuff as, a, as here. What the hell? Alright, second Elytra. I think how this is going. I might go for one more even. Alright, and off with your head. I see one on the outside already. And he's gonna get demolished. If I hadn't gone north, this all would have had went south. Whoa, fortune free, efficiency 5, unbreaking free, mending. I'm definitely going to take that. And MLG, let's go. Alright, I believe this end city is looted now as well. And yeah, this is the third one. I think I'm going to go for six Elytras, because Keeves said he has five total, so I want more than him. <laughs> oh, I believe I have spotted one right over here, but just right here were some pillars that I've seen. Oh yeah, here already was someone, apparently. There's an end portal, but... I mean, oh, this is the tiniest one you could find. Poor soul. Oh man. Someone left a shell right here. The, whoever looted this didn't clean up properly. They also went in this portal over here. Alright, over here, bro. I tell you, minimaps are broken. But here we have a small little one and there is a ship. I'm just a little worried that this might already be looted because this is quite close to the previous one. But I don't think it is. Yes, let's go. 
Yeah, we have an iron farm, by the way. That's why I'm throwing away all the iron things. Bro, this is a hustle right here. I just want to get down, get him. But there are so many balls. All right, let us continue north. This was the one from right here. And let's see what other things the future offers for us. Currently, this is the total map. Here's the end island. And here were the first three. And then here the two other ones. Oh my gosh, I just made this clip right here and we have another one. Sadly without a ship, I want in total six elytras, but I am really happy with having a lot of shulker shells. No, you are not pushing me upwards. I'm pushing myself down to you so I can get your shulker shell. Was that everything? No, that wasn't everything, because we still have the Tower of Hell right here. Oh my gosh, how much do I love it. I'm gonna... Oh my... I'm already being kicked around like a football in a soccer match. Bro, I can't even mind the chest because I'm getting so much knockback. This is crazy, bro. I can't even get down to get the loot. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious, bro. Bro, 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 excuse me. I just want to get over there, but no. Oh, hell no. Nah. Now he teleported away again. Bro, I tell you, shulkers are the worst entities in the whole game. Alright, this one should now be done as well. This was another small one, sadly, but it was one. And it had some shulkers. So yeah, this is by the way where we are going right now. They seem to be in kind of patches of free. I think I'm gonna get like nothing in the next a thousand blocks, but let's just see. Oh, I always need to mark those end portals right here. Or let's say gateways, because you know, otherwise I won't find back. To get netherite, you're first gonna need ancient debris. There are a few ways to do so, for example, exploding the area with TNT or beds, or you could also enable the chunk borders with F3 and G and mine along those chunk borders. I just dig a tunnel at height Y14 alongside those chunk borders, which is 2x2, two two, and we have just right now found ancient debris. Now I want to show you two other tips which will also help you with this search. First one being having a minimap because then you can first off see where you came from and you can also kind of move around those lava lakes. Then the second one would be a texture pack so you can see the ancient debris better because sometimes you just run past it. For example, I have an RGB one right here so that, you know, I always see it. You cannot miss this. Alright, so let's get more then, shall we? Bro, I'm mining in the nether and everything is surrounded by lava. This is awful. Minecraft. That's like being in the North Pole and being like, damn, I'm surrounded by snow. This is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I can't not find any rights for now. This is crazy. I might just go bastion. Oh, never mind. I just found one. Ah, oh, my X-ray turned on again. Apparently. That, that's quite Tell a big factor. I need to put my yeah, texture it's, pack it's on. I nearly funny. forgot. My X-ray texture pack. Yeah. Yes, I love yeah. the X-ray texture pack. <laughs> Once X-ray come to real life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It oh, actually yes. worked. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. I, I love this say, texture pack. You did not just say when's X-ray coming to real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, X-ray. Man, man has the social bunny. Hi. Oh. Paul Min and. Yeah, yeah, we're more yeah. of a content. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we want I'm more always... content on the server. Yes, yes. I've got an idea. Oh. 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 I don't think so. Doesn't look no. like it. No. Okay. Yeah, but it works. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, no one's sleep. Oh. Yeah. You know, the song. <laughs> Is it because I'm white? Uh. <laughs> 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 this is from oh. memory from like a year ago. Oh. oh. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, even more. Nice. Nice. This time I dug diagonally around lava and found this. Oh, finally. I'm really close back to spawn again, but I haven't found ancient debris in a while. Oh yeah, man, let's go. Oh, under the gravel too, let's go. It is time to dig up now. 
I have gathered half a stack of ancient debris, so I can make enough tools. And perfect, I got out at a place which isn't covered by a lava ocean. And I'm flying through here and I think this is the wrong way. Oh, never mind, yeah, this is the one bastion I once looted. If you have watched that video, if you haven't, I really recommend doing so. Got him! And now that I'm finally home, I am going to be enchanting all my things and converting them to netherite. I would suggest to Hi! Some oh look, there's... <laughs> oh, there's a chicken. Alright, time to smelt half a stack of ancient debris! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, time to get some enderman, I suppose. Whoa, this farm's crazy, mate. Jeez, love it. Yes, yeah, Silk Touch Unbreaking Free. I can further enchant this one now. This is awesome. Alright, time to make two more netherite. Let's go. Alright, it is now time to upgrade to netherite. Screw you. Yeah, screw me, bro. Imagine, screw you, bro. Imagine going over to... Netherite. Imagine Keep not me. going to emerald armor like you and your villagers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm full netherite now. Well, without the tools and without the chestplate, but this is perfect. Alright, time to make more netherite. <laughs> He's making more netherite and it's making me sad. Oh, I need upgrade templates even for tools, bro. <laughs> You could duplicate them, you know. I know. I w it would be good if them? not. Uh. Ding dong, have, like, uh, master miner. All right, nether chest plate. Oh, no, I no. am full nether eye. Let's go, guys. That's ten dollars. That's right. like ten dollars. All Six right. One diamond. Perfect. This looks like a belt a little bit. All right, another one, and another one. Dripped out. Uh, dripping. Hi, loyal. Join VC. Hi. Hi. No, I'm not. Hi, loyal. Look, I have reworked my uh, interior. You just gotta, you just gotta get in. <laughs> <laughs> Your door sucks. Look, it's so annoying to get in. No, it's all wonderful. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Bro, please exit out of my house. I oh, sadly I don't. Do. What? No, no, don't press this. I Th already did. This what, is just so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have an idea. I just built this to retrieve the elytra to Keeves, and I'm also gonna give him four shulker shells. And yeah, I think he will like this. They put leather in your base? I uh, pulled the leather in my base. Oh. Uh, a lever. Normal, yeah. Oh, it just for decoration or does it do something? So yes, um, it does something. Sends it to your secret storage chest? Exactly. No, it's just for <laughs> decoration actually. Well, it does send items to another chest, but it's for decoration. And I'm going to rearrange my base right here because I want to have a piston that can actually make shulker boxes be, you know, destroyed. Yeah, I think I'm going to remove the escape trapdoor for now. I might re-add it. Alright, yes, this worked and he's still in there. Easy. Here's his name, by the way. <laughs> Alright, and now here. Perfect. Yay. Yay. Alright, I think the base is full enough now. What the fuck is he named? Oh yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> your mom. <laughs> In German. Oh damn. Alright, I'll place my ender chest on top of that thing now. Place your mom above that thing. The mom is <laughs> Oh damn, that, then I wouldn't be able to open it. <laughs> Might kill the fucking axolotl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm now just gonna place the ender chest right here and mine the other ender chest without silk touch. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Bro, the lag. The lag, you're not- the, What? I'm not even there where you're hitting me. <laughs> what are you yeah, flying? Yeah, I like a fucking teleporter and I joined the standing <laughs> in midair. <laughs> just blew up and revealed diamonds. Oh my god. Oh, never mind, he's out. There we go. I can't even pick him up. Oh. Please Boy, leave the house. I feel like you guys should. I hope you're recording this. So you can post it and just be like, Loyalist, bad at Minecraft for 10. 
in like 20 minutes. I'm not being bad at Minecraft, I'm being bad at being a fucking person. But you seem to like the base, because otherwise you wouldn't be here <laughs> the whole time. No, I was fucking bored. Damn. Bro, you can't, you can't <laughs> make it in, can you? Oh no, you're not even trying, okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know, I think he might be trying. I can't even see the blocks moving, but I can hear the piston move. Yeah, the blocks aren't moving. Um, I might be crashing the server. You yeah, are uh, not crashing the server, you're moving fine. one piston. Or two. <laughs> I'm crashing the server. <laughs> You're moving two pistons. <laughs> Wait, how did it go from one to two pistons? Uh, he's sometimes only activating one, sometimes he's activating two. Because the door has in total oh, three I pistons. I just heard the warden again. It definitely hasn't despawned. I hate this. Hi. Excuse me! <laughs> I feel like everyone should have a temporary, like, temp ban loyalist command. Just for fun. Like... That command. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna use that on everyone's so we use that <laughs> Okay then, uh... Um... No, please don't take anything out. Well, let to... me just yoink a pig step! Definitely, and I, then I have just like 10 picks yoink your entire... I have yeah, this all... Have well, this isn't stuff. sorted well, but it's going to be sorted better. Balls? Yes, I have two slime balls in there. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what are you doing? I love redstone. <laughs> Bro, look, look at Tab, you have one bar. <laughs> yes, best time to be on. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't get out. Bro! Oh, let me out! <laughs> let me in! Let me in! Bro! <laughs> You're so bad. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait, just keep standing there. I'll open it for you, okay? Bro, there's no way. <laughs> I'm running straight through it! <laughs> yes! Finally! finally. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some gold? No, please leave. I want to sort my chests finally. <laughs> you bro. I want it on the crafting table. <laughs> no, it ca does not work on the crafting table. <laughs> I want to shoot myself. <laughs> 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 no, 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 the X lol. You. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot about him. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I wanna make day. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I need to get uh. fucking checked out. Feed them well. <laughs> Alright, there you go. <laughs> Thank Two you very much. Alright, thanks. <laughs> No, no, Here no. You go. Yeah, I have over a stack of coal blocks Over there now. is the second one. This is insane. And I need one for the sharp. Sharpness? Loyalist being greedy. I always, already yeah. gave you two. I need one for the sharpness and two for the efficiency. Told you that. Okay, catch that. <laughs> Do you actually not see it? No. Damn. So the problem is, you're looking on the inside of your base. Yeah, no, you broke something here, but I don't know what was here. Look. Out the front of your base. Oh, you broke the head! Please give me the head back. Oh, it's on here. Oh, wait, actually, that's quite fitting. I'm going to keep it here. Oh, wait, Papone, I feel like eventually I am going to go and, like, build my own area after the mountain. Okay. Or should we just build separately, generally, and have a divorce? You no. Guys build <laughs> okay. But in the same area. I mean, like. Okay. <laughs> like the same eh. stuff. I don't know. It just makes that one area seem a bit more Papone, like what is up with this endstone shape 
<laughs> you found my present. I just came back, yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> I tore that down so quick. Maybe it just no, has you AI when you fucking lag. Why are you here in my chests? So I gave him permission I don't, I don't to know, I'm just yoink all my around. shit. Okay. I'm wondering and yours. why you have so many chests out here and I just wanted to look in them. <laughs> They're all full of Yo guys, stuff. we have a new member joining. Yo, really? Yo, I just read it, let's Morgan go. Morgan said, uh... <laughs> oh, we're so bad. <laughs> what? Bro, we're both we both can't hit anything. It's laggy. Look at look at this. I'm I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit this insane loop on you. All right, you ready? <laughs> we're playing Dead by Daylight. Woo! There we go. Yep, there we go. Yep. And that, now I'm gonna flashlight stun you. You see? Oh shit! He avoided it. <laughs> oh, I have to run. Shit! I have to I have to twerk while I run away so he gets distracted. Okay, into the river now, he won't notice my insane technique of flying around him. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Somebody is oh, shit! You he didn't even know. He can fly now! Fuck! <laughs> you didn't even know where I am. Well, now I do my ultimate technique. <laughs> no, Somebody go. get loyal his chill pills. Out he just did a up. water MLG. <laughs> <laughs> there was no. I did a lot of fellow miners and crafters. Oh, Why, hello, fellow miners. Dream should make that his intro. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not a miner and not fellows. <laughs> hello, miners. <laughs> Damn, I wanted to go to sleep. And more. Well, you have a really nicely decorated shout. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just some, it's just like fucking just stone. Hill with a big rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's fucking. Warma G. Hi. Can I please not be in my fucking up? This is so funny. Why are you I flying? I was flying bro. around with my. Fucking what is happening? Kid. It's not much, but it's all happening. You, you're me, gonna so. join the uh, group or no? Yeah. There you go. Okay, Easy. So what's everyone been up to? Uh, goofing around and being griefed. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean being griefed. <laughs> I'm glad Matt lol didn't die though. Thanks for not killing that one. I put the payment in your uh, mending book. What is happening, bro? Lost. Four diamonds, oh, four right? Books. Oh no. That's, that's a ha have you rock. ever been here? Bro, it's like a You're muted, the by the way, house. I think. I don't know. I don't Morgan. know. I, I'm not speaking. Next, but... Oh yeah, that is. Oh a hi, yeah, you're in. That bit. Hi. Uh, that's a cool door. Thanks. I like your. Little oh here. yeah, I blocked it off with dirt. Hey, look. What's his name? I can't. I can't read it because it's blocked. <laughs> what's it's his name? Apparently, it's your mother in German. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> I see. My mother is not that cute. L. What the fuck? Cutest predator. Yeah, this is this is my house. We have a we have a lodestone here. We have a smithing table. We have a crafting table. We have t all types of different what, what, storages. What happens if I flip the switch? Uh, currently nothing. But what before be I had different items in those chests, and then they would be shuffled. Ah, I see. Well, they wouldn't be shuffled. They would them. all go down, and that yeah. This right here is to destroy all core boxes. Look. Ah, I place nice. something here, I empty it, I press on this, and then it drops. Very smart. Very, <laughs> very, very small, and here I also have a nice view out here. And also oh, here, yes. you know, I got Love the paintings. The yeah, the paintings. <laughs> Damn. Hi. Uh, yo. Yo, I, get some, uh, I got a oh, shit ton of quartz an for yours. Hi. May I use an anvil? Yes. Iron is stolen from Morgan, anyways. <laughs> All right. Not stolen, but you know what I mean. That's why I was saying that. Yeah, I'm. I'm just sorting my yeah, things right now, so don't market. don't yeah. stress. Yeah. Okay. Is there any food in Farmer's Delight that is better, like that's really good and easy to is get? Okay. Uh, what well, what's the best thing that you can stack to 64? Can you do anything with rice or something? Uh, I'm potatoes. not certain, however, the, the roast chicken means you don't lose any hunger for five minutes. Jeez. Well, what can you do with, like, tomatoes and carrots and potatoes? You can make burgers. 
Okay, so Google said it's the, either the kelp roll or the hamburger. Okay, yeah, so the hamburger is... But uh, I need ham for that and I don't he have no, steak. No, no. Huh? Ha yeah, so if you get um, so if you get the knife yeah. and put it in your off hand, and then you just hold... Uh, oh no, maybe it's the other way around. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you know what proponent is? Are you here? Yes. Oh, okay. And then you oh. put it in the frying pan. Oh. And you just wait, and it will go into this chest. There's already some in there, so if you want some, take some out of there. Whoa, what the fuck? Have you never been in my base? No, so I've basically, you I have to run whenever that goes, and then, like, you can run through them since they're falling blocks. <laughs> well, if you experience a bit of lag, then... Yay, it's you're in... Oh, damn. Yeah, Holy please, shit, please do rich. not take. This is mine. You're fucking rich, mate. Holy fuck. I don't know how you, uh... I don't know how you... No. Nope. ...open being that rich. Oh, yay. 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 I'm, I'm, I was rich for a few seconds. You pick oh, the back no. of... Please just place it again. I'm gonna... Okay, yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Um, Th this is my house, right, Harvey. <laughs> if you want to escape, like, come over here and then run. There you go. <laughs> you can also prevent it taking the damage if you jump at the right time. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You don't get to escape, bro. This is such it's so good right here for uh, bro. I can record like three videos with all this content. It's crazy. I haven't made any videos because I can't be asked to edit them. <laughs> <laughs> Too real. <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even break this one. <laughs> Why well, can't break this one? Which I'm one? I'm continuing to try and break it. There is no block. Have you noticed? Oh, for the, me, uh, it's there is actually lag on this. Oh, side. now there is. I can't when... break this block. It is infinite. Oh, there we go. When, it's gone now. When you, um, when you try and eat food, uh, you don't you don't eat the food as quick as normal. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah that happens for me quite a lot. And you're in the UK. You should be getting it better. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. This way. Yippee! Could you tell me the coordinates? No, -uh. we just gotta continue flying. No. -uh. Negative twelve ninety, negative sixteen twenty three. Yeah, and these chunks are alone for me. That's just. Yeah, for me cool. neither. <laughs> Time to fly into a mountain. Uh oh yeah, we are just getting to like a um flying island. Just saying. Bro. Oh, I landed on it. Show went down. Bro, this is lagging. Uh, bro, my mini map. Bro, the chunks don't map, load, anyway. so my mini map is like <laughs> just oh a stripe. God. Yeah, I'm literally having like a one chunk stripe through. A Same, place bro. I didn't explore yet. Same, bro. Just gonna hope I land in the ocean. Yep. Okay. Oh, I just bonked against a mountain, and right next to me there's a void. Nice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this server. I don't see you, by the way, and I don't random yeah, chunks. Yeah, I'm just in random chunks. Yeah, yo, what, you said minus 1,200? Yeah, 1,200 negative. Bro. 15,070, let's say. I, w I went the uh, opposite. Bro. Bro. Oh, I see that house, I've, but I don't see the mountain. <laughs> Oh, I see you, I see you, you're just flying away. Oh, there you are. Hey! hey. Finally, we're on the land. I, ar I already generated these chunks too, I don't know why it's been yeah, so much. Yeah, those were the only ones that I saw. All right, how I, I wanna have a look at this mountain first. This seems to be, jeez, this is, this yeah, is a chunker. Okay, this, okay, okay, I, I imagined it a bit different from those two pictures. Oh, and the cave. Oh, it's just a walkthrough. Oh, that's even better. It's like a walkthrough. Ooh. Wait, this is really cool, this cave thing. What is that? That could be like the main entrance. Then we have like a big like... Um, yeah. Then we have like our... And here you can see we have this huge hole part. It's also really cool. And the mountain. I really, God, really like lagging. this. This is really fancy, yeah. And with the and ocean he's, he's around, the bro. server at like ten. What? And he's restarting the server at like ten as time. It doesn't seem like it's being restarted at all. Restart as in like um, turn off and on. Yeah. Yeah, we have this. Yeah, this is quite cool right here. 
Yeah, yeah. we just need that beacon, and then we yeah. can just go... I have to wither skeleton away. skulls. Good, because we could just, like, mine down around here, and then just... Straight ahead of us is where we're gonna go. After we get the beacon, we're gonna set up the beacon, and then... We're going to just continue digging. We're going to make like a big cave or something. Hey, okay, are you willing to mine down in water? Yeah, hi. All right, let's go down. Are you Are you with it. me? I got air um, down here. Oh, I found diamonds. <laughs> yeah, just uh, I, I made a path downwards. You can just follow that. Oh, there's like a huge underwater cave. Maybe there's some diamonds. But there are no diamonds. What the hell? This is a huge cave. And yes, there are diamonds. Time to get them. Yippee. No, no. You're the rich enough, man. Hell no. Never gonna be rich enough. Alright, anyways, we were on the quest for lava. I got, I'm here. If you can come over to me. I have no idea where you are. Oh. Minimap? I got some. Hi, we're next right. to each other. Yeah, let's just continue mining. There's lava over here too. Yeah, just continue getting as much you can. Should we get 14 each? 14? Oh, diamonds. Well, of course. Well, I have 20, which is now. How much do you have? 14. It's time to go. It's time to drop the junk. <laughs> <laughs> time to waste rockets. Time to waste rockets. I oh, took duck straight down, bro. Yeah, straight down. Okay, I'm up. I go straight down because I'm just a pro gamer. <laughs> Funny joke. Yeah, if you guys didn't laugh, then you're like not a pro gamer. So. You mean? What the? F oh, because you killed a creeper. Yeah, where are we gonna place the portal for now? Uh, I'm assuming we should put it into that hole, right? Yeah, we can change it later on. Let's put it in this wall. Oh look, there's there emerald ore here. Whoa. Yeah, I saw, but I wasn't gonna. But we have so much obsidian. There we <laughs> go. We just ignore our portal. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna definitely, make that better in the future. Definitely was always here. Yeah, well, no, no, sh no pee pee poo poo. No pee pee poo poo. All right, perfect. This. Oh no, you're blocking it. All right, this is this is good. No, it's looking Aww. good. It, it's for looks. Okay, okay. We we got it's our problem looks, now. You know. All it, right, it, time to looks. die. Yeah, time to kill ourselves. Let's go. Yay, basalt delta. Yippee! I have something to tell you. Huh? It's, it's hot. Yeah, it's because of me. I didn't hear it, by the way. It's not. I I didn't hear anything you said because you cut off. I said balls. Oh, okay, yeah. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, that that would be smart, wouldn't it? What a waypoint? Yeah, I just made one. Yeah, making the waypoint here. Should we make the path on this level, on this height level, or should yeah. we? Yeah, might as well. Shouldn't we just well make it at lava here. level? No. Come. Okay, Too tempt. much work to go down to lava and kill ourselves. Bro, you can literally swim in lava with Pro 4, what do you mean? No. Yes, you can. I made a video about it. Oh! You always okay. just need to just mine the block under it. Do not worry about lava in the nether. Oh. It's fine. We're just making a path to get there, aren't Wait, we? Um, oh. Are we? Oh, yeah, okay. we're on the right path. Fall damage plus lava equals death. Nah, bro. You need to make the thing bigger, please. No, it's fine. Nope. It is good. I'm gonna probably just light it up a bit, just yeah. to make sure no mobs spawn. Yeah, I I'm literally building. You need to just enhance the path, please. I'm lighting it up so that no magma goofs spawn. All right. Because once the nether roof is available, I'm doing the nether roof. I don't care if you do it. I'm doing it. Okay. Oh shit! Those gas. Swear. I mean, we have a light. Okay. True. Oh uh, yeah. My oh, there it is. Time to slay it. Oh fuck yes. I'm badass. <laughs> Range. Bro, no one's gonna take that path. We are safe, bro. I'm telling you. If you really care if someone takes a path, either way. Alright, we're home. Perfect. No, we already have a path. I'm gonna show you in a sec, I just have to get the skulls first. Alright. Come with me. I got the skulls, I got the soul sand. Perfection. Oh, this way Morg took me. We be going deep, bro. I actually don't need to go that deep. Honestly, where are we at? Minus 23. We can stay here at the side. Let's just make sure there's no cave sure. inside. Yeah, well, there's a cave right there. cave right here? Should we fight him in the geode? Sure. Alright. If you really want to. 
Oh, the geode is open even. Alright, perfect. But let's let's get some of those things here first, though. Before he destroys all of them. Wait, l look here, I'm digging an escape tunnel. I see you. Oh man. Alright. We're starting the wither. One, two... Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Don't do it yet. Just go. Okay, one, go. two, three, go. <laughs> Alright, here he is. I don't have a shield, shit. Whatever, just block, just block the first yeah. and last. Look behind you. <laughs> Boom. I didn't even take it from where I was. Oh, we can't reach it. Oh, oh my god, he's so high. Fuck sakes. Yeah, you can just like uh, deal with that real quick. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> this might have been Thank a bad idea. That. Is it going up? No. Look, I'm, I'm digging a tunnel. Normally this isn't as difficult, but we decided to do it in a geode. Where is he? Where is he? I dug a tunnel to up to him. We have an he's issue. Going he's going higher. There's a cave above us, and he's going in that cave. No. Why did we do this in a geode? Uh, I, I mean, I hit, I can hit him. Come up to me. I'm coming. You always have a look at your health. Retrieve if you need to. God. Retrieve if you need to. Don't pop a totem. It's not worth it. I don't even have a totem. Then lock yourself in. Diamonds! Wait, I want to kill it, please, for the, for the advancement. Thanks. Alright. Time to get the diamonds. <laughs> oh, let's go. We got him. No. You mean you took my diamonds? Do you need do you need healing? Here, here here's healing. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Since we Yo, I got water uh, wither's uh, head. Uh, Let's go. W. Dub 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 dub. Rub a dub dub. All right, let's fucking leave. Yeah, man. Had enough of this place. Lol. Wish I could just free camp to the surface and then teleport to where I unfree camp. Too real. You can go up with your Elytra. Uh, yeah, I just thought of that. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Go fuck. Bro, I have 43 and from the 7 diamonds I got 18. Nice. Alright, it's time to craft the beacon. Ta-da, there it is. Yippee. Um, yeah, we, now we need the, the blocks, the iron blocks or emerald blocks or gold. Let's do iron. Oh, that's yeah, it sick. Looks very nice. I just going some. We need to make a crafting table now. Where's the crafting table? All right, but let's go. Let's go and uh, make this fucking beacon. Yeah, man. We're gonna get to wanting to shoot ourselves. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, let's go. Yippee! Sick. I'm at the portal first. <laughs> Very funny. And all right. Yep. All right. Well. All right. Well. Where are we putting this? We're gonna to need to make it way lower, I'm just saying. This is gonna to have to go at like Y like zero or something. Yeah, still. Alright, we're no, going We're me. going to both down. Come here. Oh, man. Put your display on and we're going both down. If we die that happens, doesn't matter. But if we mine down far enough, we're going into a cave. So put an elytra on. I'd say this is good enough, wouldn't you? Oh, okay. this is a huge cave. Thanks for the call out. No prob. Jeez, that's, that's a sick. <gasps> I just nearly died to a creeper. Uh, but that's a sick ass cave. What the hell, bro? This is with ice and such. Wow. Yeah, oh, I diamonds. Told you about the ice before. Diamonds, diamonds. I got diamonds before you. I got. The Do I look blue? Ah! Shrieker? Ah! Yeah. There's a shrieker next. No, no, no! I activated one too. <gasps> I feel like this isn't time to be mining anymore. Uh, we should just continue digging straight down, bro. You don't need to go any further down. Oh, I found diamonds. I need to get to those real quick. What the hell? This is a huge vein. Vein of five. Okay, never mind. I thought it was bigger. Soul oh, man. diamonds. This is awesome here. I love it. This cave on down here is like so sick. Oh, look. There's a glow squid. Not for long anymore. Oh, there are more diamonds. <laughs> I'm gonna get them all while he just disconnected by accident. Let's go. 
I'm getting them all. Oh, diamonds. And I also fell in lava. Nice. Oh, more diamonds. Bro, why are there so many diamonds here? This is crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. Oh, we can get blue eyes from here. Yes, that is blue eyes. Yes. We can get blue eyes from here. This is perfect. Hi. Hi. We can get blue eyes from here. This is sick. <laughs> Oh, I found more diamonds. Nice. Um, one, two, okay, one, two, three. The next layer is, of course, just... If you know the first layer, then you're set. Yes. Set. And yeah. we are done. Let's go. I'm a place to beacon. Woo! -hoo. We should both do the, um... Yes! Let's go! Here, I'm gonna do the haste one real quick, and then you can also... Change it here, let me get- oh, okay. Now I'm gonna do a time lapse. Let's Same. chop Wait, down there's another right big mountain next to us. I mean, it's so cool. we have two mountains beside us. Oh, there's another one right in front of it, which is- which has a natural big cave. Yo, this is sick, though. We like this one, though. This has a huge natural cave, this is sick. Alright, guys. We're gonna go straight into a time lapse. That's Buffon's secret chest. I'm gonna, like, hee hee hee. Nothing. And we're gonna get straight into the time lapse. Let's go! Let's go! You have torch? Oh, rope. Nice. Bro, imagine there would have been the apple. Mate. Do we want to make it like level with the mob spawners or no? Oh, yeah, it could make something really cool with the mob spawners, you know? I wanna make XP farm for us. <laughs> so there's gonna be loads of mobs over there. But we should actually do that, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. To get some XP every time. There's a skeleton rider, what? I can't stop getting XP with this farm right here, with this Enderman farm. This won't go away. Look at Papone, already hi. in netherite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hi. <laughs> Wanna see all these really cool mob heads? Yeah. Take a look at these. Yo, there are some quite cool ones. Yeah, we have killed the wither today, obviously too. Yeah, and some open shulkers. Yeah, the wither head looks crazy. Yeah, yeah. I I have the normal one. Yeah, glow squid. Yeah, that's, those are funny too. Too. <laughs> I also have some funny ones. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Papa? I'm making a little tongue here that we can, you know, have paths from. We need that in oak. We need we that, that in oak. That in oak. But we can go with oak from here. I, j I j wait. L let me let me finish it real quick. I d I didn't want to go further out. Don't worry. <laughs> Just like like that. <laughs> it kind of looks like a bird. L like a colibri. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Just a bird. <laughs> Burb. It's beautiful. All right. What with my shader, on? this here looks awful. Oh jeez, what is this shader? This shader is so ugly. All right, I have twenty-seven deep slat diamond ore here, and let's see how much I get out of it. Alright, I got a stack and four diamonds out of it, which are seven blocks. Now I have 47 again. This is awesome. To get slime balls in Minecraft, you're first gonna need a slime farm. Well, you could get them otherwise, but the slime farm is just the best efficient way. So I'm gonna show you how I built mine in these three chunks you can see here highlighted on the minimap. It's gonna be a huge one. I started out with making a beacon down to height minus 64, just down there so it can reach all the way up to the top, so it can mine every single thing I can see. Well, and the next thing I'm gonna need is to just mine a lot of blocks. Alright, now I've mined a little here. This is from Y40 to Y0. Yes, this was a lot of mining and I didn't record anything of it. I accidentally mined out parts of these three chunks here because I thought there would be slime chunks, but they are actually here in these two chunks. I also already started adding the sides so they can fall down. And I will cover these sides here with some glass that it looks good and you can look inside the farm. Because as you know, light doesn't matter with slimes. You actually want to have the place be lit up. I've gathered quite some resources here already from all this mining here. And we have so much dye right here because we have a a little different world generation than usual. We also have some blackstone partially here because they're just underground new cave biomes. So what am I gonna do next? Well, as you've probably seen in my inventory, I'm gonna make the rails down here and above those rails some magma blocks. I've already gathered enough sand for the glass here and also the magma blocks for down there. So I'm gonna start placing the rails and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do afterwards. Alright, as you can see this side is done and the minecart is already running. We don't need it yet, but I still wanted to make it. And here we also have another circuit here that can unload the minecart. 
It just detects that something's in the hopper, then deactivates the redstone lamp, which deactivates the redstone here, and which deactivates the thing, so it will stand on here and unload all the items, and then when it's empty again, it's gonna go back. Obviously, we're gonna have a storage here. And now I'm gonna just repeat it on the other side. Now I built the second side and made some changes to the layout, which I'm gonna show you in a brief moment, but as you can see, we have those two sides over here just both ready. Now we can place the magma blocks. All right, now all the magma blocks are in place and we can start adding the layers. Now the only places left to mine are those four pillars here that I'm gonna need for the iron golems so that they can stand in there. All right, now those are done. I'm just gonna need the glass up here because I wanna have the top section be glass instead of nothing, obviously, because then the slums would get out. Next I'm gonna show you how to make the layers and also how to do the iron golems. I'm gonna go in a single player world for this because I built this there. I want to keep this short but mainly you want to have two and a half blocks between each section and then at each section you want to have an iron golem. For me I have two chunks that's why I have two stripes on each side. The slimes are going to be attracted to the iron golems no matter on which stage they are and they will just fall down here. I have made those extra things right here just because of the design I used here for the iron golems because sometimes there uh, were blocks initially here and they would get stuck on those blocks a little bit and that made some issues. Here we have two different designs on each side. I decided to use this one because this one is a little bit more bad because here we have those small little glass panes that just prevent the iron golems from going out and also the big slimes from going in. So the iron golems will never take damage except maybe this bottom one you would think but it can't. As you can see it just does not take damage by anything and you basically just want to have one each one on each side and then also have some torches to to light it up. The way you want to do this with this here is you want to place your blocks right here like this so that there are two free spaces left and you're gonna spawn him and you're gonna push him forwards and push him to the side so that he's in the middle. He won't be moving anywhere because this is really tight and then you just mine those two blocks and replace them and then you have it. Now back to the server. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> it goes from Y42 to 2. It's 40 blocks tall. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this <laughs> this is taking so long. I I want I have so so many plans for building my base, but I can't because I want to finish this damn thing here. Yeah, on the bright side, you'll have plenty of slime to build with. Bro, I'll build. Uh, yeah, bro. This I'll build a so far too. goop castle or something. Yeah, this is this is mental. Bro, there there it's are fun. slimes actually building. spawning already, and I only have one platform. It this is, is slime. this your slime? This oh, the slime thingy. Yes. Do you need any help filling up it? Uh, the diorite. <laughs> if you've got nothing better to do. <laughs> I don't mind helping you out, getting this done, so you don't have to. All right, let's you know, let's go build a little mine then. crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I already did Save with mining yourself. the whole thing, but Morgan helped me mining. Morgan did a big part nice. of mining. Yeah, by the way, oops, the part yeah. that you see right here, mine is um, my mistake of mining the wrong chunks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Well, I... will forever be a reminder. Yeah. <laughs> This right here might be a big cut, but yes, I am soon done. I have done all the sides, I have added the glass, and I have added at least a relayer. I just gotta fill that up, and then we are basically done. We already have some sort of storage. I'm gonna make this storage bigger. And I'm not going to actually add the iron golems, because it would be 50 iron golems, and that would make the server lag a little bit. And yeah, for, for filling up those things, Keeves is, I mean, sorry, Tigrex. Tigrex is going to help me a little bit because otherwise it would take forever. I already did the first floor and there were already slimes that spawned. But yeah, for this one, you know, a little help. All right, this is done now. This is the whole entire farm. As you can see, there are already slimes spawning and they will just here fall onto the magma blocks and their items are being collected. I did not add the iron golems because those would lag because there are, I think, 52 iron golems and that would just be way too much for the lag because this is right below the main town of the server and yeah, so this is ju should just work fine. I've got a collection system going and that will also be improved a little bit. Look, there's another slime and yeah, 
the collection system will have their items be dispensed up to here somewhere at my base. Look, there's Tigrax. He helped me, by the way, with all the things here. He helped me with the entire, like, with half of the things here. So, thank you very much, Tigrax. Yes, this is another big cut, but we have the storage here done. I might extend it a little bit, like I did with my bamboo farm here. But I'm gonna show you, here we have the stream, and then if we go down here, here is by the way a bubble column, and we have all the blue ice here, and this is here being dispensed by these dispensers, and everything that goes into here, you know, will be going upwards so that I don't have to go down every single time. Yeah, the farm should work. It is in two chunks, as you can see. This is way bigger than normal. Let me get there. And yeah, this, you can build this in your own survival world, I guess. And with one chunk, with all the infos I've given you, you also have want to have the iron golems here, but I just didn't because of lag and because it's tedious getting them there. But this slime farm is working pretty well. I mean, yeah, there are none right here, but that's just because, you know, some things. Alright, we have now added one golem per layer now, because you could have four, but we just want to reduce some server lag. We added them on the diagonal sides and such things, so a slime can just see one of them and go there and jump down. This makes it way more efficient. We're also gonna have to light up the caves, but thank you very much to Morgan that we did this. This right here is my bamboo farm. It doesn't really fit in the area, so I want to improve it. Everyone already started building cool houses and this is what my base looks like. I have to change some things. Which means first I gotta gather some resources. If you've seen my last video about the slime farm, then you know I have a lot of stone here. And now it's time to use that. But well, what am I gonna make here? Well, you're gonna have to find out. But for sure is, we also don't only need stone, but we are also gonna need some grass. So let's fly somewhere and get some. I've got a unbreaking free efficiency 5 mending silk touch netherite shovel here, so it is time to mine some blocks. Hello sheep. Goodbye sheep. 360 jump. Easy trick shot Fortnite. Something that I also really want is this core stirred right here, so I'm gonna mine this too. You might think that's enough, but hell nah, I've got shulker boxes to fill. I'm also gonna take some of this really cool terracotta, because this looks really, really good with this shader. And it's probably also really useful with my build, because it's gonna add a little bit more detail. Look at this wonderful sunrise, wow. Well, it seems to have been a sunset, not a sunrise, because now it's getting dark. Don't worry if you can't see anything right here. I can't either. This should be enough terracotta. I actually didn't even plan to get some terracotta. I just wanted to get some dirt and grass here. Look at chicken. Goodbye, chicken. Time to get more grass. Alright, this should be enough for now. I can farm more if I need to in the future. Time to head back now. Oh, look what I found here, some iron armor and a sign and a crafting table and some food. This is really cute by Connie. I'm arriving at the base again and now it is build time. The thing I want to do here is make a pillar out of stone, then encase it in stone and have some vegetation on top with some grass. It is also gonna have some other materials inside of it, like a gravel stripe or some blackstone or cobbled deep slate. So let's get started. So let's start down here with the pillar. It's gonna come from out of the water, obviously, because it's above the river. 
Well, this right now is just a rock. It's gonna have to be a little bit bigger. This is where I'm at right now and it's way too small. I'm just noticing that I have to maybe have a different design like this. Maybe I have to go outwards from this and not just have just a singular spike upwards. Alright, we are definitely getting somewhere. This is a little bit sharp, but you know, I have to kind of do it, because I do not want this to be as huge as you would have it if you have a kind of flat terrain. I don't want to connect it really to this one, I might do connect it over here, but for this one I'm gonna just have it a little bit floating arch over here. All right, I'm up here. This is a very steep mountain here. I might need to change at least this side a little bit, but I can start making the top part now. I'm thinking about connecting it right a little bit, you know, with this platform here to have, you know, the arch go like this and also maybe somehow cover this area up here. Alright, I think you can kind of see what I want to do right here. I'm just a little bit unsure about this right now. But this is generally gonna be a little bit the structure. You're gonna have the whole arch going above this thing and then having this thing below here being connected with this. This is quite difficult to make because it's such a weird structure. It's not like, you know, just a blob here, for example. It's got like curves and such. This is gonna be a bit difficult. I'm changing the land here a little bit so the rock can go inside of the mountain and I might have a little bit more of a gradient over here. Yeah, this is looking a little bit better here, but this is a bit thin. I might make this a little bit more wide here in those two sides. Yeah, this is quite a little bit better. This is going along nicely. This this is gonna be... Yeah, I like this. This is obviously gonna be covered with grass on top of here and also on top of here. It's not only gonna be stone, but I'm gonna be just mainly starting here with stone. And I've seen I've got a hole here. Alright, this might be a little bit much of the stone here. Oh, I gotta change this hole here. But I think you know what I'm going for. I might need to add a little bit more to this thing, because this is a bit slim for holding all of this up here. Alright, now I've tried making this front part look a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more appealing, because it kind of looks like it's, you know, now in surrounding and carving the farm. I might add some blocks here. Yeah, that's definitely an improvement. 
but you've just seen this side all the time, but this side is still completely open and I'm also missing this one, so these two are the next ones. This all here is a little bit more big than I actually expected it to be, so <laughs> I might need to make this actually quite something bigger. Ohio. Hi. You're muted. Hello. Hi -o. <laughs> oh, everybody at the same time. Nice. <laughs> this might be a big cut, but I think I'm done with the stone for now. I'm going to now build the grass on top. This is what you're gonna see right now. I just put a lot of dirt and grass on here and it looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I just had one layer on top of each thing, so also didn't, you know, put something under here because there's a rock above it. And yeah, it looks quite natural. I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Well, I'm just gonna add a few more things up top. Okay, this has become pretty decent. I've added some bone meal and also, you know, some moss and some azalea trees right here. And this is looking pretty good. I think this should be good enough to cover up the whole farm right here. Yes, I think this is the final product for now. Maybe I'll enhance it, but this did the job. It covered up the whole thing and it's looking pretty pretty. I have an issue. I built two shops on the Craftopia SMP, but didn't record me building them at all. I just forgot. But I will still show them to you, so let's go. So first off, here we have the bamboo shop. This isn't ordinary. You don't just put a diamond in a box and take something out. It is special. You throw eight diamonds in here, then press the button and then you're down here and then you can just loot every single of these chests. I thought that would be a more interesting concept than the usual store. For this one there is no time limit so you just can craft a bamboo into bamboo blocks or whatever and put them in your shulker chests and then in your ender chest and then if you're done you press on the exit. This is how it looks like. This is right here by the way something I've built in the last episode. This is in the info card right now. And I chose this design even though it's a little bit ugly because it is all made out of bamboo blocks. And it is right under the bamboo farm, obviously I couldn't build it somewhere else. I also decided to make those fences here to make it just look a little bit lighter and also like a cage a little bit. I'm sure the other members will like this one. I mean until they get in here and there is not a single bamboo in the chest because someone was just there earlier. Yes, you have to be lucky to get as much from there as possible because you would have to be AFK a little bit and then go in there and make sure that no one else has bought something. So let's head over to the Goop Cave. I built this insane slime farm right here in one of my episodes. You can see it in the info card right now. As you can see, there are a ton of slimes here. They're all standing still because they're, you know, just at the edge of being out of render. I'm just here in free cam right now. But this produces a great amount of slime balls. And what am I gonna do with the slime balls? Well, I'm gonna settle them. I decided to craft them into slime blocks, which are nine slime balls. And then here I'm selling four of those blocks, which, which would be 36 slime balls for one diamond. This is really cheap. So now what does this have to offer? First, it serves a beautiful scenery. I have a little pond up here with water flowing down. I have different types of stone. The walls are all encaved with some cobble and some gravel and all different types of heights but what is this here what is this here oh what is everything here well this has to do with the little mini game 
you put one diamond in the barrel, then press the button and then four slime blocks will be launched out of the wall uh, one after each other. And you gotta obviously collect them all. This took me a while to make and I just at the end realized that I did not record a single thing of it. Not a single thing. I am mad. But whatever, I'm gonna show it to you how it works with beetroot seeds because I have the access here to not only put diamonds here, uh, I can also put other things in here because I'm, well, I own the slime farm, I don't have to pay for my slime. Alright, this is how it works. You put your diamond in here, just imagine the beetroot seeds are the diamond, then you press this button. Now listen closely, there are uh, a note block and obviously a dispenser, well a dropper, dropping the item. So you will always hear where it's been dropped. It's always the same sequence by the way, it's, it doesn't change, so the first few times you might encounter this then it's gonna be interesting later on it might be a little bit tedious but that's whatever spoiler warning if you are a craftopia member watching this right now then please just experience this for yourself before i show this to you please use it yourself before you do this okay skip forward and i think look here's a little access to here i think this note block did not activate because there is a comparator on top so I have to change this all right little fix here I just placed it here and this should work now yeah, as you can see this is a little bit messy over here I couldn't really make I didn't really bother making it that compact because you know do you see the structure here this is like it's it's a cave and you have some things going between each other so it's really difficult making it compact so let's show you a second time, shall we? Yep, those are the four. There is always one that is basically guaranteed because you can always get this one because it's so slow. But the other three, as you've seen, it pops out here and goes over here in this hopper. This is really fast, so you gotta already stand here to get it then the second one you know you can just hop up there and get it and the third one gets dispensed out of here and goes over here so after you've collected this one you gotta run over here to collect this one and then the next one you gotta run over here and collect this one because this one goes up here over there and then down there into the hopper again oh there has already been someone paid okay that's really funny um, I, I wanted to show you the concept right here. So you put something in the barrel, then this redstone torch here is deactivating the hopper, and here if you press the button over there, the redstone torch gets deactivated and the item can flow down here. If it passes through here, the whole sequence gets activated. So what does it get activated? Well, first off, with a little bit of delay, this dropper here. By the way, here are the hoppers that lead back into it, because I have a cycle that just you know makes it so no items are wasted so this one gets activated and the note block this is number one then over here we have something going up to here which is this right here this dropper this is number two this is the one with the cobweb if we're wondering about the blue eyes uh, it is because down there is the hopper and it needs to you know send it back up with a water stream to up here the other ones are all at the same layer as the hoppers so i made sure to do that because otherwise like this it's a little bit tedious as you can see there is the dropper ejector and here would be the water stream all right next one this line over here goes to number three yes this is really really close to number two you might think well the other one is up there but this is the one that sends it over along this path here with the slabs so yeah this just gets activated too and also the note block and then here it's already going over to the signal for the fourth one which is this one here that goes upwards in the water this also obviously activates a note block they're all above air so they and now you will think what is this comparator i talked earlier on about well it's just to see that if there is no item in here and in here i didn't bother with the other two because the connection would be you know a little bit tedious to make but I think if two out of the four are empty, then the other two would also be empty. So it goes over here and to this redstone lamp. 
which means when this redstone lamp is active, then the shop is empty. Alright, now I myself will try to get some, so let's go. Alright, one. Two. Three. And over here is number four. Perfect! So this is the proof it works, you can get all four. I have to say the fourth one is really stressful, so you gotta go really fast from here to over here. But yeah, that's the mini game. Well, these are the two shops now, and I just made them for the Craftopian members, so they have, so they can have some bamboo and slime to buy, but also have, you know, a little, a little fun with those mini games. Because right here, you know, if someone else bought it just earlier, then you won't get nothing. But you could also hit the big jackpot if no one has bought it for like a week or so. Which would be the case right now. And same thing with the mini game over there. So it's basically one, two, four slime blocks equal a diamond because this one slime block is basically guaranteed. And as you can see, there's a slime following through the farm. <laughs> Bro, I love this. This is this is great. I participated so, in a Minecraft event. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, first of all, today you're, I you're participated in a goofy <laughs> Minecraft event. It was insane. It is on the Croftopia SMP. <laughs> you have to put uh, in Minecraft hardcore behind it as well, just for the <laughs> also a small percent of you guys are not subscribed. Right there we so, go. So I have prepared uh, some challenges. We'll see how many we can do according to the time. They're all very short, and I I kind of came up with the ideas because I wanted to create some some short run content. So yeah. they should be like a, a YouTube short of length. <laughs> Although they will take a bit longer for us, but it, they can be cut down to like a one minute. That was kind of the idea. So today we have three contestants for our first uh, mini challenge. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we have uh, Pipone and then Loyal and then <laughs> I call you by the way. You can look at each other. There is no like walls or something, so you can get it. Oh, hell no, I'm looking away. away. Let's go. So the first challenge is back here. This is the tree challenge. You have an iron axe and shears in your chest, and whichever one of you has their tree fully cut down first, including the leaves, wins a diamond. Go! What? Oh, Jesus! Let's go! <laughs> we're off, we're off! Oh, shit, no! Oh, oh this oh, doesn't oh, work, apparently. Oh, wow, okay! <laughs> I think we have okay. a clear winner there. Jesus, wow, that was GCA, whoa. a lot faster than hey. I thought it was gonna be. Good job! <laughs> How do I do? What? <laughs> what happened? What were you guys doing? I was trying to get my axe out. I what? think it was the shock of it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought there would be a countdown. I was like, what the hell? Did you have, yeah. a, did you have yeah, less just, oak logs? Have... Quick intervention because I want to say something about this challenge. Mine and Loyal's trees were built by hand. So, you know, he just placed the logs and leaves to you know, make the tree. But that right here is the issue, because we have something called auto decay on trees. As you can see, this right here would be a normal tree if I happen to mine it. As you can see, what? Okay, there's the last one. As you can see, it auto decays rapidly. And GCA's tree was a naturally planted tree, and mine and Loyal's weren't. So he just have a normal tree and have the auto decay thing and me and Loyal had to mine the logs and then get our shears, which I thought I had auto decay to, and mine the actual tree. This is why GCA won, he didn't win because he was fast. This is the fishing challenge. You have two strings in your chest and, it, and whichever one of you catches a fish first and hands it over to me, wins a diamond. Go! Oh. Let's this is, go, this guys. is unfair. <laughs> I was the farthest away from something. Looking forward to get your fish. <laughs> Bro. Oh, this is Suddenly a I fish, got the check piece on. Oh, second. wait, no, that's wrong. Oh, I'm stupid. No, no. Thanks. <laughs> Good strategy. And, uh, let me show you something back here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bro, all our things are at one spot. No, now it it's it's random. Chance. My guess oh. is GCA is actually gonna win the event. This and is my uh, guess. remember, you have to you have to hand it over to me. Okay. I'm over here. Mm, this is exciting. Oh no! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I dropped yes, it! I dropped I one, it! I one. Let's Thank go! So much. Here we go! Bro. Yeah. Oh, what the, the hell? Fish. <laughs> Alright, I have to say something here too, 
because the fishing challenge is purely RNG. That's the first part. It could take from 5 to 25 seconds. And the second thing is, with my shader, I do not see the particles of fishes going there. I just have to assume that the bobber goes underground, well, under the water. Just like this and then, you know, a fish. As you can see, there was no thing in the water. This is because of my shader, which made it a little bit of a disadvantage for me. And I also have to say that Loyal was right here next to two wood, and I think GCA was also pretty close, and I was just out here in the middle, not having anything near me, so I had to go over here and mine it over there. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's make fun of the guy in the middle without any diamonds. Look at him, the poor guy. Yeah, okay, one second, one <laughs> okay, second. what the fuck? <laughs> Imagine not having a diamond. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Couldn't be me. He's, he, can only, he can only do redstone. <laughs> <laughs> here, okay, come on. Ow. This is the chicken challenge. You have eight cobblestone in your chest, and whichever one of you hands me a cooked chicken first, wins one diamond. Go! Let's go! Off we go. Oh. Ooh, oh. I'm really excited Rest. how that's going to go. Yeah, same. They will have to go and find a chicken. Yeah. Oh, I've seen a plane's can... here. But I don't know where a chicken is. Oh. Let me see. Loyal is running this way. I think I'll uh, chase Loyal for a while. Stop chasing me. <laughs> that's mean. No way, already? What? Where are the chickens? There's <laughs> none here. There's a plains. <laughs> you got one, Peponi? Huh? Yeah, I think you got it with the... Ow! Hey. Where the hell are you guys? Oh, it's here. Bro... Oh yeah. wait, I'll come back to... to the oh, I found <laughs> one! <laughs> Drop me a chicken, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Stay here, you... Come on, come on, come on! Run, 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 run! Wait, wh where the hell are you, by the way? Uh, I'm coming I'm back to the... the yeah, please! Who, who got a chicken so far? Sorry. <laughs> I, I have a cooked chicken. Where the hell are you? Come here. Yeah. Oh. No, don't, no, don't let him. No. There you go. <laughs> hey, good job. Oh, Gigi. Gigi, we won it. So we have our, our our first place. Let's see who's coming. Why are you so second. slow, GCA? Oh, come on. Don't give what? him diamonds. <laughs> Imagine not diamond. having a diamond. He's a redstoner. <laughs> This is the Ender Pearl Challenge. <laughs> oh. Now you know which angle. <laughs> oh boy, no. I thought you were Disqualified! <laughs> Disqualified! <laughs> Get sorry, out sorry. Of <laughs> This is the Ender Pearl Challenge. Whichever one of you pearls through that one block opening there first wins the diamond. Go! Shit, we oh. all were too low. <laughs> nice first try. Oh. oh! What the f- oh, So exciting. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so it's just a bit above that. Enderbite! Oh! oh. oh. GG! Oh, no! Winner. no. <laughs> huh. Who would have thought? So <laughs> bad. <laughs> I okay, thought I only did two oh, hearts. okay. It was actually the angle I took in the first thing, but then oh, I really thought I'd change the angle and then, yeah, well. This is the roller coaster challenge. You have rails and a minecart in your chest, and whichever one of you builds the, roller, the coolest roller coaster in a five minutes time limit wins a diamond. Go! <laughs> <laughs> I love how you guys just. <laughs> Same idea. <laughs> no Same PvP. Idea. <laughs> it's lagging, oh, I can't man. mind blocks. Wasn't that bad, but it was All still right, pretty it's, bad. It's over. Stop, stop All right. building. Time's up. Nice. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, I guess we'll walk it. So yeah, the, this is the beginning. <laughs> you, you start out in the um, lush groves. Um, you go up. You go up to. Um, I can't eat. Rolling, rolling hills, and then you go down. Bro, what's go this down rolling shit? hills. 
Oh, I don't fucking know. Straight down. Oh shit, sorry. Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the, this part is called mining madness. Uh, nah, nah. Oh. This is big pothole. Oh, this... <laughs> that 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 wasn't supposed to be there. It's, it's just, just like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then you go back around to the beginning. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty nice. cool. Nice. Apple. All right. All right. Peponi, show us your your. Role. What would you guys think of mine? Cool. Ah, we'll, we'll do the voting in the end. I, I wanted to showcase uh, some interesting concepts first here. This should not make any sense because you can, as you can see, I don't know if it would look like that if because it's lagging, but you can, yes, <laughs> you can just skip this gap if there, you know, I would normally fall down, but mm. you can just skip this gap like this. If it wouldn't lag, it would look even cooler, but yeah, this is a real interesting concept that I wanted to show and. Um, over here we also have something you can you can actually first off if you place something at a wall then it instantly starts moving and you can go through blocks and you can also uh, you know have your uh, minecart be teleported down if you have a two block gap here further than two, I, I think I further think this than is two, a uh, health violation yeah further than two blocks would be a fall and yeah this here is the smallest looping minecart track you could in theory make. Okay, and you oh. press the wait, wait, I'll get next to you. Press the button, oh. and you should go down. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> You're going so fast. Wait, <laughs> you, um, you forgot three. a redstone torch. <laughs> yeah, you you forgot a redstone torch, which which oh, made this minecart a bit. Actually, I think worse. that lagged out. No, oh, and then. <gasps> Is that a weenus? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And yeah, uh, this is so ah. subjective. Well, holy fuck! Who is this gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Rob's not loyal. Biggest robbery 2024 already. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> no okay. one's gonna win, bro. So we have GCA's roller coaster comes in at seven points. Pupone <laughs> comes in at 11 points, and on the first place we have Loyal with 15 points. Congratulations! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> Sometimes I'm little, hitting Pupone, but it's doing <laughs> nothing in my screen. You are not even yeah! hitting me. He's not even standing oh, next to me. Oh my God! Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Over there now. <laughs> All right, uh, here's your diamond. Fifteen. There you go. Nice one. Haha, <laughs> imagine Oh my god, the leg. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> imagine not having two diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to complain about this challenge. I know my track wasn't the greatest and GCA's wasn't either, but Loyal's definitely was not a 15 out of 15 this is just an ordinary track or going through the landscape and i have no idea why they had favoritism and voted literally 15 out of 15. it's just a game for the funds but you know still a bit unfair partially <laughs> this is the farmer's challenge you have a hoe and seeds in your chest and whichever one of you has their field prepared and planted first Wins a diamond. Let's go. We are off. I'm so excited for this one. Oh, Pepona is going strong. Already half of the field is. Bro, this is lagging. This one side. field that I can't do is lagging. Oh, okay. Well, now it's done. Oh, that's a strong start. Pepona is already over. Oh, and we see a different tactic at 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 the uh, GCA. Preparing and planting at the same time. Oh, that's that's a close finish. That's really close. I'm done. Oh. Who was done well, first? Uh, that was uh, uh, super close. Bro, that was really close. Yeah, we were all like uh, loyal. It's really hard to say, to tell who. <laughs> <laughs> I you guess, uh, really you, footage. I guess, I, yeah, I could, but I guess you, you guys all did an amazing job on this one. Um, <laughs> Let's go. And one for Pepone. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was quick. One. This is the bucket challenge. You have an empty pool and one empty water bucket in your chest. Whichever one of you has their pool filled with water first wins the diamond. Let's go. Off we go. There they're running. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, most things against the rules. What? 
What? What? Oh, it's so laggy. Oh, there we go, there we go. We are going fast. <coughs> Add on. Oh, okay, good yeah, job. Same. Well, this one, this time it was a clear winner. Ah, oh, oh, wow. Yep. I'm in. Good job, Bro. guys. That was surprisingly fast. Pepone wins this challenge. Oh, Good job, here you go. One diamond for you. Thanks. So hey, <laughs> with the fireworks. <laughs> How does it work out in the end that we all tie up as well? Yeah, yeah it's wait, right. yeah, it's let's let's rigged. let's end it now, then we have a tie and everyone wins. Is it tie now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh G G G GCA's is unfinished. Oh, I'll finish it for you. Oh, oh. It was right. It was still water. So you all have three diamonds? It, it was yeah. here, but No, no, I didn't see any floor. There was well, one okay, right so here. Okay, so I guess it's a, it's a tie for this one. <laughs> we are oh, wow. all winners, yay. Okay, this is another intervention, because here at the water challenge, again, me and Loyal did it fine, but GCA cheated. I mean, I won in the end, but still, he mined moss blocks earlier. And then when the challenge started, he placed them at the ground here, and then he just needed the water buckets to fill up the f uh, the top area, while we and well we had to fill up the bottom and then the top. Good that he didn't win because that would be cheating. But uh, you keep your points, so you all now have three points oh. for this for this season. Go subscribe to this guy. He made this whole event for us to do, and it's like almost yes. night. For what time is it at your place now? Oh, it's 10:20 uh, in the evening. Oh, this oh, guy is yeah, so staying right. up for us. Look at that <laughs> <laughs> on a Friday. Tigrex is for Tigrex at 7 a.m. I think. Yeah, that's how oh, it is that's too. Uh, <laughs> sleep. Yeah. It's 11:18 uh, for me. All right, so I'm very proud to announce our first <laughs> three winners. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's write the GCA points. Let's write the points. Wait, I'm I'm, I'm oh, doing yeah, it right oh, now. Yeah. That would be amazing. Thank you. Um, well, you guys keep your three points this. now uh, for the whole season, and uh, I hope you come back for, for future mini challenge events. Yippee! I'ma build a frog light farm. What do I need for that? Well, first I need some magma slimes, and I get those from a treasure bastion. And how do I get to that treasure bastion? Well, through the nether. And how do I get through the nether? Well, with some obsidian. I've already looted a treasure bastion and have its coordinates, and we already also have a nether portal, but I just need some more obsidian so we can transfer the frogs. Because if you didn't know, you need some frogs for frog lights. And I'ma be transporting them through the nether, obviously, because they also need need to eventually be in the nether. So this right here is gonna be my first sequence with the replay mod, so let's see if I can do that. If not, there's gonna be a hard cut to when <laughs> I finished collecting the obsidian. Let's go. Whether there was a time lapse or not, I have collected 104 obsidian right here. That should be enough for quite some nether portals, but we don't actually need that much, but I just like to have some extra. Next I'm gonna get some powdered snow, because you also need that for the farm. Alrighty, now it's time to get some powdered snow, I got some buckets and I believe this here is so yes, this is some powdered snow and I can get some. Apparently not all of it is powdered snow, but I am gonna get like a shulker box, well, roughly everything I have right here. Alright, this is now a full shulker box, I don't think I need more, and yeah, I think I can return now. These are enough powdered snow, I think I only need 16 for my farm design, but I got 27 here, so that I have some spare that I can misplace. From There's the a skeleton horse, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, never mind, it's a white horse, what the hell. <laughs> yeah, I saw white horse. Okay. All right, now I repaired all my tools and I am ready. <laughs> okay, what the hell was that recording? Whatever. All right, now it is time to go into the Nether to the Bastion. All right, little intro done. The Bastion would be two thousand blocks away. I don't know if I want to go there. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna make a time lapse out of this. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's go.
I have found a new treasure bastion that is a little bit closer. As you can see, the other one would be here and this one is here. I think this, yeah, this is a treasure bastion and I think I will build the farm here. Because, you know, it's just, you know, 500 blocks closer. Okay, what oh, happens Oh, Jesus! I... Sorry, I... Ah, <laughs> the piglin blue fell in lava. <laughs> Screw you, piglin. Piglin. Oh, there is a magma spawner. Yippee! Yay! Yeah. I just made some piglins mad. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I think they're angry. I cleared out the area here and now I'm gonna build the farm. I am already starting to make the hole where they should fall down from the spawner. As you can see there are some slimes already. And yeah, I just need to remove the lava and dig a hole. If you're wondering which design I'm using, I'm using the design that Pixel Riffs made a year ago in his survival world. Yes, I am also watching tutorials, even though I'm making tutorials. Yes, this is the truth. I don't know how to do everything. I just remembered that I have the replay mod, so let's do this thing of filling up the lava down here, because you know there's lava down here, with the replay mod. Oh yeah, this is me recording this while I am, you know, building the thing. We are right above a lava ocean, that's why it, this is taking so long and so much gravel. Look at this! Oh, look at this, I have to fill all of this with gravel, oh my god. While getting some gravel, I have apparently found another bastion. Sick. Time to loot this one in it. Let's see. Okay, that's cool. Whoa, there's a lot of brutes. Okay, perfect. I hope the thing with the time lapse worked. And I am now at the bottom here, and this is perfect. This here took quite a while, as you probably have seen. I had to... Bro, this is... Why is the lava here so deep, man? I had to fill up every single block with gravel. Ah, but now it's time for the powdered snow. Okay, this is now done and I'm going to need a collection system next, but before I do that, I need a path backwards. I need the resources from my base, but this is so far away, look at this. I'm 2000 blocks away, I need to make some path 2000 blocks long. Alright, I'm gonna have a look at least where in the overworld this would be. Maybe we have a mangrove swamp near us. That would be great. Oh, subspace ball. What? I spawned at height minus 40. Uh, oh my gosh. But I what? I am. Oh, there's a diamond. I am in a amethyst shield, and there's a diamond. This this is a very funny coincidence. But I really, really, really do not want to be here down at this height. Because I'm going to have to mine upwards all the way. Oh, that's six diamonds right here. I will take the nether portal with me and then place it up there at the top. Because I'm just going to dig upwards. I do not want to have to get from the bottom here to the top here every time. I am somewhere and I also want to see where I am at right now. Oh, I'm in a cave directly beneath the ocean. Okay, this is pri pretty convenient. And this ocean is so deep. And <laughs> look at this ocean monument over there. Bro, this is so deep. What the hell? There, There's no land in sight. What? What? <laughs> I don't want... There's no land. Bro. 
Well, I don't think I am going to find land anywhere here, so I think I'm just gonna go down again. Whoa, this this is really weird. This feels so incredibly weird being here. What the hell? This huge deep ocean with the two monuments and this is this is so weird okay I am back at my geode now this is so weird what the hell I will be returning to base to get some more resources and such things but this is so weird here I cannot I cannot say this enough times this, uh, this was so surreal. It is now time to build a nether path. I have a full shulker box of polished diorite and I also have some resources that I'm gonna need for later on. Alright, I will start building a small nether path because I want some way to get there faster. It is quite, quite, quite far away. But I'll see what I can do. Yes, this might have been a monstrosity of a time lapse, I don't know yet, but I am done with this damn tunnel. I had two basalt deltas. This was awful, but here you can see it. I went from here to over over here. This is 2000 blocks away, but I am now here at the farm and I can start making the mechanism that will just collect the items and then then I will add the frogs. This is taking forever. I have prepared the place here a little bit so it looks a little nicer and I am a bit safer. Now I'm gonna make the collection system with the resources I have here. Okay, I have put the collection system in place right here. We have some chests and then we have this mine culture here, which if it collects some blocks or well, in case the frog lights and magma slime, then here it will just unload everything and then continue going again. Obviously, I am now going to place some blocks right here. Okay, now this is all done and set and now basically the farm is done, except for the frogs. Okay, I am now nearly done. This here is kind of the AFK area. I will be standing AFK right here to activate, you know, the spawner up there, which is currently covered by all the blocks. I will also further extend this up there and then also remove the blocks, obviously. But now it's time to get the frogs. Good news are I have found frogs and I have made some tadpoles. Bad news is I haven't recorded how I found the frogs, but they were just, well, we can't see it here because we are under the earth. Here's, by the way, where the farm would be in the overworld, but here was an island with some frogs. And now we have some tadpoles and I guess you could feed them slime, I've heard. Yeah, apparently they don't grow up fast. Okay, I just wasted a stack of slime. Oh well, I will get all those frogs in the farm now. Frog! Yes, frog! Look, frog! <laughs> okay. Alright, Mr. and Mrs. Frog, or whatever gender you are, I do not care. You ha now have a new home and you will have a lot of food in there. I tell you, a lot of food. Please do not enter the nether portal. I do need you in here and not there. Thank you very much. Okay, I have two leashes and now we whoop, 
we go down. Oops. Well, those leashes broke, apparently. Alright, if they broke, then I have another technique, which is called just push him in there, bro. And yes, they have survived the fall. And in theory, yes, I will already start the farm. We need all three colors, but for now we can already start it. Okay, this means now that I will encase all of this here first with some nice polished diorite, and then I will mine all these blocks. All right, here it is. All right, now I have to be really, 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 really careful with this. A tip I've heard is to encase it with blocks, that, uh, ooh, with blocks that you can mine with a shovel, so you don't mind the thing with the pickaxe. But that is too late now, isn't it? Okay, last blocks here that have to be mined, and bam, I'm down. This is it now. And we are already producing. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let's go. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Yo, look what I just found. I found like a a, a sky island from the mod. No way. And there's even an ice thing. What? This is crazy, bro. Look at this! Not that I need any resources from this particular one here, but from this one. What? It says deep cold ocean, and in my list I have deep cold ocean as something where the frog that I already have, the temperate one, spawns. Because only in bedrock the cold one would spawn here. So I don't know. I'm going to try to spawn them here in the Skylands winter thing. Because maybe over here they will become the the cold variant. I'm just going to have to watch out that they do not freeze. Because I don't have any torches. Ladies and gentlemen, I have good news. They are cold frogs. I only need warm frogs now. Yippee. Though this time I will have to watch out with the nether, nether transportation. I will for now keep them in this little pond here and secure the area around the nether portal. Because I initially made a nether portal, well you can't see that right here. But I initially made one, but you know, I can't use that one obviously because I'm up in the sky right here. And where did I spawn? Up in the sky in here as well. And I am pretty close to my bastion. Oh look, over there is the path where I initially made my portal. I think I might just try to link this to down there or something. As you can see, I have built a tunnel from here to over there where I can transport the frogs. I had also made this one portal because I planned on going out here. And yeah, let's transport them now. Okay, here we are now, back at the farm, and those two frogs are still in there, and they are going to have some companions now, some green companions. It's a bit of a hassle getting them here, but it's it's fine. Alright, you go first. They take a little bit of fall damage, but they take 5 hearts reduced fall damage, so that doesn't really matter. And you now too, maybe you land in the snow and then you won't take damage and yes, it already works. Yippee, not only the other variant. Quick update, I have uh, found another sky island. I'm currently over here, I have traveled a little bit with the nether portal and yeah, I'm just, you know, searching for maybe a warm biome because I need a warm biome. Bro, like honestly, I... But there's just so, so much ocean and I... I hope that here is no ocean as well, but I feel like this entire thing would be ocean. But, look at this. This is a really, really cute island here. We, ha we have some rabbits, we have some pigs, we have some zombies. But yeah, it's cool. 
this is awesome. Yeah, well, here would be the AFK room. And here you can see if you, yeah, well, you could just stand up here, but uh, you can <laughs> see down that there oh, are frogs. the frogs. And when there are magma slimes spawning, which is a, usually more frequent than now, um, they uh, the big variants die in the snow blocks, and oh, then the small ones, yeah, the small ones get um, eaten by the frogs. With candles right, so and so you want help rolls. getting the last uh, type of frog in here? Uh, yeah, so which is basically searching for biomes. Okay. Alright, let's go look for some biomes. No, look at this. It, it starts at height minus seven, and you have to swim up from oh height God. minus seven. This ocean, so ocean is immense. And then if you look up here, there is no land anywhere. Oh my god. Keeps has now helped me find the warm biome for the uh, other frog that was missing. And now we have all the frogs. We just need to transport them over to the farm. <laughs> they're so cute though. I want to have some frogs in my base. I know, they're just so cute, the frogs. I love frogs. Yeah, turtles are easy too. Oh yes, look! Let's go! Let's go, big boy! Time to force feed the other one! <laughs> Eat your magma. <laughs> yes! Frog! No, frog! Wait, no. When the squad hops into town. <laughs> what? <laughs> Time to go! Alright, uh, I'ma I'm a press F1 and then uh, now it's time for the time lapse. This is the last one. Yes, we have all the frogs now in now here. I understand how frog lights are made. You have to be one with a frog. Yes. You'll be down there for a week, Papone. See you later. <laughs> Thanks. All right, perfect. So cool. The farm is done. Thank you very much for helping me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're really nice to build with, especially when you don't have to make a farm. Yeah, bro, <laughs> yeah, bro, this is... You can agree with me that this storage is bad. Well, I have a solution to this, which is finally making a proper storage. This right here is my island, and this is the Lightmatica build of what I want to build for my shulker box unloader. I built it myself in creative, that's why it might be a little unusual, but it's exactly what I want. First, I'm gonna need to get some materials, though. I now have all the resources, and I can start building. Yes indeed, it has been finished. Let's go, man. I don't know how this time looks look like, but I am really glad that it is finished. You basically place a shulker box right here, which is filled with items that are more than one, as you can see here, or you just drop items onto this here, or you put items in this chest here, and then they will land in these chests over here. And this is just, you know, my storage when I want to throw some items out of my inventory. Here's going to be my proper storage. You know, we've got a sign if we have overflow issues, we've got a sign if the total thing is full, we have some indicators that there are some items in here, and we have some indicators that those are filled to the brim. And obviously I will encase it with some kind of thing, but for now, you know, it's just this raw thing here. <laughs> and I wanted to place it right next to the nether portal because, you know, I, it's just convenient hey, can, being able to put your items in here or something. I will now light this whole island up. I've got enough resources and I have my tools with which I can see where something is not lit up enough like the block light level in my minimap or the whole overlay here. So let's get started.
Okay, that might have been a beefy time lapse. Let's see how I edit it. It will probably be like 20 to 30 seconds. But as you can see, I lit up the whole island so it's nice and light everywhere and, and there will be no mobs anywhere. I need to collect some resources and I have them right next to my base because I need some dark oak and we have a fancy small little dark oak forest here. To update you on the current base here, I have built a cactus farm, then I have built a grass slash moss carpet farm and some cocoa beans. Yep, just a quick little update. We are over here at my slime shop and I want to make something for the people that do not want to play the game of putting something in here and then the things dropping out of the wall. So I'll make one slime ball less for the diamond, so it's just, you know, a little, a little bit different, so you would have to do this for the maximum profit. But 35 is still pretty good. If you're wondering why exactly 35, it's because 4 slime blocks equal to 36 slime balls. And you know, it might be a little frustrating to not have that one slime ball for the fourth slime block, so you need always need to pay and buy a little more. This is just marketing strategy. Because <laughs> I decided oh, to, to, uh, to take the island, yeah. I checked it out last night, I was wondering whose it was. <laughs> oh yeah. I had a feeling it was yours, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, how, this is how my... Do you... Oh, <laughs> he disconnected. <laughs> what? Hello, what did you say? Okay, yeah, what did you want uh, to oh say? I was just saying, this is insane. <laughs> yeah, that's... I see you've already started, uh, not sorting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is this not sorting, not sorted storage. Oh my this god. This is where I throw my items into. Redstone just makes me confused. Yeah, it's just going through. So counts. confused. Oh, does it? Yeah. <laughs> alright, I can explain it to you. I'm recording anyways and I might need to explain it. So alright, time for time for free cam and F1. So basically we have here some two chests. First off here we have something where we can throw items into a hopper or where we can just throw items into a chest. Then here we also have a shulker box um, unloader which if we just put items into a shulker box the items need to be more than one. We place it here it instantly gets destroyed and picked up and sent up here. Then up here it will get placed and detected that there is something in it and once it is empty that gets detected and it gets destroyed and all the items are sent in this storage. Yeah, the water leads down here. Here are on both things um, dispensers that always just throw out every single item. Then up here are water streams that lead eventually into the hoppers or on top obviously in the hopper and uh, then in the dispenser. And yeah, obviously it gets detected if something is in the dispenser and then if it's something is placed and if it's uh, empty. So that's why there are three comparators in that small space there and yeah that's basically they've also got a overflow detection over here with overflow issues if there is a little bit too much traffic and i've also got something to, to detect if something is full and if something is occupied as you can see with these comparators here they're pretty simple yeah I, that's not simple at all <laughs> i built this in creative and here we have a funny yeah. bed the way the Trapdoors match up with the bed frames. That's a really funny thing. <laughs> yes, I still need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do here <laughs> with this thing. <laughs> I mean, this is just impressive. Like, I just, I just don't understand redstone aside from simple stuff. Ah, uh, this is this this is pretty simple. And here we have, you know, terracotta because I like terracotta. Yeah. No, terracotta is a good block. And I gotta see what I'm gonna do with this. Um, yeah, as uh, you probably won't no don't didn't notice because there it's day, but we have a lot of shroom lights here with some moss carpets on top. So the whole oh, really? entire island is spawn proof. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous of that. <laughs> I've got way too many creepers around me. Oh, your your place is huge. Yeah. Yeah, I can't yeah. even imagine. 
And the next thing that I'm going to make will be... Well, I, I would need some soul soil for this and eventually soul speed. But right here in this direction I'm gonna make my storage. Oh yeah, that'll be nice to have all that together here. Yeah, as you can see I have everything here very compact and then in the other places will be, I don't know, farms and buildings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. just here a little bit in the sky. I'm, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do, I'm just, that's why I just built it in the sky here. Oh hi, I forgot to record with replay mod, but here is the progress so far. I have my own thing, how I sort my things, I will add some more, you know, carpets and some chains and some water and, you know, light, I mean, I mean white dye on the signs. This is generally how it will look like, here's the small storage for the normal items and here is the bulk storage for mainly full blocks. Well obviously I still need to do the entire thing, I'm just here in the middle of the process and I also want to show you, this is the island here at night. As you can see it's pretty lit up, it's quite lit in it. Okay, quick interruption, I have collected some vines because I want something to have more levels if I happen to have more chests reaching up to the sky and I have also added something for the shulker boxes here. I am, you know, advancing, it's still taking a while but I also have made a wall of heads, I'm probably gonna move this but yeah, if you get this reference you're very cool and yeah, I have, you know, some an illusioner and Gas, Evoker, Wither, Endermite, Piglin Brood, and then here Vexhead, and then here Exolotl and Turtle. I have some, I have more, but I decided to use those ones for here. All right, yes, uh, this is a little bit better now. And uh, let's continue with this one. I have now also made an AFK room right here. This should be pretty safe, and even if I die, my items will be in this chest. I just don't know yet how I'm gonna make all of this look good because I like having functional things and then I, you know, don't really care about how it looks. So I'm gonna have to get creative. Hey, <laughs> guess who's done with the storage and sorting system? Yes, me, finally. This is quite a big chunker of labeling and it's gonna be very, very tedious getting all of my items in there. <laughs> To explain the concept, right here on the right side we have things that belong to the chest. The thing that is closest to the chest belongs to it, for example the bottom one would be common and the top one would be rare. So here I've lay so here I I've added all the chests that I'm gonna need, for example here for music discs I just need one chest, except if I get more music discs or so then I'm going to extend it upwards obviously. But for this one here I have, for half blocks I have others, a fourth chest. And the left side is just bulk starch here for example, grass dirt and like related stuff like coarse dirt. You can make this like, I don't know, 10 blocks high or something, so I've just left space up there for when I need it. By the way, can we appreciate how cool this already looks? I mean, it doesn't have any decoration, it's just plain and some chests, but this is really cool. Alright, let's go. Yo, before I start doing this, I need some soul speed 3, because I only have soul speed 2, and I want to get along here a little bit faster. I might also cover some things over here with some soul soil, and I will also put carpet on top of this. I have just found a very odd ruined portal here and there does not seem to be a chest. Okay, perfect. I have a bastion here and let's see if I get something from this. I got some nice things from the bastion but not soul speed free so I'm gonna continue searching. Perfect, here is a second one. Oh, perfect. Soul speed free. Let's go. Second bastion, nice. Well, it isn't my second bastion. It's just second bastion of today. And some more nice loot. I'm gonna finish looting this bastion and then return because I don't want to loot more because I don't want to spend too much time today on Minecraft. I have an issue, they're a little bit mad at me and I also fell in the lava here and this is literally one level above the lava layer and I cannot for damn sake manage to get out of here. Oh my god. Okay, I'm finally out. 
Those bros down there really don't like me stealing their stuff, do they, huh? Bro, what the hell? What the hell is going on? What are they doing? Hey, look what I found! The beautiful path of my last video. If you haven't watched it, it is honestly one of my best videos I've ever made. This is the video about the frog light farm. And this right here is just the path to the frog light farm. It's, it's crazy, it's over here. Here's spawn, here's me. I really, really recommend that video. It has way too less views for how good it is. I don't know, it's just, you know, YouTube sometimes gets bad videos, many views, and good videos get like no views. That's how YouTube goes sometimes. Just look at all those reactions and memes and stolen content, they're all doing really well and so many original content things just don't go well. Oh well, enough YouTube talk. I am back at base here and I can now use my shulker box on loader first and I can also enchant my things. Here is the loot that I had gotten, here is soul speed 3 which I'm gonna put on my boots real quick and pam pam 27 levels got down but Finally, I can move around here really fast and sort my items really fast. This is wonderful. And all of this stuff I'm gonna showcase real quick. Here this thing for you. I'm gonna put it in here. It gets destroyed. It gets sent over, sent up here, then in this chest and then it gets placed. And once it is empty, it gets destroyed. I have now extended this part here so I can collect my items from here and then run over. I'm gonna pl also place a lodestone anywhere here, I'm gonna move it later on, but for now I just wanna have all those blocks here. I wanna be even faster in my base, I don't only want soul soil and soul speed free, I also want to have speed too, which means I'm going to have to mine this beacon in the town and get it over to my base. <laughs> Just a little clarification here. This is the beacon I used to mine out my slime farm here. So I <laughs> I farmed the beacon myself and I placed it and used it here so I can take it with me again. Because now the slime project here is done and we and we don't really need haste to in the town. Here it is. I didn't want to mine all the iron again or get it from a farm or something because I haven't built an iron farm and I don't just want to take from other people and I also don't want to farm another beacon. I might in the future but not, not now. I'd say roughly in this area right here would be the middle of the island so I want to put the beacons there. Yep, I'm gonna place it right below here. This has nothing to do. I just wanted to it to be a little bit you know symmetrical and I decided to you know evaluate if it is symmetric by you know having a shape like this I'm a, I don't know yet if I'm gonna even have blocks here or if this will just be you know some other things but I have this as a marker for this down here time to dig straight down in it <laughs> Okay, the beacon is set up now, the time lapse might have been a little weird because I got distracted by a cave and I have some diamonds as well now, but we have the speed 2 beacon and I'm really happy about that because look at this, how fast I am. Wait, <laughs> let me get up here, oh my, wait, I need to, I need to close this off, hold up, hold up, hold up, um, yeah, well, uh, not like this, yeah, I'm gonna close it off like this. Alright, look at this. <laughs> Look at this! I'm so fast! This is this is great, I love this. Oh yeah, this is uh, by the way in total what I got uh, here from mining down there. Some nice deep slide diamond ore. And bro, this might even be... Yeah, this is perfect. I can take something from here, then sort it into the chest here, then look or look over here and... Bro... This is, this is mental. Oh yeah, real quick again here, shulker box unloader, plus you can just drop your other things in this thing here and then they get, oh, why is this not, well, well whatever. 
and then you know the shulker box up here gets emptied and also those items flow into here here we've got something you know in between in case there are too many items flowing through and then they just go instantly in here it might cause a little bit you know as you can see um, there is just too many items going through but yeah it will detect if there are too many items going through but I designed it in a way that this is no problem so you can just throw your items that you have in your inventory in here and the shulker box in here and it will just automatically fill up yes I love this as you can see yeah here it's just getting all the items in here and then I can take things from here and sort them into here before I start my time lapse, I'm going to craft 27 shulker boxes right here, a full inventory. And I'm gonna use all of those and fill them up and send them into the storage. <laughs> right now we have 5 times 3, which means 15, which means 30 free spaces. So this should be fine. I have here, you know, 31. And with the hoppers, this should just fill it up to the brim, which is perfect for sorting. I'm gonna make a time lapse very soon, and if it is too fast for you, just slow down the video, then you might be able to see more of what I put into the things. Here we are back again at the chest monster. <laughs> I'm also gonna empty some other random chests that I'm having laying around. And I've also noticed down here at the storage from my slime farm that people are taking the stone I have mined and put in there just out of there. So I need, definitely need to get rid of that storage before more people take something out. Yeah, right now I'm just preparing a place where I can place all those shulker boxes. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I suppose let's start doing this now. This won't be the part of the time-lapse, I'll just time-lapse the part where I fill in the chests actually there, just, you know, this shulker box thing will be a hard cut. This was a big cut. <laughs> As you can see, most of the chests here are gone, and uh, I have, you know, all of those shulker boxes here filled with items. You know, I'm still missing the chests down there and such, I'll have to go for a second trip, but I am now moving those chests over. I now want to present to you the real beauty of this mechanism. As you can see, I have a lot of shulker boxes filled with items, and look what I can do. <laughs> I can just, I can just place them all, and they are, you know, being picked up and up here being emptied, and they're flowing in this chest right here. And I can just, I can just place them. If you're wondering why I'm not putting them in a chest or something, it is because like this, empty shulker boxes would not be detected because empty shulker boxes would break the system. So it just destroys it if it is full. But yeah, do, do you see this? They're all being emptied. They're all flowing items in here. This, this is, this is, this is crazy, bro. I tell you, this is crazy. I have now cleaned up everything here. The only things left are those down there. I've also made some small changes here. For example, I've moved this down here so it's not in the way. And I also have something where I can place shulker boxes on here, then empty them and then just press this. This is just a secondary mechanism, you know. And that'll give you the satisfaction of some more shulker boxes here. This is, this is, this is incredible, man. I love this. <laughs> Let's roll the time lapse. This took forever. It might have just been 30 seconds to you. I will make sure to cut it down to 30 seconds, but I will pro have probably moved so fast around that you couldn't even see me. I, this is just my prediction. I don't know yet how the replay mod looks like, but this has been three hours and I am, you know, mainly done. I still need to, you know, remove all the things from my old base and I also have some stone and some 
things in the chests left and I'm gonna move over now. But I mean, mainly everything here is done now, so I'm glad. Those, these items here are the ones that I could not manage to sort. So I'm just gonna put them, you know, in the sh yellow shulker box here because, you know, those might just be a little special. And I will also now show you what is all in those chests and what, you know, clarification here is for everything in a little time lapse. So let's do that as well now. Okay, let's go, time lapse. I messed up, I didn't click a chest on now. A disaster. No way home, or however the thing is called. <laughs> Far from home? Spider Man one. I don't know, it's too much homes for me. Okay. Next one's gonna be Spider Man homeless. Thank you very much for watching. This was a huge episode and I think it was a bit boring in between because my voice sometimes was, you know, a bit silent because I was tired and talked, you know, a little a little slow and silent. But this here is the entire thing. We have the great shulker box unloader which helped me a lot here. We have the manual shulker box unloader here and we have this monstrosity of a storage which took forever to fill like three hours or more and yeah I finally have moved all my items over only thing left to do now is to pretty up the spawn area with Keeves and with John sorry for not having too many other people here in this video there will be more in the future but you know I can't really involve other people too much when I'm making a storage system now it is time to remove all those things here. There has already been some work done as you can see. There has been some activity already. But I just want to make this look a little bit better. So let's go. Okay, I think this is cleaned up now. My area might look a little bit more empty, but I think some people will like it like this way way more. I will help basic a little bit with, you know, terraforming the strained river because he just decided to put his squid farm here and he's draining this entire river. So I thought I'd make, you know, a little replay mod time lapse of me just making this here a little bit prettier. One further thing I can improve is making this tunnel here bigger, because like that you can fly through it better. And I've noticed here is Sam's place apparently. Oh, this is a really cute way. Oh, I'm gonna make this bigger too. Okay, this is now done. As you can see, I have made the path quite a big bigger. <laughs> yeah, here is the sign to Peppo and to Sam, and here you have this gigantic thing here. I will now be making this portal bigger, and then I will also improve Sam's path. Now this is way better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now it's time for Sam's place because, you know, I just, if I have this huge path, I want this further track here to be also a little, a little nicer. I have just noticed that there is some kind of weird tunnel directly above the stairs that they were at, so I do not know if I'm going to change some things here. This tunnel... I have honestly no idea where this is going to. Well, it goes to Sam, but 
where does this go to? All right, let's let's find out then. 600 blocks away in the nether. All right, let's find out. And this is what? This is someone's base. Whose base is this? What the hell? I've never seen this. What the hell? And they've got an insane scenery here. See, that's the issue with living that far away. No one notices what the hell you're doing. It is my guess this is GCA? But I'm not sure exactly who this could be. So then, yeah, well, this tunnel is getting used quite frequently then, so I will improve it now. Okay, this path is now done, and I have also made a more convenient path to here. I have no idea who made this rail system, because it literally goes down and back up, and it literally stays on the same height level. <laughs> but whatever, I just also made Sam, you know, a little more convenient tunnel than going down there. And yeah, now, now you have a better, better tunnel to up here, and I still don't have an idea who the other guy is either it's uh, either it's something basic or GCA or pff, I don't know but they seem to have played a lot and you know they apparently weren't in voice calls and such so I didn't notice that they existed and they also didn't make any videos yet at least I didn't notice any anyways this tunnel here is now done and I will now continue with all the other things that I have planned for this episode our dear Keefs has made a wool shop that looks exactly like this and this is a pretty good building and he has also said that there is a mini game in it I believe he said it was something to finding a button so let's see if we can find a button here oh I can finally get some brown carpets oh. I think <laughs> I think I found the button. <laughs> let's let's read this first. Okay, we've got a discount for more stacks. Let's go. That's some that's something interesting. Quest: Jab's mysterious vault. Quest rules: No block breaking, obviously no asking, and having fun. Hint: Find the button. If you think you're sly enough to solve it, then flip to the next page for your first clue. Well. Is is it intended to have the first clue in, in in the start? Is this is this a type of the? Am I supposed to read the clue, or is this a, you know a, just a hint, or do I you know need to do this? All right, I guess I've got my totem, I've got my chest plate on. I'm going to be I'm standing right here on this block, so if those here get removed, then there will nothing be happening, and I cannot reach this. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, let's push it. I heard nothing. There was nothing. Okay, maybe it was not that button. Nope, there's a second one. Let's let's stand on a shocker box here. There will be no, nothing happening. Oh, maybe it's a button sequence. Oh, hell no. Please don't let there be a button in here. What the hell? Oh, that looks like a place where a button could be. Can I free cam? I mean, I can't go through blocks and free cam anyways. Yeah, okay, no. Oh, he used my, yay, he used my shroom lights. I mean, my, my frog lights. Now, let's see. There doesn't really seem to be anything in the ceiling. Okay. Oh, that's what I thought. All right. Yes, there was, there, there was, there was a hopper. <gasps> Yes, this is what he's, he's talked about, the jab hat, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's go. Alright, let's read the, the hint. Decoys and traps, oh, those two were the decoys, I don't know what traps there were, but let's see what was the first one. Okay, and please only come to reward and so sure there's enough for everyone. Oh, okay. Alright, I have my reward, thank you Keeves, that was a really funny mini game, and I I'm thankful for that you also have implemented some kind of minigame into your shop like I did with my bamboo and with my slime shop. 
the others have done an incredible job right here at improving the spawn as you can see all the mess here is gone and it is actually good looking up there is the portal to the shopping district and I have to change some things up right here but generally this this is really cool sadly the portal from down here just got removed so I gotta claim that back I will now be improving this part right here because now that all those things have been changed it looks a little worse so I wanna you know pep it up a little bit Okie dokie, this is done now here, everything is half slapped, so no magma cubes and all those things can spawn. We have a nice little bulky entrance and then this tunnel here, which I might improve in the future, but you know, I, I, I don't really want to. But yeah, this is looking pretty good now, isn't it? I need terracotta for my base. And for that, I'm out here in the nether fortress farming for some wither skeleton skulls. I just need some for my beacon. I finally got one skull and with that I already have two other ones. Now I have three and I can't get the wither. I'm now gonna make a proper path down to hide minus 64 and fight the wither there. That was easy. It lagged a little bit so in the end it took a little while and then I had to gap but it's fine. Didn't die, didn't lose a totem and here I have my wither's head and my nether star and a diamond. Time to craft a beacon and here it is. Let's go beacon. Now I just need to place it wherever I want. I'm gonna use it for terracotta farming. Bro I have to tell you this shader is so sick. Look at this. It looks like this is an infinite ocean. I mean, it's pretty big, to be honest. But this is just wonderful. This is beautiful. Damn. I just found a town or something. It's from the Terralith mod. What the hell is this? There are even villagers here, bro. What the hell, bro? Time to kill the villagers. Okay, calm down there, Toadahan. Oh hell no, I'm killing all of them. There's a chest. Oh, there's a chest with cookies. Time to rob, huh? Wow. Some beetroots. Yippee. Bro, this is so much loot here. What the hell? Bro, what the what the hell? Oh, there are candles. There's a house in the mountain. Bro, there are so many chests. This is crazy, but there is like no Oh, never mind. The rabbits and a tripper hook. I'm gonna need that for my redstone. I'm gonna mine every single chest I find. So so, you know, that I don't get confused which I have and which I don't. Unemployed villagers had nice, bro. <sighs> Did you get it again? Yeah, I'm getting all of them. Damn. 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 Same thing in it, bro. I'm taking all the candles here, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All the candles. Because I really like candles and the target blocks because target blocks are really useful for redstone. Yay! I love redstone. That's you. Get oh, down to my village. Diamonds on obsidian. Anymore. Excuse me. And an anvil. Oh, wait, this I is can, broken. I... I'm killing my villagers here. Good. What they deserve. Bro, this is this is this is crazy. And here's my number. So call me maybe. No, I won't call you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still in this town. This is huge. This is like a terrible thing. And it's mental, mate. Mental? Bloody mental, it's mate. Mental. It's bloody mental. Oh my god. In it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there are more villagers to kill. Oh, that's a cool chest. Too bad I'm too rich and I don't need it. I wonder if there are any hidden chests anywhere here. Too bad you're a villager. Too bad you're about to die. I'm getting a 10 minute recording from this. I love it. Oh my god. It is how it is. Okay, I think I've looted everything here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Do 
you care? Nah, bro. Exactly. I'm just killing villagers. And it was a nice town here. I'm gonna never are, visit are you it talking again. Talking or no? Hello, guys. No, I'm kidding. I'm muting. I have just found a woodland mansion. Yes, I found a naturally spawned woodland mansion out here. And by the way, and by the way, up here. And yeah, this is a very interesting coincidence and I'm gonna loot it now. I had just found in this chest the armored room and an enchanted golden apple. What the hell? I, f for me at least they are rare. There are some people that are just way too lucky. It's mostly the clueless people. But for me, bro, what the hell? Because I've once searched for two weeks for an enchanted golden apple on a different server and here Bro, I'm, I'm really glad and I have to fix damn armor trim. Little update, here I found another terror lift structure and this is a bit closer to spawn. I think Morgan found this on one of his first days or so. This is a really incredibly beautiful island, look at this. Right, you got a coral reef here, you got this beauty. This is by the way kind of how I want my base to look like a little bit. And yeah, this is just beautiful. I looted this town. I got these things from it. And yeah, let's go. As you can see, I sadly did not find a mesa. So I will just, I guess, not have any color terracotta. I will just get the normal terracotta from right here. While I'm at it, I thought I'd get some sand and some sandstone because I want to build a nice beach at my base. Excuse me, I found someone base up here. I am apparently really close to civilization now already because this right here is I think is it colonels or is it Coleman space some of, some of the some of the guys that just do uncut let's plays but uh, yeah pretty fancy that I found that here finding all the things right here from the people that are on the craftopia SMP apparently I would just if I want to find new things I mean I gotta be up here here's what I'm, here's the mansion I found and somewhere here is probably also the town that I found. yep here is the town that I found yeah so I just gotta you know portal up somewhere and explore there if I want to find something new I'm back at my base, I'm gonna repair my elytra and then gonna farm some terracotta over there at, I don't know, here or something. Uh, this is my path for searching for some terracotta, I didn't find anything. Here's all the loot that I got and guess what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna throw it into my shulker box unloader because I could not be asked sorting those things right now. I'm gonna do that a little bit in the future. <laughs> Bro, there's no way. I just jumped into the end portal because I was at my enderman farm look where i set my spawn it's at the damn town here i'm back here again <laughs> what the hell bro <gasps> no i have to go to play back again this time i'm gonna go in a curve like this though bro <laughs> no way <laughs> ayo sick bro i found a biome right here which has naturally generated rooted dirt and some packed mud so i'm gonna get this because it's you know really similar to terracotta and i think it's gonna look good in my base hell yeah i'm ballin hey yo it's been a while since i've last recorded uh, because i have mined so many blocks so much packed mud rooted dirt and coarse dirt Look at this, <laughs> this mantle, and I've also got a turtle's head and some turtle eggs. Bro, time to return to base now, finally. Look where I'm at, look where I'm at. I'm fairly close, you know. Turtles, bro, now it started raining. It was such a nice scenery, but look, all the turtles are going in a line. <laughs> Yeah, this is a hell of a turtle beach. God damn, there are a lot of turtles here. But I already have some turtle eggs, so I do not need to breed them, and I will not kill them because they I love turtles and they're so cute. Yes, I have two turtle heads. I've killed enough turtles already. So, yeah. Ooh, I found some tall grass in this chest. Tall grass is, if you didn't know, quite a rare block because you cannot get it with shears or silk touch. You just. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, it's Farmer's Delight. 
Yeah, you need to find it in chests. So this is why tall grass and large fern is pretty rare. Guess what? I found a mesa-like biome, but also guess what? It is very, very small. I have those nice blo mesa blocks here, but I do not know if it's worth putting down a beacon here to mine all those. So I'll just mine a few with a pickaxe normally, because it's gonna take a bit, but you know. I think it's gonna take longer if I just place a beacon and then mine it again and just, you know, mine blocks normally. Now it is time to mine a big chunk of some terracotta here. I've got my beacon ready and I've got my pig's axes ready and let's see how much terracotta is actually here. We've got another patch over there but I've already mined some there earlier in the season and yeah, let's see how much I can get from here. There will be a time lapse. Yep, I now have eight chalker boxes full of terracotta. This right here, bro, this took a while to mine. You might have seen the time lapse, I hope it was good. But <laughs> I've mined so much terracotta here. There's even, there would be even more, but I just don't need that much. I now have a ton of terracotta, as you can see. <laughs> I also have, obviously, from the other patch, some other terracotta. And here you can see all the mud I got. And obviously here also some dirt, some rooted and coarse one. I made a frog light farm. And now I want to get some diamonds for those frog lights. And to do that, I need to build a frog light shop. I'm gonna be building it right here on the shop tent next to Keeves, the color house. Let's go! <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god. Oh, this is, bro, what is this? This frog looks so goofy. What the hell? Bro, what have I built? Bro. <laughs> issue with the frog texture is that if they have their mouth open, their pixels are, you know, sideways and you can't really replicate it that well. <laughs> oh well, I, f <laughs> I think this is, this is fine though. I just need to fill these up and place some signs and also I want some um, seedings uh, in here. Yeah, 
Oh my gosh, I just came back from getting the resources and I can't get over how goofy he is. Look, imagine you come out of the portal, you see, you know, the cake, you see that house, you see the statue, you see the thing, and then you see this, bro. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> you know, he's gonna get some vegetation in his mouth, bro. <laughs> some lily pads so they can move over here. Okay, well, this is set up, you know, 32 frog lights for 5 diamonds. I, you know, missed a stack there. There, but that's fine. No one's gonna buy the whole chest anyways. I have just such a little amount at my base anymore just that I need to AFK at my farm again. But yep, this was this nice and small video about the frog light shop that I wanted to make. It's pretty short but uh, you know I just want to keep my videos have one theme because I've seen my videos you know have several different things that I'm making like going to the nether and exploring and building something so I just want to keep one thing per episode. I want some diamonds and for that I'm gonna go caving. If you're wondering why there is blackstone instead of deep slate, it is a biome of the Terralith mod. We have custom biomes alongside the default ones obviously. So let's go, I'm gonna try something different for this video. It's inspired by Sam. Yes, the style is doing a voiceover and I'm here following the player with the replay mod. You're gonna see a lot of diamonds that I'm missing because you know right now I'm flying through the walls and right there I you know was just walking through the caves. I didn't see some caves, I didn't see every single room. But as you can see right here, I'm in some lush caves, which is wonderful. And here right right on the screen, yeah, you can see some diamonds that I've missed. But I've towered up to get some more resources everywhere, and you're sometimes just gonna see walls and stuff because I was moving around so much and it's so so difficult to follow the player with the camera on 10 times speed because right now look I'm just moving around so much and you know replay mod you know it sometimes turns and angles that you don't really want to and I didn't um, look over it too much because it was a if you didn't know a two hour recording I was mining diamonds for two hours so I you know I cut it down it's going to be yes yeah, spoiler I cut down into 10 minutes I've got time spams but just don't skip it it's gonna be real interesting yeah uh, also here those caves those underwater caves were filled with diamonds it's crazy yeah and I had I didn't have depth rider but I I had aqua affinity and um, the other one I think yeah respiration so that was pretty good and the server didn't lag or anything so the experience there was pretty good as you can see I'm just right now not on the screen but you know I'm always every few seconds I'm gonna be popping onto the screen because that's kind of how I recorded when I was you know Diving between all those caves right here. I just always teleported uh, my camera in the replay mod to my player and so that I always have You know the camera on the player every few seconds and so Sometimes I just run out of the screen But for example for these mining things here where I just mine through a tunnel There I always make sure to make sure to follow the player properly but yeah, as you can see, there are diamonds here, and this time I mined them, but <laughs> you can't see it because <laughs> the pillar is in front of it. But yeah, I, I am sometimes moving a lot, and you can see me hopping around there, and you can see me towering up, getting the diamonds on the ceiling, and all those things. Man, I want to say, I... Here, I did not go back and mine all the diamonds that I didn't see in the replay mod, like that would be literally cheating. Regarding that, I had a minimap, and the minimap showed me kind of where caves would be. So I just, you know, sometimes when I didn't, when I, you know, when I emptied my cave and just look at the minimap and kind of see where another one is, I wouldn't really see the height of the cave, so I'd have to guess. That's why you sometimes see me digging a tunnel. Oh yeah, by the way, here I fell in lava. <laughs> uh, you sometimes see me digging through a tunnel and sometimes, you know, going a little bit into the direction of another cave. And that's, yeah, because I saw it on the minimap. For example, later on, it's gonna be with uh, uh, the case with a mineshaft. By the way, this room, this was really fancy. Oh, yeah, okay, wait, oh. 
Oh, well, okay, yeah, I, by the way, flew with my lighter very far away, that's why we've got that huge skip right now. <laughs> um, yeah, here we've got an arrow underwater cave. This is not a diamond level, I just, uh, I, by the way, I mined all resources, not just mine, uh, diamonds. I mined tons of redstone, because it was also one of my goals. I wanted to have a lot of redstone, so just, you know, mined that as well. And as you can see here, I'm just swimming around. You, you can see me there in the background, it's really, it's really funny seeing me, uh, like, <laughs> this way. And yeah, here, I think, yeah, I will be tunneling. Yeah, th this this view from inside the blocks where you can see all the caves and stuff, it's it's really cool to see, you know, where I went, which uh, things I did not see and such. Yeah, by the way, this here is a terror lift structure. This is from the mod. You know, it had, I think, uh, some diamond tools and such in there. I also... As you can see there, I'm always using my shulker box, as you're gonna see in the end, obviously, how much I got. Uh, it, it was a lot, I'm just I'm just say, <laughs> saying that already. It, I got a lot of resources. Yeah, right here you can't really see me. Well, you can't see me mining that. Oh, well, you can't really see me that mining the diamond anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, the mod offers a really good scenery, as you can see here, of all the black stone and such and the magma, it re it's really fitting for the deep. Yeah, um, also regarding the minimap, I also have, yeah, here's a tunnel where I just mined to the thing. I have free cam, but I, yeah, here's here's the mineshaft, here's the mineshaft. Yeah, I have free cam, but I cannot go through blocks with free cam, so I didn't really, I just used it, I think, once. Um, other people on the server have a version of free cam with which they can go through blocks. I do not know how this works. I tried uh, turning it on in the settings, but it says I'd have to either be in single player or be an admin of the server to it to work. So yeah, you know, I don't know, but you know, flying through walls with free cam, it's a little bit of cheating, isn't it? So I'm, I'm glad I can't do that because with that I would have just be able to literally see like I am right now in replay mode I would see literally where every single cave is I would see where every single diamond is so I'm really glad I do not have a free cam <laughs> oh yeah by the way here I, I, I saw on my minimap there there was a deep dark and I, they, those those shriekers they they heard me well not the shriekers the skull sensors heard me and I just evaded I just walked backwards yeah I'm as you can see I'm just digging a lot through those tunnels right here I I couldn't find a big cave the the things I wanted to find were big caves and I just found those small tunnels and I think did I yeah okay I entered this bigger one. But yeah, there was just, you know, here in this middle, a section where, oh, I missed the diamond. Nice. Yeah, here again, I'm mining, but this seems to be, yeah, I'm gonna find a nice big cave here that I've... Oh, I missed those diamonds, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a tower of structure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm mainly exploring the caves here. And yeah, uh, sorry, you, you just can't see anything right now because I'm moving so much through those caves. It is very impossible to follow the player. It was already really tedious, Go, like get, going through this two-hour recording. I went through it in eight times speed, by the way. That's why I sometimes just couldn't follow the player because I just, you know, tele basically, you know, it's not teleporting, but you see how fast I am. It's uh, this right here is like 10 times speed, and in replay mod you can have 8 times speed. You know, I, I sometimes adjusted it, for example in this part here, in a part where I moved from one space to another, like in, you know, and you couldn't really follow me because I didn't do anything except, like, you know, fly my, with my Elytra. There I just uh, sped up the part a little bit more, so, you know, I, I, I'm speeding up things that are irrelevant, and when something is more relevant, like here, I try to, you know, have it a little bit slower and those things. Yeah, this was a huge cave here, by the way. Yeah. What what was I doing during those two hours? Yeah, I listened to a podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah, I did, you know, the podcast, sometimes music. I mean, the podcast was two hours long, so it was just, you know, the time where where I was mining, but yeah, here a lot of diamonds, a lot of stacking up, because there were diamonds in the ceiling. If you didn't know, diamonds are more common down below, so the lower you go, the more diamonds are. That's why I always try to, you know, be at a 
a low level. And here you can see also, I just fought this enderman. This enderman teleported away. Literally, I, I could not hit him. He just teleported away and then he died. Oh yeah, I missed some diamonds there too. But I was again digging and I missed this cave and I, I think yeah, I found this cave but it uh, just went forward. Here again, me sorting my items and shulker boxes. I had three shulker boxes. One with blocks, one with random items, and one with ores. Yeah, here I literally dug one block under the cave. I, f I, I didn't, I couldn't find the cave, but there is this one. And yeah, this is not the one, but it is a next one where there were so many monsters, bro. There were so many monsters. It's incredible. But why have you been noticing? I'm I'm doing this in one tag. I have never done voiceovers, so I'm just you know I I tried you know warming up for speaking earlier. And yeah, wait, this is a nice round room. I like this this one too. Yeah. And I just warmed up, and now, right now, I'm, I've been speaking for eight minutes straight. And uh, you know, it's just—it's really interesting. I've, I've streamed before, so I have—I don't really have an issue with talking just to myself because I, I'm literally talking to the screen right now. But uh, you know, you're listening. If you're still here, by the way, I, I'm really thank you for for that because I have no idea how many people are still here. Probably like I don't know, ten percent or something. I don't know. By the way, this. Here is the cave with the many mobs. Look at this, look at this. There are so many mobs. This is incredible. And um, yeah. And what I want to say, yeah. Uh, with my YouTube analytics, it, I hate watching, I hate looking at my analytics because it's always so demotivating. But you all so often see, like, in the first 30 seconds, see, like, 50% or 60% or something like that, like 40 to 60% literally clicking off instantly. And so many people are like, like I don't know, 20% are literally clicking off in the first 10 seconds. I don't know why they clicked on the video, maybe by accident or something. But, uh, you know, and then sometimes after... I often have All it like... Alright, oh, this yeah, is okay. enough. Don't, I do not know. want to anymore. It's been like two hours or so. I've... I do not need that many resources. I just, yeah, I, I do not, I do not want to continue. I, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's time to dig up and go back now. Oh my gosh, I don't know it now yet how it will be doing time lapse, bro. This, this replay mod time lapse. I don't know. Hopefully, it's gonna look good. Well, it. Yeah, because it's a two-hour time lapse, so I gotta cut it down to like I don't know, ten minutes or so. Yeah, let's let's just see how I do that. Anyways, there's also gonna be a time lapse of me mining all the ores, or well, not all of them, most of them with fortune. Recap time. So, all right, here we have all the random things that I found in structures. By the way, yeah, these were from terra structures. Here are some nice fish heads. And I music this, you know, I didn't get a lot of, you know, those random resources. Alright, here we have it, here we have a lot of Blackstone Deep Slate and another bunch of Blackstone Deep Slate. And here you can already see, but I'm gonna put them in my inventory, a bunch of Deep Slate Redstone, Iron and Gold Ore. And now this, okay, before we, before I get into this chest, guess how many Diamond Ores I have, alright? Just stop the video, type it in comments, guess, and I'll show you now. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> yes! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a half stacks of diamond ore! Bitch! <laughs> Hello, bro! And yo, know, this much redstone and this much gold and bro and you know even some deep slate coal ore which is what honestly one of my favorite blocks but yeah this was a big chunk of mining bro well now i'm gonna i guess kind of sort it into my chests and then i'm also gonna build a little tower here and i'm gonna mine most of them i've decided to improve my storage and i'm gonna do that with item frames Currently I have signs here, but I also want to have item frames that are just, you know, a little bit more hidden that display the things. 
Okay, perfect. I am now done with this and this is looking way better. I like it way more. I do not know if the item frames cause lag. That's why I initially just, you know, made the science and science also makes sorting easier. But this also is beautiful now. Yep, I'm making a netherite hole. Let's go. And I'm gonna also enchant it with unbreaking, free and mending and obviously also some efficiency 5 but I forgot to get that. You know this here right here is my chest. I want to keep gilded blackstone and deep slate coal ore because those two blocks are just one of my f some of my favorite blocks. I just love how they look, especially the deep slate coal ore. It's sadly so rare that you know you don't get a lot but you know if you get some then just don't mine it with silk touch, not fortune, just keep it. Like, look at this. This block is sick. This is such a cool block. Such a cool block. Alright, time for the time lapse now. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse as much as I did. This was a huge tower and alright, I want you to guess how many diamond blocks I've gotten. Yes, this is another guessing game. Edit your comment from before and guess how many uh, diamond blocks I've gotten. I have left myself with... Oh, where is it? Yeah, I've left myself with <laughs> one stack of deep slide ore. But yeah, alright, 3, 2, 1, I'm gonna show you. Yes, <laughs> stack and 12. And look at this redstone, four and a half stacks of redstone blocks, bro. And then the lapis and gold and iron and... Bro, I love this. I might go again, well not today, but at some point I might go my diamond mining again. I'm gonna make a diamond beacon right here in the base instead of this one at the bottom here. I'm just gonna place it on a podest or something, I don't know. If you were wondering, which I know you weren't, it, this right here is my chest with netherite and diamonds. I do not have that much netherite, I've got some upgrade temples, but now I've got two stacks of diamond blocks and another stack of deep slate ore, which will be, I don't know, 16 or something blocks. So I, yeah, I'm pretty much at two stacks of diamond blocks. I think this is enough for now. Yeah, got a lot of fortune free and the silk touch pick and I'm just gonna, you know, sort this right here into this chest. I've, yeah, I've also done some things down here, this is pretty good, but I just don't look at them all the time. I want to go exploring to get some more resources before I build my base here. I already have gathered quite some resources from previous explorations and farming and stuff, but I just want more and I also want to stall it out because I still don't know what the hell I'm gonna build here. So this is gonna be the day of farming. First I want to go, I guess, northwest because I have never been there and I don't know how many others have been there. So I will just, you know, go a little northwest and make a portal roughly right here and then go to the overworld. And obviously while I'm in the nether I'm gonna kill like some ghasts, I'm gonna get some really nice quartz and I'm not also going to, you know, collect some resources along the way. Hey, I found diamond horse armor, nice. I'm right now, by the way, <laughs> I've collected some quartz and some bone blocks and some mushrooms. Yeah, this is me exploring the nether. And now I'm out here in the nether fortress. I might get a wither skeleton skull. I might get some loot from the chest. Let's see, by the way, this is the perfect way to kill wither skeletons because you can still move under it But they cannot and this is really filled with wither skeletons cause god damn This is in a soul sand valley Guess who got a wither skeleton skull on the like I don't know sixth or something wither skeleton here Yep, it is me. Let's go. Good that I have like six shulker boxes here and then I've got my ender chest and in the ender chest I also have nine more shulker boxes so I can collect literally anything I want without having to worry about any inventory space. Alright, time to get another one. If you've noticed this guy's head is bigger and yep, 
because he collected a skull from another guy that I just, you know, eliminated right here. And now I got two skulls. This is going literally faster than last episode when I wanted to farm for a beacon. But yeah, I guess that's because it's on Souls and Valley. And then a Souls and Valley, if you did not know, more Wither Skeletons spawn. So, but yeah, the drop chance isn't higher, it's just, you know, that I'm killing, you know, quite some weird skeletons here. But I think I've looted every chest here. By the way, this is where I'm at on the map. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go a little bit more west, and then that's roughly where I wanna, you know, portal to the overworld. This is, by the way, what I've got right here alongside, oopala, alongside this right here. So I've got these two skulls, which is pretty, pretty good. And I've got some, you know, some nice diamonds, some horse armor, and dodge. Yeah, I didn't find an armor trim or so. I don't know if you can even get an armor trim from this one. But, yeah, it's pretty good loot, in it? That's the reason I like exploring, because you get just so many items that you just wouldn't normally get. Like diamond horse armor, or saddles, or, you know, those things. So let's continue. Okay, okay, I found a bastion. I have looted enough bastions, but I think I'll just, you know, get some of the gold from here. And some, maybe I'll find some netherite in the chests. I've looted, as you can see, another nether fortress here. Not much. I'm killing all the ghasts that I can see, because I first I want their heads, and second I want their... Yeah, we have a head plugin. And we. I also want to have some gunpowder and some gas tears. And now I am right here at another bastion, and I'm gonna see if I find something cool here. In the last one, I had found Soul Speed Free, which is great. I already have it, but, you know, I can sell it. And I've also found, you know, upgrade template and some other nice things. It was actually the exact same bastion type, so yeah. Now, last time I didn't record, now you'll, you'll get live commentary and oh my gosh, ancient debris, let's go. Yeah, this is just uh, some nice things. Okay, yeah, it's, I really like Gilded Blackstone, I'm just gonna, you know, take this and then every single chest that I've looted, I'm gonna just mine so I don't accidentally loot it again or something. And I think there's a chest right here, but uh, I'll, I'll cut forward to when the next thing happens. Guess what I found to this bastion? Right, another bastion right next to it. I guess this is a bastion looting episode right here. Yeah, this is what I got from this one. Also here, you know, for still from the fortress. Yeah, some, you know, upgrade templates, some ancient debris, nothing. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, this right here is a display of the things that I have gotten from the nether so far. It's been, I don't know, mm -hmm, probably an hour, an hour exploring the nether. I'm a bit far, I didn't want to go that far, but I'm just gonna make a portal right here and then go the way back, uh, which is eight times the path. This is already quite a long path. Eight times the path back to spawn. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna be finding a lot of structures, I hope at least. Because we've also got the Terrible of Mod, and with that there are some custom structures and those things, you know. And obviously I have ender chests with extra shulker boxes, so if I find like an ice biome, I can mine some blue ice or those things. Okay, to the overworld I go. Go, let's go, let's see what is in there. What the hell, oh my god. I am probably under an ocean, because this portal here led to height minus seven. I do not want to explore the caves, that's what I did in the last episode, but I'll just dig up and use my elytra. Okay, I'm sorry, I just can't resist, I just found diamonds and I want to find some more diamonds, because this is a huge opportunity in this cave, and what the hell is this spawner? It's an open spawner, this is really cool. Like, this has a base spot, wow. But it, it doesn't even have a chest, bro. Man. Alright, I'll cut forward to when I'm done mining diamonds. Oh! No, the diamond burned! Alright, I am out of here. I <laughs> I had gathered a stack of diamond ore. Yes, I was down there for a little bit too long. But here I am, 30,000 blocks away. Uh, this is where I'm at and <laughs> this is where our base is and this is where I was at last time. Oh my god, I'm gonna go in a straight line to the base. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's what I got, a stack of deep slit, or here a gas set, I'm really glad about that, and a nice spider's head, and I also mine some clay and moss block, cause, you know, I need them for my base. Hey, yo, I just found a pink sheep, god damn, and by the way here, just, you know, there was like nothing, and now there's just a small island, we've got the continents mod, that's where there's just 
way too much ocean. But here's a nice pink shape and nice here I got his pink wool. Sadly didn't get a hat from him but I you know got the wool and I'm just now gonna place it because that's how I am. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue searching. I, 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 I don't know where the hell land could be. I just find islands. There's also a brown sheep. Nice. By the way, <laughs> I'm just slaughtering everything here. Don't, don't wonder. I want some, I want some nice steaks. So I found a cool coral reef and these damn phantoms are going through water and they're annoying as hell. And finally sleeping. As you can see, I'm not too much of a fan of phantoms. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna get some corals. Yo, look at this island which I just found. This looks pretty cool. And <laughs> this one up there as well. Yeah, that's the turtle of mod right there for you. You've got some flying islands, but they're kind of useless because there's like nothing on there. But there's just, you know, some trees, some moss. And if you're wondering, yes, I here I've started here. There were like three islands. I have no idea if this was an island, but I suppose so. Then here was another island. Here was another island. There are just water in between. And here I'm still again at another island. This continent's mod is driving me crazy. But it lets you appreciate land more. Here, I'll I'll show you what is on top here. Those are pretty cool. I think Col Colonel is building on one of those, on one of the big, bigger ones. And yeah, they're pretty cool. I really like the design. They're just, you know, you know, you if you've seen them a few times, then they're, you know, getting a little bit boring because there's no resources to get from here. Well, you could get some moss and coal if you don't have that. But and I, I think I even got my cactus from here. But you know, it's just it's nice and cozy and cool. And down here is an island again. These islands look pretty good, especially with my shader. I mean, my base is on an island itself, so you know, I like those islands. And this island is even better looking than mine. I might, I might try to get some ideas from here. Yeah, I'm gonna just screenshot this part and maybe kind of replicate it at my base. Hey, I think I found a land. Oh. Uh, this my oh no, this is another island, but this is pretty cool. I've already mined terracotta in one of my last episodes, if you haven't seen that. But for terracotta farming, this right here would be a beauty. I mean, just that it's 20,000 blocks away. But you've also got some gravel. I think I'm actually going to take some of this pot so and gravel. And yes, I finally found a bigger bunch of land and it's already starting to be more useful than the entire ocean than I found before because, you know, you can't really loot those ocean monuments because you just always get the mining fatigue. And you can't really open treasure chests because then the server crashes and, you know, some ruined portals are here and there but you don't really see them all the time. So yeah, time to gather some resources, EP. Alright, I have gathered some potsol and some brown terracotta, both are blocks that I'm gonna have for my base. My base is gonna have like a brown color palette, I feel, I think. It's gonna be like brown and green, that's, you know, it's, I think, a good color palette for my base. And, you know, potsol is really, really helping for that, and obviously the terracotta as well. I also thought about getting some gravel, but I think I can get that elsewhere, and it will just clog up my shulker chests, because, you know, I don't have infinite amounts of them and I can just farm gravel whenever I need it somewhere else. And I think I'm gonna just pick some flowers right here while I'm in this nice flower forest. Okay, I've changed something about my settings. I have removed the underwater fog. Now I can see if there are... Oh, nice, there's an island. If there are any ruined portals or such under there. I'll get it back on, but you know, just for now, for exploring, I think this is better, because right now, bro, this ocean here is so boring, there's nothing, like, if you're just flying over the ocean, you see not a single thing, you just, you know, see the, you just see the ocean, and there's, like, nothing, so I want to see what's below the ocean, at least. Maybe I'll find something, let's see. Whoa, yeah, this, bro, these oceans here are so deep, this is incredible. And hello, dolphin, please stop moving, I want your head. Didn't get his head. Okay. Hey, yo, by the way, this was just a birch island, but I have found a really fancy biome. If you're wondering, this is just a changed color of leaves. These are just, you know, dark oak leaves, but I think I found land here. This, this looks a little bit like land. It could be an island, but 
this is sick. It's like a huge mountain. Oh, I sadly do not have silk touch on my axe, but I'm definitely gonna get some of those blocks. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool here. I really like this. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I got some nice mushroom blocks and mushroom stem. These are gonna look wonderful in my base. As I said, I wanna go a little bit for a brown tone. Um, you know, the more I'm exploring, the more I'm playing, the more I get some ideas for what I wanna do in my base. I wanna, yeah, you know. Wow, I have to say, this right here, look at this. This is a huge gigantic enormous flying island this is sick and down here we also have some more blocks that i'm going to mine and this might be even land right here this hero sadly an island but this might be land it looks like it's an island let's just see but there are so many flowers here i will be getting a stack of each of those flowers i'm telling you <laughs> Ayo, hi, I got some flowers and as you can see this is huge up there and I have spotted land over there. I do not know if this is another island because I thought this here would be land but it's another island. But I am appreciating every single land, uh, bit of land I get here because you know I've got resources from here, I've got resources from here, I've got resources from here, and I'm gonna get resources from here too. So I'm just gonna get some pot soul. I think here I don't not. Oh yeah, hi there's me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get anything more from here. Maybe some of this mossy cobblestone. But yeah. Hey, so I do not care if this happens to be just another island. It looks a bit like it's just another island. But look at this really cool biome I found. I found this previously already and I found bigger versions of it. I thought about mining here with a beacon, but it's just a little bit too small. I might find a bigger version of this biome and if I do so then I'm gonna mine some with a beacon because I've heard you can just have a tier 1 beacon uh, and like have just haste 1 to insta mine terracotta. <laughs> yes, someone wrote it under my comment after I've placed a huge beacon to mine my other terracotta. But anyways, I don't think so I will. I don't think I will get this clay and such here, but this is a sick area. I love it. There are many, many resources, but I just have most of them already, so I will not collect them. All right, did I, did, I, did I say that I don't want to collect the resources? I actually have just found right here, this is literally where I flew around. I found some of this terracotta here and I'm gonna see how deep it is and then I'm just gonna place a small beacon and see if I just need haste one for this. Okay, yeah, uh, this is like five blocks deep. I think, yeah, I'll, I'll mine a little bit with my beacon. Oh, indeed. Thank you so much for, for who wrote that comment. Because, yes, you can just insta mine it with a small beacon. Wow. Yeah, well, now it's time to get some of this terracotta. Because terracotta is honestly one of my favorite blocks. Whatever color, I, I just love it. And oop, there are monsters. Oh no, oh no, spider don't kick me off. <gasps> okay, I got a good amount of terracotta right here. This is awesome. Just time to mine the beacon again. I don't need that much terracotta. I just, you know, this inventory full of terracotta is enough. This continents mod should be literally called the islands mod. Island here, island here, islands, 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 islands. I have only found islands, nothing that is like bigger than, I don't know, 500 blocks or so. These aren't continents, bro. <gasps> These are just islands. Maybe I'll find like a big continent here or something. I guess this right here could be a considered a continent where we have our spawn. But also here, yeah, here we've got a continent, but here are also uh, just so many islands everywhere. Uh oh, yeah, I'd, yeah, let's let's see. M maybe I'll find something. I mean, I found really cool biomes here. I found really, really interesting things here so far. 
exploring has been worth it so far even though there is just so much ocean and if you are still watching this this was probably a long video because i'm talking so much there isn't happening that much but i'm just talking way too much and, and yeah so you, so you seem to like the video so just play, press the like button and if you want to see more <laughs> subscribe oh gosh you don't know how much i hate those plugins but you know you, you gotta sometimes say those things I would consider this being actual land here. We've got even an ice biome, so I might mine some blue ice. Yeah, we've got this small little biome here. If it would be bigger, I'd put a beacon down and mine it. We had something here, and over there we have some more pods, level, which I'm not gonna mine anymore. I've been killing all the cows and such because I need XP for my elytra. And you know, um, yeah, I'm also gonna kill those because I also want their XP and maybe they'll drop ahead. No, no, okay, they didn't, didn't drop anything. But let's see if the island continues. Well, the land continues here. No, okay, it doesn't. Um, I won't loot the ship, but I will see what is in there. Yeah, I will cut it in if there is something significant. If not, then not. Good. No, no, okay. I've, uh, just off. All right, there are many recordings here, you know. Once I found land, I can record many things, but look at this what is up here. I have once already found this. This is just a small island up here, but this is where I, I think in my episode for the frog light farm is where I got my cold frogs from, but look at this, this is all calcite here, and oh, uh, oh, okay, this is not the case right here, but there is also blue ice and such, but it's a hassle to mine, and I've got an ice biome right here anyway, so I won't mine this, but generally, this is one of the gems of the things that you can find here. Okay, I mean, I was all the time in warm biomes and in oceans, now it's time for some winter land, I suppose. I cannot open shipwreck chests because otherwise the server will crash. Because the treasure maps mess up in some way, the terrible thing and yeah. But yeah, we've got finally some structure here. Yep, now finally got land. I'm gonna see what I can find over yonder. I think you can see what I did. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a huge ice biome. I'm just gonna... This is, I, I can't explore all the things here, I don't want to explore literally every single chunk here, because I've still got a little bit of a way to go. So I'll just, you know, follow this direction. I'm still, wanna, well, how far am I away? Yeah, still like 15,000 blocks. Excuse me, what did I just find? Bro, what did bro do to land up here? <laughs> what the hell, bro, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> in a way yeah we we got a lot of ice there isn't too much going on but it's better than just a bare ocean i'm well, still exploring i i kind of i kind of want to return i kind of want to return but i'm still excited to see what's in this direction i think like past here people have already explored things but you know in this area i still have my own free space where no one has been at you know i haven't said something in a while well for you it's just been a second but for me it's been a while you know this this area here it wasn't too exciting then i found some islands here and right now i'm just you know still in the search on the ocean but i'm gonna be really close so just wanted to say something here in this part because it's it's been quite in, in total it's been like you know quite a big chunker but yeah, you know, I think I've found like most of the things that Terralove has to offer. Or maybe I just got unlucky and didn't find some cool biomes or structures, I don't know. But um, yeah, I mainly found like, you know, those sky islands and, you know, I've, I've, I've seen them already enough. Like they, they don't have any resources anymore that I'm going to need from up here. And then I'm just finding, as you can see, this land here is, was also, also basically an island. It wasn't really anything big. And here, you know, let's see. Yeah, this is also just another, another small island. And, you know, I don't really need anything from here. I think this is gonna be, you know, I, I won't explore too much in the further episodes. I think I'm gonna just stay at my base. And if I need any resources... Oh, nice, I have two cow's heads now. And if I need any resources, I'm just gonna, you know, ask someone if there's a biome anywhere or, I mean, I've discovered enough already now and I can just, you know, go there. There is a pink sheep. Nice. Oh, and some pink wool. Nice. 
I don't care. It's, it's really time to finally start building my base. I mean, I've gathered quite some resources. You can't see them because they're in my inner chest, but it's, it's quite it's quite a lot. It's It was worth it to explore. It wasn't just, you know. Hey, yo, look what I found. It is a fancy forest, and we've got like a savanna type-ish and a jungle thing here. This is really fancy. And there's some rooted dirt, but I won't mind that. Oh, there are all our blocks, and I think I will explore this area. It looks it looks interesting. Maybe there's a structure. I'm mainly at, a, at this point just looking for structures, or maybe some terracotta or other blocks that aren't usual everywhere and that I don't really have yet. For example, like this, right? Right here, oh no, never mind, there's nothing in it. Okay, alright. Bro, alright, bro, wh what the hell happened to this? And why is the sand all here? Mind, was there a person? I mean, we're 8,000 blocks from spawn. This is. I mean, a, p a person could have already been here, so it might not all be new chunks. But <laughs> what the hell is this, bro? Okay, alright, someone has already been here. Nice, I'm that far away. So you have to be this far away so that no one already was here. What the hell? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go in a straight line now back to the base. This here is a nice, cool and a little bit bigger island, but I don't think I will find any unlooted structures here anymore. And yeah, it's time to return now. But I'm glad I found a bigger island here. I wouldn't call this a continent either, because bro, I have never found a thing that I'd call a continent here, but I found bigger and smaller islands. Alright, guess where I'm at. I am really close to my base. And yeah, this this last bit there hasn't really been anything and uh, but I think that this exploration was good and that oh, there's my base and that I have gathered quite some resources and considering how other islands have looked like this island is, is pretty cool could be better but I, I, I like my island because I'm just gonna you know terraform it a little bit more and then it's gonna look even better and you know if I have a render distance slow then I won't see that damn island and I won't properly see that damn island and that one neither so this looks like more of an isolated island if I just have a lower renders distance. Let's now see what I've gathered from it. So first off here I have just some you know some food and some things because I needed some XP from the animals to repair my elytra and here we start here we have the ghast head and pig step soul speed 2 some <laughs> stack of diamond ore then my obsidian which I'm gonna yoink and oops and also here my spider's head and this don't find them's membrane and <laughs> And here we have some nice smithing templates, soul speed 2, soul speed 3, and another soul speed 2, then some gaps, some ancient debris, some obsidian, some gold, some nice golden carrots, and all those things. And here we have a lot of nether quartz, and some wither skeleton skulls, diamond horse armor, some nice bone blocks and saddles, and over here we have corals and podzo, and over here we also have more podzo and some mushroom blocks which are awesome, and we have some nice flowers and here we have a ton of terracotta pots and brown mushrooms. So yeah, this, this was a nice exploration. I got quite some materials. It could have been more but you know, it's it's still things that I needed and that was pretty good. I didn't really find any structure. I literally found no desert temple. I found no village. The only structure I had found was, I mean, Bastion and Nether Fortress obviously, but that were sunken ships, ocean temples and into our portals. I have not found a single other structure. Uh, but well, those fancy biomes and literally all those islands here. <laughs> but uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit richer now in resources and I can now in the next episode, yes, subscribe to watch the next episode because there I will be starting to build this base and area. I will First off, remove this gravel here because it's ugly. First off, we're obviously gonna start with this gravel site here because honestly, mate, hey, this is ugly. Like, look at this, bro. This is just, <laughs> this is just a side of gravel, man. Compared to the others here, this is, this is, oh hell no. So let's get right into building a beach here. I'll show you how I do that in the time lapse. 
First thing I did was remove the top layer of the gravel, then obviously all the other gravel things. Below the gravel was stone, so I also made sure to remove that, because, you know, I set my beacon to haste too, so that went faster. Here I just layered out everything, but then later on I made sure to make like a little staircase so that it goes down, because I wanted to have a flat beach at the ground. So that's what I'm doing right now, I'm just, you know, going down to the height of the sea level, here it is time to add the sand, I obviously already started with the outside and then I made sure right there you can't properly see it but there was a little cave there, a water cave and I filled it out with sand as well. Here we now have our flat beach, then here I started to make a stone, a rock that is standing out and I really like this one because later on it's gonna look even better and here I also made another small rock right there. Then I made sure to add the grass layers on top and on the side here we still have the grass gravel and I just placed a lot of stone above it so we have some stone sticking out and it looks way better because a stone side looks better than a gravel side in my opinion because I'm just not too much of a fan of gravel. Then right here I start making the sides because the sides, you know, if there's just sand on top and nothing below then it looks worse and like this, you know, we have that sand beach. It's a quite a steep drop down but that's still fine. Then right here I'm doing some little improvements and also at the side here with the cave. I'm improving the cave a little bit. Everything here and there, some nice improvements. And yeah, as you can see here, the camera is going over to this island. I wanted to replace some of the gravel, because this is a gravel island, with some stone. Yeah, as you've probably noticed, I'm not too much of a fan of those gravel things, and I like stone way more. And as you can see right here, there is a cot. And I have added all of the sand right here and the grass. Now it's looking even better. It's not just a black shore and also you know some little improvements here and there and this is basically the finished product now I hope you like the time lapse now this is what I call an improvement this took a while but it is way better if you want to have a side-by-side -side comparison here's just this gravel side which is I don't know but look at this I, I finally have a beach I've also improved areas like this I've made like a little cave here and all those things this, this is a nice beach now I don't, I don't know yet if I'm going to keep this side maybe I will now I've also added some slabs and stairs and I've also moved those things of course it's raining now but here you can see the finished product it is wonderful at least I like it it's going to be improved a little bit in the future but for now it's done the next thing that I want to do is cover this part right here with some nice brown carpets and I will also make sure that there are free carpets stacked on top of here to prevent pigments from going out this is done now this looks a little bit cleaner and also, I've added this slab here, this is a little better, here is by the way my heads that I have and I'm gonna expand this <laughs> with some more heads in the future, but I've also added some carpet here, uh, it looks like this, way. oh hold on, it looks like this, I do not know if this actually keeps off uh, zombie pigman from going through the portal, but let's just see, cause I had some wandering around and I don't really want that and one thing that I will also remove is those <laughs> down bells bro these look so ugly <laughs> what the hell? I will now also remove this pain point here I mean it looks kind of cool having this pool here but I just want you know a ravine to be here because right here you can see it's also you know it's just this little thing that's blocking it I honestly should have made a time-lapse with this but this right here is what I mean I cut off all of these parts here and just um, continued the ravine here I might yeah I might have just could have just you know made this a little thinner but I just decided to do it this way and you know you can like sail with your boat in here or something well you can't climb the walls but I might just make you know some wood here and those things on to the next thing I've stalled it out long enough it is time to build my actual base here I've done everything I could but I just want to build my base now but I just never knew what to do so I'm just you're just gonna see me experimenting with things now in this time-lapse 
First thing I did was remove my AFK chamber here because it is really ugly and it was also a bad AFK chamber because it was next to the portal and I always had those sounds. Then right here I made a water stream and drop down down to the path down there because this is also the other drop down down to hide minus 64. Here I started making the walls of uh, my little pond here and also the path upwards. I implemented a lot of different blocks here which I really like. I'm gonna like continue that a little bit bit further on and here I made a kind of waterfall this is another path a water stream down there and this time lapse is really really sped up here I continue making the walls of this container right here and here I finish up this path downwards as you can see down there is water where you can drop down there is also the soul sand and right here I start covering up the bottom of this and this is on both sides and also the middle and here I will now uh, start finishing this pond right here. This is basically a container for water. I will improve it later on. I'll give it some life. And here you can see I have implemented three different blocks. The further down you go, the different the blocks are. And here a pillar. Then right here will be a cut. Yes, this was the next day. Here I made an arch with stone over this nice thing here right here. I just, you know, made the arch. And then here I removed some dirt. And here the promised ladder upwards and obviously you know some some wood that you can land here with your boat no one will land with their boat but here I lit everything up and then added the terracotta to everything I connected the things and right here I also made sure to cover up every single thing of the bottom floor right here as you can see I'm just covering up everything right here we've got our shulker box on loader I'm just placing blocks around everything I will I will maybe improve that in the future but I just wanted to have this as a base thing and yeah just you know placing blocks everywhere right now and also obviously for this water elevator I also added some blocks here and below the path also because so it doesn't just fly in the air I want to improve this side later on and right here this is pretty pretty a lot sped up I'm filling this whole thing with water and yeah, thanks for watching Tunnels. I've now finished the base part of all of this and I am unsure, I mean, I like this side, but this one ain't my favorite. I think I'm going to change this in at least some way. I'm also unsure of the terracotta style. I will definitely 100% add some things like greenery, like trees and mangrove. To continue building my base, I need resources. And I'm gonna get those resources by exploring. Yep another one so let's go do not wonder this is me right here in the replay mod this is from my last video the thing I had made to you know make the cool time-lapse yeah this is how it looks like because I have an issue because I want to report something that I did that I am really unhappy about yep right here as you can see I placed my shulker box here this is my shulker box uh, if you did not know I don't have an image sadly of what was in it but I had two stacks of obsidian I had three stacks of iron blocks, a beacon, my netherite, fully enchanted netherite hoe and fully enchanted uh, netherite axe in there and some other small things like a bed and such. It was just my toolbox, you know? Oh yeah, I had my maximum enchanted bow in there as well. Like, it's it's a valuable chest. And guess what happened with it? Yes. Okay, so basically this right here is a note block. If you press it, then the shulker box gets destroyed, which is really useful. What was I doing in the time lapse? I was building the things right here and what do you know? You can also press it from below here while building and guess what happened yes right here it is destroyed let me uh, pull back a little bit so basically right here I am currently building down here this is roughly at one time speed and look look at this I want to place some blocks right here and here I apparently accidentally activate this and then this gets destroyed I literally sneaked, I have no idea how the hell I activated this. <gasps> oh yeah, it was because I placed a block under the note block which changes the note blocks thing. So I just didn't notice that I changed something. I, I didn't I didn't hear the sound and then I just continued building and it's right here. All of so many valuable things just being destroyed. Yeah, unfortunate. 
So I have to get those items back now. So yeah, I guess I'll the beacon that I have left at my base. I'm gonna go haste to and mine my two stacks of obsidian back because I need it for po nether portals and ender chests. Okay, I, I got my obsidian. I have my water bucket, shears, arrow, and flint steel back here. I also now have you know my diamond axe with which I'm gonna enchant with the things here. The only thing missing would be sharpness, but I don't care at the moment. I could upgrade them to netherite, but I won't yet. And for the bow, I have Infinity Flame and Unbreaking. I would just need power 5, but you know, I'm just gonna enchant those. And then I can continue with my things. I won't farm the beacon again. I will farm like all my beacons I still need from my base here at some point. But just, you know, it was my mining beacon to, you know, mine blocks somewhere. And I, I don't know, I'm just gonna get it once I need it. Because, bro, this is so unlucky. I'm sorry for for the setting in this video right now. It's just, it's just that I'm don't like losing my stuff obviously anyways let's continue with the thing that I wanted to do in this video all right I am right now here at the drowned place this here is a huge deep ocean so they spawn at day and at night and you know I'm trying to get some nautilus shells because I want that thing and I'm at, at seven right now and I just need one more I also want a trident or two and look at this cave I found here <laughs> there is diamonds here Diamonds here, diamonds here, diamonds here, and diamonds here. Like, and here. Like, what the hell is this cave? And I'm, bro, okay, okay, little time lapse of me mining those damn things. Like, what the hell is this? Okay, I'm 36 now. I found uh, five earlier on, so, bro, I've got 36 diamonds right here. I, what the hell? This cave, what the hell? And I'm gonna mine them with fortune later on, so I'm gonna get even more, bro. Okay, we've got two trident guys here, and I only have one air bubble left. Let's see. Let's see if you live. I mean, it's lagging anyway, so I'm not gonna lose HP anyway, so... Oh. Okay, first one didn't drop anything. The I second mean, you one. Are lose XP. I mean, HP. Second it's one didn't like, drop anything wait. either. I Bro, this is, a <laughs> this is a guy with a trident and a Nautilus shell. Bro, what the hell? I didn't know this oh. could be. Blood Let's see. Maybe he drops both. Uh, he just dropped the Nautilus shell because it's 100% and not the uh, thing. Oh, well, I have another Nautilus shell at least. Exactly. Look on the bright side. Yeah. Hey, I got my trident <laughs> and I have some more diamonds. <laughs> but yes, I have my diamond and right here I have now 11 Nautilus shells. This is awesome. I think I can return now. Oh, there is, I don't know, I think this is a fishing rod that this guy has in his hands, but I think I can return now. I am happy this made up for the losses. Yep, this is a fishing rod. Okay, I have gathered three stacks of prismarine blocks, by the way, I got some <laughs> more diamonds and now glow squid head as well, but I have mined some prismarine here from this absolutely mental ocean monument here. And uh, yeah, I just need it for, you know, the Nautilus shell, for the thing, for the conduit. Yeah, I've basically hollowed out some of those pillars a bit here, you know, being quite far down low to not get the mining fatigue. My water exploration is done now. I have nearly three slacks of deep slide diamond, or I tell you, this terralith altered generation here is crazy. Because the oceans go so down, deep down that you already have the caves and such down there. So you can just find the diamonds in there. Because in water they spawn even more. Yeah, then I have got the prismarine, glow squid head, not a little shells and trident, some glowing sacks. This was way more successful than I thought it would be. Okay, it is time to craft the conduit. Yes! And I actually didn't plan this out, but I might as well just place it in here. So let's see if it would fit. So it would basically be here. Then we have those blocks. Oh no, this is oh no, this is bad. Okay, so we have these blocks here. Yeah, okay, this should be fitting. Yes, let's go. Open your eyes, mate. Open your damn eyes and here we are going to finish it and I think this is now going to have the full power and yes full power 
power conduit. Let's go, man. And I have a little too many diamonds. Oops, and a little too many diamonds. <laughs> I'm gonna farm a beacon and make a diamond beacon. Just cause I can. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to farm some wither skeletons. I am right here in this other one bastion. I had once been... What am I talking? Bastion? I mean, never fortress. And yeah, while waiting for them to spawn, I'll, you know, make a big platform or something here. Or I'll just get, uh, go around killing them. Let's see how many spawn. But yeah, I've, I've, I've got some quite some already, but I, they didn't drop yet. I'm doing this with Loyal and Keeves, but they're at a different fortress. Because, I don't know why, I just, you know, didn't want to go to this one. They are at this one right now, and I just went a little further to get the... Oh, never mind, there one of them is. Hi, let's go. Oh, he's getting the... No, those are mine. Those are mine. He literally just died, bro. Oh, no, there's no way. He literally just died. Died. No way! Wait, I gotta unmute. Bro, what happened? I was recording, you died. Yeah, I went to the Soul Sand Valley one, found two wither skeletons, turned out to be like five. Oh god. Where did- Oh yeah, no, I, your items are safe. Just get over here. Uh, should I get them into a shulker? Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's what killed me actually, a blaze. Yeah, uh, okay, I collect them, hopefully. Yeah, it's all net red anyway, so yeah. This right here is a big cut because I have got nine wither skeleton skulls. We farmed quite a lot of a time. They, I think uh, Keith's got two skulls and Loyal got one skull. Yeah, I, I killed I killed a bunch more with her skeletons and um, I also stayed longer and stuff. But yeah, I have, I have nine now. I also got a bunch of bones and a bunch of coal that I just threw into my chest here. Here I'm smelting some iron. And yeah, this was pretty successful. I can, I think I can now build my diamond beacon. I'll just, you know, build it like once I have a place for it, but... <laughs> <laughs> this will so be so goofy. All right, it's time to fight the withers now. I've got some, you know, golden apples, potions of healing, some light sources here to light up the paths, and also some soul sand and the wither skeleton skulls. I did not know what to set my beacon to, so I set it to strength too. I could have also set it to maybe like resistance and regen or something, but I just, you know, decided to do strength too. This right here is where I fought my first wither. I think I'm just gonna, you know, just dig right here in this in this direction. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> nice, bro. Oop, oh, maybe I won't take in this direction. Yeah, there will be a time lapse and also my POV on this screen. So yeah, have fun with that. I won't be commentating. Oh uh, well, maybe I'll actually do a voiceover. Let's see. I'm just gaming too much. I even got all three Wither Head variants. We've got a plugin here that drops mob heads. And yeah, I got some diamonds. He destroyed some diamonds. I was really mad about that. But yeah, I got my three nether stars. <laughs> Roach, I also <laughs> said what, how <laughs> in the chat. And yeah, it was pretty cool. I didn't need any gaps or potion of healings. I barely took any damage. This strat is broken, I tell you. All right, it's time to make the free beacons. Let's go. And I've also placed this beauty right here. Uh, we have on our head wall now all free video variants. I'm gonna put one beacon in here because this is where I'm going to need it uh, once I get my iron blocks back. But the second one, I don't know, know yet where I'm gonna place the diamond beacon, but I'm gonna just, I don't know, stomp it right here. And I'm gonna just keep the third one in my ender chest, I think. You know, just in this where I've got my trot and I got my expensive stuff here, so just, I'm gonna just put it in there while I don't need it. 
You know what I'm gonna do next? <laughs> I wanna mine most of this deep slate ore. I'm gonna mine these three and a half or at least stacks of diamond blocks. Oh my god. Oh no, my fortune pickaxe is gone too. Are you kidding me? I have to get a fortune pickaxe. Alright, see you in the time lapse. Okay, I got a f little bit of diamonds. I was, I think, a little bit unlucky with fortune. I have efficiency zero on this uh, pickaxe because, the, bro, my other pickaxes were also in the shulker box that got despawned. Bro, I had like three maxed pickaxes there, one with netherite, and they also despawned, and I couldn't get efficiency five because loyal isn't selling it. Uh, so it took forever because the server is also lagging like hell, bro. I tell you, the server, every time there's more than three people on, it's lagging. I mean, here, yeah, Fling Pills and Roche are FK right now. I don't know, maybe their farms are overflowing or so. But yeah, it just, I had to mine every single block twice. So it, that might have been why it uh, also has taken quite a while. But yeah, well, at the end, I now have all of the diamonds right here, which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. And in total, I now have enough. I have enough to make a beacon out of diamond blocks. <laughs> this right here is my base and I really want to improve it. Because first off, it's not even done yet in any means. And second, it looks ugly as hell, bro. So I'm gonna just slap you with some time lapses <laughs> and show you how I do those things. Alright, let's go. First off here, I made a wall with the mud bricks, which is really an improvement before. Because look at this, this flowing arch isn't really the best, so I just, you know, made a big wall, and I will improve it in for sure. Here, I just made it so that it goes into the thing over there, so I just had the uh, stone and terracotta overlapping a bit. And then here, I add some walls into the wall to give it more depth. I could have also added blocks that go further inside, but uh, and, or like there, so it didn't. And here I repeated the same thing on the other side. I made the pillar here on the left overlap a little bit and then placed the wall and you know made it a little bit more beautiful and also made a second pillar here and improved the general wall here and also added those small walls right here. Then we're gonna be flying around a bit because I just added some small things and was AFK in between and right here I am co finally covering up the shulker box unloader. I won't cover up the top part but I just covered uh, the bottom part because I, I might do the top part in the future but for now the top and bottom part is fine right here as you can see I did some it looks a little bit you know like a house like a cast like a ruin thing I'm gonna improve in the future here right now you can see I had added a little river it is beautiful and here finally this part it will not be flowing anymore well, floating anymore, and I, you know, add the base things with the pack mod, and then I just with terracotta make this gorgeous wall here. You know, it's it's going it's going kind of in an arch up there. It's overlapping at the bottom. It's going up, and yeah, here you just can see I'm also adding some light because every, the entire island is spawnproof. Now here I repeat it on the other side. I first of clean all of the things and then just you know place it right here and I also do some improvements here like the carpets and such and well <laughs> it was a little mistake here I add a pillar because I just don't want this whole thing to be floating so I just add a big pillar which I'm gonna improve a little bit in the future you're, you're gonna see it real quick and yeah here just to do some things on top oh uh, yeah here you can see I add the bottom layers as packed mod and here I get ready to make another pillar this is a little bit tilted and also supports the family. Hello! This was either a good or a bad time lapse, I don't know yet. I hope I will uh, do a nice voiceover for it. But as you can see, I just did a little more improvements after I did the time lapse because I accidentally uh, stopped recording a little bit. Let me show you around. By the way, don't wonder about my second hand. I have retextured my totem. <laughs> so it looks like a hand. It certainly didn't work properly and I, I didn't myself. And you know, the left part, it's trying to do like the 3D thing like right here it, you know tries to do the 3D thing but you know still it's pretty funny no gonna lie 
fine. I've probably covered all those things that I've done here in the voiceover, but I want, just want to say some things right here. First of here we have this wonderful wall, this is just better than the floating thing. Here we have some nice lanterns and I finally have... It looks, it looks finally better, it's just, you know, the floating thing was just... Yeah, I just didn't like the floating thing because now we have this proper base under the base basically and <laughs> Here we also have some pillars here I've got a tilted pillar because I didn't you know want it to be too close to those because I still want to have this Underground cave right here and if you are wondering you can still go here I didn't you know flash out the walls properly, but I still have this area for when you you know land over here So this is still pretty cool and up here as you can see I have added things to this pond uh, this beak, don't worry about this beak, and uh, I'm gonna move it. Right here we have some, you know, more rocks, so it's not as flat anymore, and we, I've also added some bushes here. I will add more grass in the future, and I haven't covered this up here yet. I don't know if I will, but yeah, I've also, you know, added some nice depth here, because I didn't want the, all of this here to be just flat, and I've also, you know, this right here. These fences here give the whole thing a bit more life and everything I just you know I can add some more heads to, uh, at the back here if I need to and yeah this is just generally it's just way more lively the space it just looks way better and I'm gonna keep it like this keep the style like this and even more detail further on but I think you can see what I am going for at the moment and I made sure to make everything spawn proof as you can see maybe in my top top left uh, okay never mind yeah but here is it a block level of four so no but nothing can spawn here oh yeah but here's a nice water yeah starting the recording keeps is visiting my base now and it's reaction he already went here for a second and didn't record but yes yeah. this, this is it yeah i forgot to let you oh my it, god it's it's, pre it's pretty it's pretty pretty far the terracotta the terracotta and the water look amazing yeah and here i have a max Ooh. conduit yes oh yeah Open your eyes. Oh, the look, look at the detail. Oh, like, look, look at what what are, what all of the blocks here are. You even bubble columns here. It's a funny oh thing. I know. I saw and that here, do you column. see this? Here's a a stem which is dark underwater oh. and then normal oh, above. Cool. Yeah, and I, I really like the moss that. above blocks. That's yeah, so the cool. moss definitely. Don't don't the mind the beacon. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love how you like made it structured like there's stuff on the outside it's not just like you know oh you mean down know. here oh yeah wait let me go down yeah there. on the unders <clears throat> on the underside and i love the packed mud over on like the base of it oh yeah uh look, look over here wait i have three different variants i have either packed mud wait okay i guess you're going this way oh, sorry i thought you were trying to show me over here where are we at no we um at? here we have the packed mud and then here and the things above here under the water I have the further down the water goes the oh. different blocks I have here like this terracotta and this so and that, the cool. other one and then here as you can see I've used walls in this wall so to, to get I a like little that. bit more depth the other thing would be yeah here's here's here you can nicely go up but oh. here's also you know it's a little bit darker here for example yeah here's the terracotta a bit darker oh, and then like you can this. just hop down uh, wait, oh, come, the come. poor, the poor axolotls. <laughs> Papone, how could you? <laughs> you wanted to get axolotl heads. Anyways. Wait, wait, let, let's finish. Yeah, let's I finish do. down there. Um, then right here we have. You, you might want to go in oh. free camp for this one. Uh, we have oh, this that's... ravine here that I've changed, and we have the stone here. It's not mud into stone here. It's uh, mud into terracotta. It's you know stone into terracotta. Yeah. This and we have awesome. this little arch where it goes in this ca I, I haven't edited this cave yet. Uh, I don't um, I might. Um, Ooh, the area behind your nether portal is really cool. Yeah, wait, okay, <laughs> that, okay we go, we're gonna go there, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh uh, my god, the phantoms. The phantoms. Yeah, I gotta get in here. We're, we're in safety down here. Oh, it's oh, fine, oh. they're coming for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here we have a nice elevator. This one goes down, and this one goes I up. I got you. I got you, Mr. President. <laughs> Bodyguard duty. There we go. There we go. Alright. 
here we have, you know, a little bubble elevator, and here we come up. Ooh. Wait, let let me. Yeah, here, bro. I I did a little, maybe Ooh, a little amethyst. too much. <laughs> too much. No, this is good. Oh my god, the lodestone in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're rich if you put a lodestone. Yeah, somewhere. look over here. Wait, look over here. Uh, <laughs> I put an ancient debris right here. <laughs> oh God. Just for fun. Yeah, look at look oh at this. God. I got here the, the thing. I got yeah, many I bees. This. I like my bees. Yeah, here the bamboo and the white thing. Everything matching up. Because you know bamboo, really similar color. But then here, look, yeah. uh, deep slate coal ore. Under here, deep slate coal ore. I love yeah, that, that block. Nice. It's it's a really cool block. And, oh so yeah. <laughs> here here's some other detail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Oh, up here yeah. is just my redstone. I haven't, I haven't touched it yet too much. But yeah. Look look at this. I've implemented next to the mossy thing because it also looks mossy. Ooh. The copper blocks. And uh, yeah, you know, here's some here's some things over here in this corner, some candles and a thing. I don't know, I just oh, placed this minecart here. Yeah. Also windows so I you like, can see. I like the cobweb. Yeah, yeah. Bro, uh, bro, there's so much, like everywhere, like here are the shulker things above the shul of above my chest with the shulkers. Can I ask, what's the point of this? Me and Loyal came over, like, last week and we just sat here, yeah, <laughs> doing this for about 10 minutes. <laughs> for about 10 minutes he stood here and I pressed the button for him. Oh, it's just for this, like I can place all my shulkers here, oh. and then I can unload them. Oh, thanks for the beacon. No problem. Um, <laughs> my last one despawned anyways, and then I can just destroy them like this. Oh yeah, this is by the way how I lost my beacon last time. I placed it here oh, and okay. activated this by accident. But yeah, there's just so much detailing here <laughs> everywhere. It's, you know, I, I didn't do any of the detailing uh, like before. Like I was just doing it all while waiting for you to, to come here. So, oh really? Yeah. I love this area too. I don't know why, just the random like banner paint, like not random, but I love everything. Have yeah, I, I love the sign. <laughs> yeah, and here you have like the two oh things. Oh my god, a mushroom. Yeah, yeah here's my bed. such a tiny. Yeah, here's my bed, yeah. and all those blocks, yeah. Like you... <gasps> no way, chains connect up perfectly to heads. Yeah, if you, if you pl know that. place the heads on the side, yeah. These are, you know, my shulkers. And uh, yeah, yeah, also here, for example, on the portal, this I've added cool. amethysts, because, you know, a portal and amethysts. Oh, this is looking so good. <laughs> I love how just, like, busy it is in here. I love it. Yeah. And just like the random <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna do more redstone things. <laughs> That's gonna be oh, sure. my ne next episode, you know? Next episode I, I wanna do exploring, but the one after that. Oh yeah, I'm right now sorting those things because while building I just put my things in there. Yeah, yeah, and, and the time lapse on how I... Because you know, I did, I'm did. i doing this over two videos and the first time lapse that I made was you know about the beach and b making kind of the thing here and then the next episode was improving improving it well you didn't see the bad version but uh, i it was a bit worse and yeah you'll see in the videos but i'm yeah. um, so bro I, and I the time lapse i like your base more than mine <laughs> i think i'm liking it here more than at mine <laughs> sometimes i like a smaller area like this i don't like I get the opposite of claustrophobic in my base. It's just a giant mountain I gave, I like mined out. Yeah, your your storage systems, it seems a little bit tedious to go through. For example, here you just have, you know, you just go from, yeah. you know, you have, if you have soul well, speed. It's just a giant, like, well, oh, I, I do like that feature. I might have to take that and do like gray carpets or yeah, something. Yeah, and then you have like the signs and the things. So it's, it's the best, it's the best storage I could have ever wanted to make. So it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, what I want to say that the second time lapse of uh, the video I think I am recording right now. Yes, this is gonna be a big extension in the video. Um, yeah, the time lapse of that I, is so incredible because I was AFK during that quite a lot, and I was just you know sometimes just hopping around and doing nothing, <laughs> and I managed to. Like, you, you don't notice that in the time lapse. There are so many times where I'm just AFK or doing nothing, and you just don't notice in the time lapse. And 
bro. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah, oh, I'm I'm getting way better at the at the time lapses. I love it. Exploring can be beautiful in Minecraft, especially when you have custom biomes. Terralith and continents make landscapes like this possible. This is why it's so beautiful to explore on the Craftopia SMP. And what's also good obviously with this is that you can gather all of these resources here. So we'll just place down a beacon and start mining the terracotta. That were now enough resources from here, I have gathered everything that I wanted. Because I didn't have those resources yet, so I just wanted to get some, you know, some nice yellow terracotta and red sand and also some calcite. Oh look who it is, a patrol, I'll just gently ignore them. Now I happen to be over here at the giant mushrooms and I also want to get their resources, so I will mine them with my axe with silk touch. I have found a really interesting cave right here and I'm gonna see what I can get from here. I'm already seeing those things but sadly I think you cannot mine them with either silk torch or shears but I will try. But there are just so many mobs right here that it's gonna be a little bit difficult to navigate. Okay this right here is funny. Here we got some parkour. Yes finally parkour skills are useful. And look at this, there are so many enemies right here. But yes, you can actually mine them here with shears. That might be due to one of our data packs, because we have one that enhances vanilla things. That might be the reason. It's pretty cool, because I really, really like those small drip leaves. Okay, so apparently the data pack does not work with grass, so tall grass and tall fern is still a rare item. I am really glad it is. Whoa, this is a pretty cool room right here standing out of the water look what I have found I oh, I have searched for this and I have finally found it a really really cool and cozy bee cave right here it's just a small thing but it's really funny and I really like it oh no please don't escape I want you no no no, no. come back please yes no, not you two. No, no, I want to keep you. Oh, whatever, bro. Okay, wow. In this chest was something called Royal Jelly. What the hell? Glowing has to saturation, speed, absorption. This is going straight into my ender chests. What the hell? And this is like the greatest loot. I love exploring exactly for those reasons, so I can find things like this. I don't think you can mine those with anything fast. Look at this. You can't mine it with anything fast, not even not even shears. Yeah, nothing. So I don't know if I'm gonna get many honeycomb blocks, but I'll get some, I guess. Th this was this was a monumental find. What? This is gonna be like one of the rarest things ever. What the hell? Wow, this looks incredible from up here. What? <laughs> this whole ocean floor. I'm right here on a floating rock. I do not know why this exists, but you know it's from the Terror Lift mod. But look at this. This is this is so so weird. And I will be jumping down. Oh my god. And now Elytra. I am here in the ocean and here are some nice sea pickles that I'm also gonna need for underwater buildings because they offer a little bit of light and they also look good and you can even place them on land. This is a nice and sunny beach and over here we have a wonderful beautiful area for villagers. I might copy some of these building styles for myself because goddamn this is good looking right here. 
I'm gonna loot a bunch of this. I mean, there isn't anything big here. I already looted the rune portal. It's just a small, tiny village right here at this beautiful coral reef. But over there uh, might be, you know, desert temple or such. So just let's see. Wow, look what I found. Whoa. This is like Mesa, but you know, with a little twist, bro, what this, this is a huge mountain with so, so much terracotta. I will definitely be mining this one here. What oil in a way. This landscape right here is incredible, look at this, wow, and there is a small village even here. Look, this is how, it, this is where I mine my things and this is how it looks, this is, this is mental. Mental, mate. The way to get those is with commands? Yeah, no, it's from Terrell, if there's a zombie horse, bro, what the hell? No, that is the one head I wasn't gonna be able to get, if you get that head. Please. Bro, bro, Man, bro. You, dude. bro I'm ski. assuming you're far out so you wouldn't be able to take it home. No, bro, I'm 10,000 blocks away. I'm not taking 10,000 blocks over the ocean, bro ski. Exactly, which is why I want the head. Okay, well, oh hold on. Okay. I mean, you could. No, I'll you kill could, it. Uh... No, I don't. So, should I kill it? <laughs> I, I no, you don't have to kill it, but one thing you could do is put it in a boat and put it through a nether portal. And then just give the quartz to him, and, and it's his problem. No, well, I'll kill say, it. Screw I... that. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I was gonna say, Jesus. I think it's a 100% chance. Okay, would you please sell that to me, man? Please, oh, hell, please, uh, please. hell yeah. Okay, what are you gonna want for it? Ew, look at what I have found. Look at this cave, okay? I cannot fly through this that fast. Oh my god, I have to sp slow down. But look at this. There's like a hole to the... F this is like a hole to the, to the depths of the nether of the underworld like look at this this is mental this cave really really cool but i don't think i'll loot a lot here i'll have to see but yeah it goes even down further this is sick i have found a villager outpost <laughs> i have found a pillager outpost yippee let's see what is in the chest a Goat horn, the greatest of all time. I don't know, it's pretty, 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 pretty here. Pretty cool. I'm gonna take some banners. So I've been searching for another zombie horse for like an hour. I found another one. I found a second one, but it did not drop a head. Look what I have right here. By the way, here was the first biome where I looked. This is this biome where I'm at right now. And I have to say, I mean, this is what it looks like, the icons. So I'll remember it for myself. But let's see, all right, will I get a head? I did not get a head. Damn, these are actually rare. What the hell? I want you to look at this beauty right here. This landscape is looking like from, I don't know, like a build server or something. Here you've got that island. I don't know why the chunks aren't loading. Here you've got this island and you've got the trees and then the mountain. And here over here is a plateau. And here you have another mountain. This is crazy, bro. I have found a really interesting underground structure right here. And it also has a chest. Nice blast protection. I don't think I need to rest. Yeah, loyal. Oh, oh I'm taking, gonna take that. But yeah, this is pretty cool here. Yeah, some nice, some nice broken house. Oh, there's a chest too. Let me see what's there. All right, okay, some more blocks of copper. The rest, I don't really need the rest. And I'm gonna just dump all my items in here because I <laughs> don't need them either. I have found a really interesting cave right here. This is quite a big one. Whoa, and it even has a mine shaft and some diamonds. Yippee, I found an enchanted golden apple. Let's go, man. Yippee, look at what I have found right here. First off, we have this wonderful mountain and second, oop it up. Second, we have this, look at this. I found a mangrove swamp, finally. And you know, also some pretty area and also this this is like the most beautiful scenery because there's so many biomes blending into each other and i'm glad i can share this with you like this is this is 
Mine whoever says Minecraft is a bad looking game, that, that's just lying, bro. Wow. Damn. Hey, yo! Look what I found! A Terralif structure. Hey, yo! This is sick, bro! Alright, let's see. Oh, this already looks like a beauty to loot! Oh, hell yeah! Look at these! Look at these! Oh, and villagers. Time to just break into houses, bro, and start looting. This is a raid. Okay, well, there's not much in there, is it? But candles, and I like candles. Hey, yo, what is this? Is this a boxing ring or something? <laughs> there's a toilet. Hey, yo, what? Yo, this was an aquarium. Oh my god. That's sick, I'm gonna build it as well, maybe. And like down here were beehives, up here were beehives. Here is some bee thing too. This is like the bee guy's house. And so many candles. I mean, obviously if you have that many bees, you can make those candles, but I will take them all because I really like candles. Hey, yo, let's go resources. Damn, look at this, there are four chests filled with things, but I don't, uh, won't take any, maybe the honey bottle. Okay, I've now looted everything except for the castle, so let's see what is in here. <laughs> this looks like calf space. A rabbit's foot, triple eye hook, let's go. Okay, this was a pretty nice place to loot, I've gotten some materials from here, which is nice. Could probably take more if I just, you know, tear down the whole place, but I think I've gotten enough. If you're wondering, which I think you aren't, this right here is where I'm at, I'm, and I'm gonna be heading back to base now. This is, you know, the path I took, kind of. Dude, <laughs> look at him, look at him go! Oh, I'm gonna maybe crash into something. Hold up! <laughs> But well, look at me go! I just thought this is funny, following myself with the free cam. This is not. Wait, I have to go slower. Yes, like this, like this. I can follow myself. <laughs> it's kind of goofy, not gonna lie. <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, there's a rune puddle. I'm gonna go to that real quick. <laughs> While I'm flying over the ocean, I'm just, you know, <laughs> flying around here and then here with my free cam looking if I see anything of value right here. Because, you know, if you're just in this vision, wait, uh, what button is it? Yeah, if you're just in this vision or something, you cannot look around too much, even F5. So just, you know, this is pretty fancy being able to, you know, fly around here. Oh, yeah, like, look, like, let's, yeah, just, this is, it feels so free, you don't have... Yeah, you don't need to look where you're flying, you can just, you know, fly backwards, for example. That's pretty cool. By the way, I'm not... I'm ignoring literally every ocean temple because I don't have any any milk or something and I don't want to have mining fatigue for four minutes, like, for however long it is, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, I need the sponges and such, but I'm just... yeah, no. And I'm also ignoring shipwrecks because every time you open the treasure chest, then the server crashes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm about to be home again. As you can see on my ho on my way home, I have literally only found ocean. I have not found a single land. <laughs> um, but luckily here I found two continents, as you could say in another video that you might have watched. I also traveled and literally only found islands, so I'm really glad that I have found three big lands this time. So that, that was pretty cool. And yeah, I'm pretty close now. I can see it. Yes. I am back. Let's go. Yippee. Thank you very much for watching. I don't know. I wanted to have a different approach with this one because usually I'm just way too energetic, I feel like. And I'm just screaming at the camera, basically. Well, don't have the camera. I'm just screaming in the microphone. And this time I wanted to have a little slower approach. 
So I hope you still like this. This is an intervention because I want to record it. I'm right now trying to save Sam <laughs> real quick right here because she's a little bit lost in the nether. And yep, these are the cards, all right. Okay, I have... Oh, that's, that's actually not too far, to be honest. Could be worse. Oh, wait, actually the, those cords are just right here. Somewhere here. Up there, maybe? I'm confused. Person. Oh, hello. <laughs> You've dug into the wall, hello. Food. Food, here you go, I've got some... If you don't do you if you don't want to chew on gold, I also have some steak. No, that's fine. Well, I can give you some more. Must be starving. Very. The fisherman. The fisherman is always oh. starving. Or uh, yeah. Okay. So um. Yeah. Um. I'm just. Let's just. Let's just go. Let's just dig. <laughs> it's the safest way. Looking for the blue wood, I have some. I right on me. How much do you need? Well, I just needed the fungus, but I have that now. Oh, okay. I need to go for the wood shop, but. Ah. See, yeah, I've seen. Wood. Yeah, I've seen you made a big place ready for that. Watch out, there's a, there's a hole. <laughs> Yeah, the schematic is in there, but I just needed some small blocks and plants. <laughs> okay, we are really close. Um, did, wait, hold up. Oh, yeah, you have an elytra anyways, let's just... <laughs> yeah, and, and you're home. Thank God! <laughs> <laughs> What were the issues? I've, I've seen you were at the bastion I was once at. I think on one of the first days. Yeah, I saw blocks like this and I was like, that might be spawn. And then I got the advancements. So I was like, no, that's not spawn. <laughs> oh no. It's far away. <laughs> oh no. <Dang> yeah, <laughs> this is the path to your base. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I think I'm gonna build my uh, redstone commission shop now. Yeah. Because I, I have made a machine for, you know, the vote voting system, for voting the mayor, but I thought that might just be a little too complicated and people might just want the simplicity of just having a chest and, you know, yeah, that's what Harvey suggested. Yeah. So I just placed a chest <laughs> in the From tunnel. a builder's point of view, yes. Just a chest is for fit. Yep. <laughs> Alright, have a good day. Same. Bye-bye. That was an interesting encounter. It was really, really fast. I mean, with the mini-map, to be honest, it's really fast going from place to place because you always know where the cords are at. But, you know, nice little encounter. I decided to build a redstone commission shop on the Craftopia SMP. And I have built myself a schematic of what I want to build for my shop. This isn't everything, this is just a small thing for receiving the commissions. I'm gonna build other things too, but this is just the thing that I had planned for the voting thing, but we all decided to just have a chest for voting instead of this cool mechanism. So I just edited it a little bit and now it is perfect for a shop. And I'll get right into the time lapse of building it. Okie dokie, this is done now. This here has kept the same, but right here I've made a little funny machine where you can just hop up and hop down again. And right here I've made a machine that just pushes you forwards and backwards. 
Uh, yeah, this is pretty funny. I just thought I'd throw them in here and then here I made a crane right here You know you got your class here. You got your weight on the other side and you got this thing I mean it isn't you know <laughs> It isn't too realistic, but I just wanted a small variant and here I've got small containers I could have built them bigger too, you know, but just uh, I wanted to uh, didn't want them to be too big yeah, right here Sam has finished their shop, and yeah, this is pretty much my shop. As I said, the way it works is, you know, prices depend on the product, and I provide the resources, and yeah, you get your book. Well, I don't have any books there yet, and then you just put it back in, and yeah, basically this is how it works. And yeah, the issues could be, to, for example, that the book is landing somewhere, then you just either pick it out here or whatever, or if your commission book is like the lamp didn't show up then you just go down here and either look if your book is actually there or if you know it's lying somewhere but this shouldn't happen i'm also built a redstone shop i will now light up the whole shopping mountain with frog lights and moss carpets let's go Okay, this is done now and this is looking pretty good. The torches before were a little a little scattered and a little weird, so I thought I'd make some, you know, uniform things right here. If you are wondering, they are, you know, always on the 10 things as you can see here 450 and minus 210 up in the top left and yeah every 10 blocks right here i just placed one this is you know a frog light with a moss carpet on top this all around protection should now keep all of the mobs out i mean obviously there can still be spawn spawning here and obviously there can still some be spawning up here or wherever but i am not in charge of the people's shops they are themselves and if a creeper spawns up there and f drops on your head and explodes the shop then it's not my issue i hope the time lapse was good i think it might have been a little meh because i'm just you know running around placing things that are probably have it sped up quite a lot if you're wondering why there are so many torches here it's because there's snow and we don't want snow and we don't want it to melt and kev's just placed a bunch of torches here and also frog lights can only have a two block radius of melting the snow that's why you know there's still some on to the next thing yep it's still in the video i have made a place for the other things of the shop you can go up here and then you have here repeaters comparators and dust and piston and observer i don't have the prices yet and i haven't filled them yet that's gonna come in the future i i actually have no idea what prices to do for those but let's just see i suppose all right let's head up to the warden yeah let's head to the okay. warden wait i i've got i've got some frog lights so we want to um you know do frog oh lights gosh again. everyone gets to maybe i should just die and then i'll get there quicker yeah and ma make sure um you know frog lights depend on in which direction they're centered so you you know oh. if you don't want them to look like all uh weird up then oh god I can't tell if you can see me or not. I haven't made any noise. I've yeah. made a oh, hell remember, lot of noise. If oh, Morgan's shit. been on, then uh, they'll be able to hear no, you no, just no, by no, talking. No. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. It's by. It's literally. You know the Craftopia Heaps? sign, the O. Buddy? It's in oh. the O. I think he disconnected oh, it, back soon. It's, it's in the. Oh, I see. It's in the O. Yeah, the... yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> yeah. did, did, did you just? Panic quit or disconnect? No, no, I panicked mm -hmm. away and got kicked because oh. the mitras kicked me for some reason. Okay, yeah, here, here, here oh, it is. Right. Here it is. Brotherly love. Oh. <laughs> also, I want to point out. Actually, never mind. I can't. I can't. Basics in the call. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> it's a prank I keep doing on you. Oh. I keep catching it. What? Okay, wait, wait yeah, here. Um, I got a bed, so what if we die. Game? Right here, uh, oh, sad, stack of frog lights Here's for everyone. A... Oh, yeah, let's, it, let's use What's some... this prank? So, I don't know. Um, in, in the bank house says if something's wrong, contact basic. Frog lights? 
Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm changing it to contact wiener. Just, get, just give it back to me later. On signs at my base like 20 times. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay, fair enough, buddy. <laughs> trying to get my revenge a little bit. Mm, maybe I should actually place the bed qu I can't be closer because we're all going to die. Yeah, I'll I have to turn my arm off. <laughs> Ow! Ow. Oh, I'm building an update suppressor so I can make a wireless way back. Yeah, I was trying to make can, a I, repel I, chamber. I, that made no sense to me. No. Don't worry about it. Damn you, skeletons. He's, uh, he's just gonna make it so hey, that can he get... can teleport okay, yeah. to a place every time it. he wants, which is... I'm using some It's the thing where you, like, throw the ender pearl and it e lands. Or yes, yeah. except this one is okay. wireless. Yeah. I don't think I've blown up from so a warden on here yet. Oh yeah, wait here. Uh, frog lights, oh. frog lights. Everyone, come to me for frog lights. I think only you cavs and basic needle and some. Here, hi. Right, that's, I'm, that's I'm gonna put the bed by the track coming out from under the T. Oh no, he hears me because I yeah. can't see. But basic, him. are you are you with us or are you? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm have to set this up real quick. Oh god, I see him. There we go. Just an FYI, I'm gonna record this because I'm probably gonna die once or twice. I'm gonna record yeah, okay. this as well, bro. Oh crap! I don't have any. All right, I guess I'll start with it. How? How? What's? What's? Damn it. Anybody Damn have it. any obsidian? It's called brotherly love. I can't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Keeves, you got any obsidian? No. Oh god. Okay. I never have. I don't even. Riley, why? I... Oh yeah, god! So... Wait, am I supposed to sneak? <laughs> you don't. You don't need to. He's trapped. You couldn't oh, get so blasted I, by him though. But there's a bed here. Just come I... up by the track, and there's a bed. Ow! Oh, oh my god! Did you just armor. get lost? <laughs> oh gosh! I see him. Oh, oh my god! Oh. <gasps> no! Right. I'm it's fine. I, I put a. I put a bed there for that reason. Okay. So. I'll, I'll already start. I already start. Okay. I set okay. my spawn. So, is this the one I can't kill? Yeah, yeah, I guess you. I mean, you can, but you said you can't, so I mean, it's up to you. I don't know where my shoes went. <laughs> wait, wait. No, no, I'm just trying to clarify. Am I allowed to? Uh, I. I. No, no, they said don't kill another one, so. So oh, this so one you can if you want to. Anyone have issues with me trying to kill this one? <laughs> No, it's good. Go let's keep him for now. It's for now. It's funny. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, there you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh yeah. By the way, I'm making my proglets here top change. down, so because that's yeah. a bit easier. So for placing. There we go. Because you know there are different oh, rotation, rotations. Okay, I need to go get obsidian. It, obsidian? Why? For his need it. machine. I'll be up there eventually. I had to collect all my stuff. God, I really need an elytra. Indeed, you can buy Why? one from Kev's. I I think I had sold out so many times. I just kind of gave up on that. I thought everyone had one who wanted one. <laughs> Dude, I literally sold like 15 elytras for. I've, I've gotten so many diamonds from that. I uh, thought everyone had them. Uh, I just I just I just know ones. that. Yep. Someone probably has 15 elytras right now. That's Morgan. He has like 12 yeah. or 13, I think. It's all really? the same person. Damn. Uh, someone said he had a shulker box like half full with them, so yeah. Okay, yeah, I didn't explore that much. I have like five or so. But... Well, I had two or three to my name, and then I died so much in the nether. I have like two left, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the C is done, the C is done. Okay, okay, okay. I know. The second I saw you start, I said, I'm taking that second letter because the further away from oh, the shoot. Land, the better. They actually have directional. Place. Yeah, yeah, they have directional. Uh, I'm placing uh, mine top down because that's the easiest, I suppose, here. Yeah, I didn't I'm I didn't see that was a thing. I, I have to switch it up. The R is Oops. done. How, how are we looking so far? Oh, this is Oh, I forgot sick. to get frog lights. Wait, I, I oh, got you frog lights. I dropped, I dropped you frog lights. Just Unless you died. Wait, where, where are the frog lights? I dropped them in your inventory. Oh god, did I just put them in the chest back down? Before? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Right, 
<laughs> okay, on my way. <laughs> on your way. Yeah, yeah, come come over when we're Good that there's here. wool. Whoever pl uh, placed the wool there, oh, it's a blessing, huh? I'm out of frog lights, Papone. <laughs> You're out of frog lights? Jeez. Okay, wait, I'll drop you more. Here's a more. Here's a stack more. Fire placed a, a letter and a half already. No, yeah, we, we've we got... Oh, wait, there's there's an A. Yeah, okay, we've got three letters. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, three letters. <laughs> Wait here, I'll, I'll do the top row. Do the top row. Jesus, that's so close to the warden. <laughs> no, no, he heard me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I do believe he's scared, guys. Oh, he's yeah. scared. Oh, God. Okay, four letters done. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll do the T. The one in... Uh. Jesus. Yeah, okay. It's gonna do the O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's we could just leave that to last. Let's just do, yeah, do all of them, because you know he he can't. I'm going to the other side. Can't shoot us all at the same time, right? <laughs> he can get us yeah, one after another, fun. though. <laughs> <laughs> Oop. Well, it'll take oh. two shots to kill me. And I have possibly. I have three left, um, and then I'm out. Okay. Yeah, I got more. Come here. Cone here thinking a stack is enough. Person. Huh. Yeah, um, oh, I, I'd need to have K again. But... <laughs> oh god, please don't do that. Oh, uh, someone, it I hurt someone. Be... Okay, Probably. I'm on my way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. That's a bad word, man. <laughs> Language. Language. <laughs> I think that's we'll the gonna, best uh, I've heard. Oh, I've done it too, Oh no. Riley's done for it. <laughs> no, I, I bloody forgot my pickaxe. <laughs> Language. Oh. Uh. oh god. Okay, I made oh. the T. The T is done. I'm, go I'm going to I the got O. Oh, I'm okay. the I see o what you guys mean now. Uh, oh shit. How did you even do this? How? How, uh. How did you get a warden up here? Ah! I don't know. <laughs> I think oh yeah, I don't have any frog. Wait, I'll I'll get some froglets from my shop. Yeah, I'm about to be out too. Uh oh. I'll get some from my shop because I don't have any in my base anymore. Scream. Scream. <laughs> Wait. Ah! Uh, is there a shrieker oh, in the Oh no! No, it? not my stuff. <laughs> oh poor Ty. Take his stuff quickly. Steal. <laughs> I really wish I time lapsed this, but I forgot. I I am uh, right now, but uh, I didn't. Why is everything so black? What? Well, yeah, because he wooden, blinds you. Yeah. Cringe. Uh -huh. So why is there glowstone as well as frog lights up here? Uh, the glowstone was <laughs> not us. Okay, so that was before there was any lighting. Before the letters, I was gonna line the whole back side of glowstone. I see. And I oh. severely underestimated how much we need. Okay, who who who, do, who doesn't have any? Um, that would be my building. Yeah, I'm getting your stuff. Ty. Oh yeah. Who, what? Oh, I I need some. I need some. Okay. Oh shoot! Okay, I think one. I think my helmet. Oh no, he, he can hear me. Uh, ah! Uh oh, is he going for you? Here, Ty. I think my. Why helmet are we doing this again? Lines. Uh, cause funny. <laughs> I, I love the names on your tools. Oh, I, I can't them. rename my sword because it's just too expensive. Them? Yeah, my helmet despawned. Oh no, it's there, it's there. It lagged. Come back, come hey. back. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, Kev's here. I have one left. Okay. Well, Keeves, you want to see something cool? Turn around. You don't. Sure. Later. Oh. Oh, it's not in loaded chunks. Hold on. There we uh, go. Uh, well, the teleporting thing. Uh... My oh, I'm missing a pickaxe. It should have a spell on it. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, there it is. Do all the work. <laughs> well, duh. Duh. Obviously. That's how slavery works. Because if he doesn't, I have to. I don't want to do that. I don't know where my helmet went. It went. Oh, there it is. Oh, the bottom of the A is. Wait. The bottom of the A. Yeah. Oh That's no. I'm trying to... You can't reach it from those. Uh, I have water. Should I let it flow down? No, I'm building a new bridge here. Okay. Yay. 
Teamwork, I'll do it. Okay. Wait, it's 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 got free! It's free! Wow, what a shocker! <laughs> so okay, surprised no. by that. Did you guys just set up. the warden free? <laughs> oh, D no, no. no. That's oh, no. Oh, no. I, it's I angry. Take it credit. Oh, oh I don't have my any god, I see it down there. It's angry. Oh, <laughs> it's so angry. <laughs> Wait, where is it? It's down. Oh, God. oh yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> I I okay. I think when I died, I think when I died, I didn't uh pick up my frog lights. Uh... Wait, well, you're shooting it? Did... No, it's coming to oh. me. No. Oh, oh no. my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Bro, my arrows just go through him. Yes. <laughs> there we go. He's at it. Oh, he's done. Wait, no one move. He's stuck. Wait, why are you trying? No, don't kill him. I need his head. He's yeah, you, you can kill another you one. You want to leave him? Yeah. Is he dead? Oh, Ow! Oh my God. <laughs> he was just out of range. Now he's gonna be able to hit me with the phone. I why didn't do anything. <laughs> Maybe it was Tagrax. I don't know. I just want to kill this dude. I'll help you, but it's what? Does anyone have a looting? That's <laughs> a game, bro. It should be a hundred percent chance drop, but I just I need the head. That's all. So I we're really nah. L let's you finish the thing first. Wait, let's finish. Let's finish the sign first, please. Why first? Oh. Okay. Let's oh. go. Oh, is it? Did dead? you get a head? Yep, I see the head. Ooh. Uh, nice. does anyone have frog lights? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, ah, now it's boring. Percent. No, that that was not boring. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. You guys want to see something cool? There's a new warden in town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe you should run for mayor. Yeah. Uh, That's I, actually I a good idea. <laughs> I'd vote for you. We should all elect a warden. Yeah. Ooh, very cool. Everyone who runs has to have a warden in their place, and we can, like, mm -hmm. put them in minecarts and line them up on the mountain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, go and defeating a warden and is forth. pretty, uh, um, uh, tough. Pretty mayorly. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You say that, but sure. I know a way to kill wardens with just chickens, so maybe not. <laughs> with just chickens. Yeah. Entity cramming. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would just use a bow, bro. Honestly. That's what I did. He was like, like literally two blocks out of range, so he couldn't shoot me. So I was just up here spamming him with arrows. Why? Why are you placing that down? I do need your head. Come here. <laughs> oh, I'm good yeah, actually. Head too. <laughs> oh, where did he go? Teleported he just away. Vanished. <laughs> no, he used he it. Set up to escape the warden. Uh... <gasps> oh. Goofy. Ty, that's a compliment. You're just as scary as a warden. <laughs> oh. Oh. It may just be me, but I feel like you should ask before killing someone. But what do no. I know? I mean, you you <laughs> have to, you have your uh, escape, so it's fine. So you're fine. That's good. I don't have to ask. I'll I'll, I mean, I'll make it a note Loyal to ask you in the, the future. Fear. Loyal doesn't hmm? want me to have his head until the last day of the server. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm with him on that one. I'll 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 help you collect his. I don't I, mind. I I'm not a big fan of. I wouldn't kill him against his will, but I that means I need to find a way to get his head. We'll just ask politely and then give Can't it back. Can't you name skulls to get the skin? You can't name them. Uh, not hey, we did it, skin. I think. Did we? Yo, I where did the warden actually go? <laughs> we I killed, killed it. it. It's gone now. <laughs> it's gone now. Uh, Do you not see me wearing his head? Do you not see me wearing oh, his head? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I, I didn't even have to use my totem. Yeah, me neither. All right. Craftopia sign I'm done. Let's, Let's go. go. Yes. Yippee. Good job, team. We did well. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do anything. Is there a purpose was... of this minecart being here? This uh, yeah, I think away. that was from Loyal's video. He did like his intro of driving down. Yeah, it's it's connected <laughs> to our underground area. Do we want it here? I put it there because that's what he wanted. Oh. I yeah. thought this was just to get the warden up. No. Oh, they broke through the cart. And... Oh, that is cringe. Oh, what is this? Oh, 
Oh, I thought you were going to shoot up. Okay, well. <laughs> shoot up. Shoot down. <coughs> well, that was fun. I'm rich in polished die right okay, now. Okay, fine. I'll go this way. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. What's down there? Uh, my base. And Riley's and Connie's. Is that the mushroom stuff? Yep. Indeed. Okay. I've been there. It's oh, very cozy. God. It feels uh, not have to worry about getting a warden head now, though. This is gonna be <laughs> real nice to have. I'm gonna kind of kill oh. a warden too. I want to head to. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. God. We're dead. We're screwed. Okay. Oh. Uh, and I only just came back. Dumb. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill here in the air. <laughs> oh, God. Bro tabbed out. Where? He's just floating. I punched him off, and he's just floating. Oh. Last time Loyal did that, I just shot him with my bow once, and he freaked I want to build a diamond beacon. Yes, as weird as it sounds, I will be doing that, and I've already prepared a place for it. Well, I will further prepare it right here, but as you can see in my base, I have extended it by a big part. I now want to, you know, have a little more green and a little more water. There will be water flowing here, and I mean I need to still cover this up, but I will myself build a diamond beacon as you can see well okay never mind as you can see i have enough diamonds <laughs> to build one yeah let's let's do it in the time lapse i suppose i already built this without the time lapse unfortunately but yeah i hope you I hope you enjoy that one <laughs> okay, this is done now. <laughs> it's pretty early in the video, I know, I'm gonna do more in the video, but the main thing that I wanted to do for the start here is done. Look at this. <laughs> this is what it looks like when you come out of the nether bottle. God damn. And I even got an achievement because we have extra achievements. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I'll now have to build some things here around it. I won't just keep it uh, with the grass and stuff. Okay, this is now done. I think I've, I might have added a little mo too much flowers, but look at this. This is just, I'm gonna add like frogs and turtles and axolotls too. And this is just, it's, it's, I, I like that it's overdone. I like when it looks busy. Like, you know, over here everywhere, I also have like so many detail things. I just really like that it's busy. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering, there's this dropper here. But, alright, I'm, I'm a free cam, I'm a free cam. Alright, so, I even made the bottom part. I might have some overlapping things here, like blocks going a little bit down, like here, like this thing. I might make that in the future. 
but for now, you know, you've got this platform and this extra pillar holding it. And, you know, I, I, I got my pillars and, you know, this is just... I <laughs> I first didn't know what to build, so I just, I just went with the go and I also decided to make those pillars and put some grass on top and here have some, some leaves and a mangrove and then here the river flowing through with a little pond here, going through here and here and here, you know, you got all those places connected. I want to connect a lot of the water things in the end because I really, really like having water in my base. And yeah, this is just <laughs> and with the beacon in the middle. It's just so... This is this is how I want my base to look like. This is like, you know, I, I just I just happened to have this this way. I mean, this is really cool too, but this is, this is like how... I, I mean, I'm gonna have different biomes, but this is just... This is just one one biome that I really love. I'm gonna show you something real quick because we have, as you might know, the Terralith. Oops, the Terralith mod. Oh, wrong direction. The the Terralith mod, and it can spawn some really fancy things. Um, like some floating islands. Yeah, this one right here, for example, this is just way above the ocean. This is where I'm gonna build my mini game at. I'll build a big mini game. I don't know yet if I'm gonna build it here, but probably. Um, it's gonna be all an indoors mini game. Mini games are just gonna be in rooms, anyways. But I thought I'd just use this area. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I took some inspirations from here. You know, I might I might add some more of the vines, but you know, you have your pond. Let me get a free cam. You have your ponds everywhere, and you have your flowers, and you have your rocks here, and all those things. This just looks, bro. This looks just looks so beautiful. Take a second and just look at this. This looks so beautiful. Yeah, that's why I want to build my mini game here, and maybe you know it's also, um, you know, quite quite high, so I can use the bottom part here to like dig into it. But yeah, this is just what I took inspiration from. And the next thing I'm gonna do at my base, I'm not at my base yet, so I'm just gonna use the mini map. Is oh, I'm. Okay, I won't crash into something, is transform this side, because if you have watched the one of my previous videos, you might know that I have transformed this here. By the way, to see all the videos, I really recommend subscribing, because otherwise you might not find them again. But I, you know, made this really cool beach in one of the episodes, and because, uh, because earlier on it looked like this, it was, you know, just a side like this, like gravel side. It was even worse. And I want to make something different with this. So let's go. I suppose I'll just make a time lapse with this one now. Yes indeed, I have now finally transformed this gravel side too and I actually see now that there is still some gravel left and I will remove that in a second. But this right here was inspired by something I did some years ago on another server and it turned out decent, it's a bit flat, I might change some things in the future. 
but you know I just you know used the natural t uh, terrain and now we got rid of both of the gravel sides here well it was just one big side but you know I got rid of all of it because I really dislike gravel but yeah this is this is pretty cool isn't it I I really like it Wait, l r let me do this real quick. Okay, this is done now too. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, this is. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. I re I, I I like this. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just what I've built today is so, so different. I am gonna need some sheep for my sheep farm because I need a ton of wool. Because I want to farm some netherite, and for that you need bats to explode some things in the nether. So I'm gonna just capture sh some sheep and then build the farm. This right here is a little time lapse of me getting the sheep over to my island. If you are searching for the netherite mining part in the nether, then you can skip ahead a little bit. I've got the timestamps. But obviously if you want to see me build this wonderful house for the sheep, then obviously stay on. Bro, the sheep is spinning around. What is it doing? <laughs> I love when they do that. <laughs> it's spinning it's in the AI is losing it. <laughs> yeah. And the other one won't go up the stairs. <laughs> well, I'm nearly done. They're just a little... <laughs> uh, need a little special treatment. Oh. Okay. That... Oh, there's a, there's a cave. Okay. Uh, I mean, they don't need they don't need that much space anyways. So I'll just yeah, you know. They don't need room. They can just live underground. You know, we can deprive them of sunlight. And... I unfortunately didn't time lapse it, but right here we have the sheep farm. There are just you know not enough sheep yet. I'll just put the twelve in here and then cover it up in some manner. This might be another big cut because I think this were like two days or something between my last recording or maybe one. But I have got and all the sheep in place and now I will make a time lapse of me building a house around this. Yippee, it's done now. I and maybe I'll even edit it a little bit in the future, but for now this is the end product. I just wanted to make a box that is kind of overgrown with this terracotta. I might end up making it, you know, a little bit green with grass and moss on top. But for now, for this video, this is enough. Also right here I made sure that there are two blocks so no mobs or something could jump up. On to the next thing. Netherite in Minecraft is very important. It lets you get access to better tools than, for example, diamond. And I already have some netherite, but I just, you know, need a little more. So right here, the nether is the perfect place for that, and I'm just gonna be digging straight down. To height 14 to be exact. Because that is the best height to do netherite mining at. But you also want to make sure that you are not in a basalt delta due to you know basalt being very difficult to mine and also you not being able to explode it with some beds so this means i just gotta get out of here and over to somewhere else where there is not a basalt delta i've now found my place here in the soul sand valley i don't have a shovel at the moment but i think i can just dig down right here we have so many lava oceans that it's a little bit, you know, a little bit difficult because there will be some lava here and there, but I'll see what I can do. I will now play a huge time lapse of me, you know, digging through the places here and getting some ancient debris. Hope you have fun with that. For your convenience of watching the time lapse, I have added a texture pack which makes ancient debris look RGB. It's just gonna flash in RGB colors as you can see right here. I have also removed the fire because bad bombing adds a lot of fire to the whole room and you can just see the whole thing better if there is no fire. So this is, I mean, I also did this myself in game but I also thought it would be a better viewing experience. And I, you know, just hope this time lapse isn't too fast. There's going to be later on a part where I ran out of beds, and there I, you know, had just had to tunnel around, and yeah, 
For that part I recommend <laughs> maybe setting the video to 0.5 or something speed. It's quite fast, but you can just keep it the way it is. Yeah, have fun with the rest of the time lapse. It's a little bit left. Hi, I hope you liked the time lapse and I have now successfully collected 48 ancient debris. I wanted to go for 350 but I decided to just, oops, keep it at 50, you know. Because I really can't be asked mining more ancient debris, this is horrible. If you're wondering about the path, this here wasn't me, I probably this was Kev's but I um, did these four lines here with the beds and then I mined up here, over here around the lava and then back over here. Yeah, that's just 48, but that's enough for the block. I have a funny idea because I can't seem to get out of here without, you know, digging around the thing because I think there's a lava ocean above me, so we'll just do this. I will just <laughs> dig up <laughs> and then stack up. I'll, I'm just you know, swimming in the lava. I just, you know, I can't be asked to dig up somewhere where there's land. So let's just, let's just see. I mean, I'm, so I'm surviving, I'm still living. And yeah, exactly, I'm beneath a lava ocean. Oh, and there's my path downwards. Nether dawn, yippee. Hey, but there's one thing I want to do, which is using my shulker box unloader again. Oh, this is just so wonderful. If you haven't seen the video or videos, this right here is my shulker box unloader. It just, you know, <laughs> picks up the things and then displays them here and then they get emptied right into here and I don't have to do it manually. Well, I have to manually sort them, but I don't have to, you know, destroy them and all those things. It's a little bit useless, but a funny gimmick. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good amount of the ancient debris. If you were wondering, I ha currently have my texture pack here with RGB ancient debris and invisible fire. I will also probably have those two for the time lapse. Well, I will have had them because it is just way better to see this way and a better watching experience for the viewer. <laughs> because first of you can see the ancient debris better if I find some, and you can also you know while bad bombing you're not distracted by the fire. So yeah, this right here is my current ancient debris and diamond amount, and as you might know, I have extra lols in my base. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what is going on with this one. But I, right? <laughs> sorry, I can't, I can't stop laughing. But I also want turtles and frogs in my base, in addition to the extra lols. I actually have four. I don't know where the other three went. Maybe, maybe they're just hidden in the water somewhere. Oh, here's one. Here's one, he's there, uh, um, but the other two, I don't know. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> mm, not here. Let's hope they didn't fall off the edge here. Oh well, let's get you some more companions. Yes, scene switch. I am currently searching for axolotls because I thought I just, you know, want a little more axolotls in my base, but I can't can't find any here. I found some diamonds, a creeper blow one up of them, but you know, this is a lush cave here, but not really. Any axolotls? Man, I'm finding more redstone than <laughs> than axolotls here, man. I don't want to use my minimap for finding things because that feels like cheating. Yeah, yeah. he's just too basic. <gasps> yes, now. yes. Look at these. He's never oh, gonna sell four axolotls in one place. Let's go. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time for the axolotls here. <laughs> Bro, what is he's doing? He's doing the bubble column thing again. Alright, let's see. Here we have a light blue one, another light blue one. Here we have a brown one. And I'll put the other one 
elsewhere. I mean, they can move through the river regardless, but I'll place it here. And yippee, I have more animals here. All my bees seem to be extinct for some reason. I can't, I just can't see them. I do not know what, promised just doing that too now. I don't know where the bees went. Where did my bees go? Did they all go into nether portal or something? Oh well, my I bees are gone. Did they fly through the portals again? Maybe, I can't find my bees. I can't find the bees. <laughs> I don't think having that many animals at my base is a good idea. They're just either <laughs> flying away, swimming away, or dying. <laughs> oh no. I, I don't think that's. I think that just means you're a bad pet owner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yippee, Axolotl. I think they really like the bubble columns, don't they? Oh man, they're chilling. They're chilling in the river. Yo, look at them going up and going down. Damn. Yeah, this place, this place is really cool. I don't think I'll actually add the turtles in this episode, and I also won't add the frogs because I, you know, there aren't too many blocks around here yet, and I'm a little worried that they're just gonna jump off. <laughs> Or run into the nether portal. I think there's that's where all my bees went because all my bees are gone Yeah, I think either I need to move the portal or I need to move the animals It is now time to visit Sam's space. Here is the portal standing here menacingly All right, let us hop in. All right, we are over here. I've heard Sam has built a new Yes, this is the new house. Let's look at it in free cam Wow, yeah, this is really fitting the steampunk vibe they wanted to go for. Hey, yeah, this is this is really cool. And I already see them over there. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm I'm, I'm recording. That's why I'm speaking yeah. to myself. I heard a YouTuber voice coming out of the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Oh, whoa, this is, oh, bro. I love it when when there is interior being done. Oh, and you use the farmer's delight thing too. Yeah. Yes. What the kitchen is and the basket. Oh, okay. The bamboo signs aren't too fitting, but the rest is real cool. Believe you can. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> it was just <laughs> there, it's it's all it's all in caps. <laughs> it's like wood plan screens. I can read it better, okay? Oh yeah, this is this area is really cool. Bro, I didn't even know this blocks existed in the Farmer's Delight mod. Damn. You can move stuff like that. Damn. There's the rope. Is there anything else over here? No, okay. Yeah. The, okay, now I notice what you mean with all those letters. Yeah, and then I don't know what to put here. Oh, you're already going up? Okay. Oh, is this like a uh, windmill part? Oh no, never mind. It's the it's other like thing. Oh, and you also have a place above, apparently. Apparently, yeah, I can fly through trapdoors. Can't over yonder. Oh, here's the enchant. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of what I wanted to make for my enchanting room, I guess, because <laughs> um, uh, uh, the shulker shop is also, you know, in this style. You know, big glass walls yeah. and. I guess I'm, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna also make a room like this. Well, I don't really have rooms over my place, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. That's yeah, really, oh, <laughs> double lanterns, damn. Yeah, it's yeah, really, really cool. It. And then you just bounce down. Damn. <laughs> That's all. Look at the chairs, by the way. Yeah. Oh, oh, you used the... Uh... sides. <laughs> <laughs> well, my feet are a little bit... My feet, yeah, no, my toes I have a little yeah. bit of a struggle sitting here. <laughs> oh, you, you have extra storage. Anything else on the island so far? Uh, I've seen there's a lot of torching from the video. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm free coming. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating around. Oh, it's a small bamboo farm. Water. Wait, this. It's pretty working good. Yeah, yeah I. <laughs> Starting off good. Well, it's gonna become all all blue in the end, and instead of the orange, but 
Oh, here we also have an area with yeah, wood. Collecting the wood over there. Oh, for the for the wood shop. Oh, and here's here's the old mess. Very cool island indeed. I'll I'll build my own enchanting and brewing room now. Hey. Yippee. Yippee. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Well, that was a nice visit, wasn't it? Alright, I have nine stacks of deep slot in my diamond ore. <laughs> and I'm just gonna build a tower now and then mine everything a bit. Put your guess on how many diamonds this is gonna be in the comments. It's at least, obviously, at least gonna be a stack of diamond blocks. So yeah, let's go enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> Okay, what were your guesses? I'm opening my inventory in 3, 2, 1, yes. It's two stacks of diamond blocks and a little more. <laughs> oh man, this is... Oh, this is great. <laughs> I now finally have the prize money ready for the game that I want to build here. And I also have some extra diamonds. Yeah, this right here. I hear chicken. Oh, shoot. Okay, anyways. Um, this right here is gonna be all my <laughs> diamonds. God damn, brother. <laughs> Look at these, bro. Look at these, bro. <laughs> what is going on with this chicken? Oh no, it's lagging, so I can't hit them properly. Oh no. <laughs> Coal, Coal Man, did you by yeah, chance throw some eggs into my, ah. into my oh, no. uh, portal? <laughs> uh, let's just say Tigrax launched eggs at me, and I don't know if they went in your portal. That's a <laughs> lot of eggs that you launched. <laughs> okay, so they may not all have been at me. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> and they all just died in one swipe. They're dead now. That's your fault. Ah, uh, poor no. chickens. We got them on camera, boys. We got them. Move in. <laughs> uh, no chicken, don't run I'm away. Trying to use cobble. Yay! Run away. Top. Survive. That's what I was gonna do. Die. Okay, you know, I'll keep cobble. one uh, or two. Oh, I have some. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna do like the, the the gradient thing. Oh man, at least it's not a warden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I will be pranking Roje and Coleman exactly with this river. As you might know, they have blue shulker boxes under the lichen here. And I <laughs> wanna replace those with diamond blocks. Because come on, they look like diamond blocks. You gotta be you gotta be right. And I actually wanna make them diamond blocks now. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I'm not doing it because it's two. It would be two stacks of diamond blocks. I mean, I have two stacks of diamond blocks, but I need them for other things too. So, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just place them back. I thought it would be less, but yeah, placing two stacks of diamond blocks randomly here in this pond might not be the best idea financially. I might make it in the future, but yeah. Or you know what, I've got an idea what I wanna make. I'm just gonna make a smiley right here, like this. I'm gonna make a smiley out of diamond blocks. Yes, this is a little better than... Oops, oh, okay, that's still stay. Wait, that's still stayed on, nice. Yeah, it's a little better. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna take the blue shulker boxes with me. I mean, I've paid triple the price for them, so... <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's... Uh, I guess that's sorted now. We now have the crafter on the Craftopia SMP. And I'm gonna replace all these chests right here with just two chests with the crafter. Because these are all slime balls and I wanna craft them into slime blocks. So let's go. Alright, perfect. That's done. It's really simple. Basically what we do here is we have the items going with a hopper into the crafter and then if they land in the crafter and they become a full block then this right here this redstone clock will just spit out the thing but let me put more in here yes then it just will spit out the block and then it lands down here hmm but this doesn't seem to always work um i might um need a better redstone clock let me let me real quick do that maybe maybe this will work yeah, this will surely work. This redstone clock will be active more often, which might be not too good, but at least it works. All right, let's see. And yeah, okay, yep, it works. That's that's perfect. Yeah, ju just you know, just two blocks bigger and one redstone component more, but yeah, this is perfect. All right, that's done. I'm gonna build a, an automatic fuel input for my automatic smelter right here, which will be using the crafter. Okay, as you've probably guessed, this machine converts bamboo into bamboo blocks into bamboo planks and then uses it as the fuel right here for my furnace. Because I don't want to use all the coal all the time anymore. Yeah, this is pretty compact. I wouldn't say it's simple, but it's compact. You've probably seen me in the time lapse trying to figure out how you know a way to make this the most compact and to make this work this is my first day of using crafters so don't don't flame me if you already have knowledge on them i have not played any snapshots but i i've read in the wiki how they work and i think you know i, I got it down all right uh those two were right here work pretty similar and also at the same time pretty opposite so basically right here it detects that there are eight items in here and this lectern here yes i love using lecterns and i also love using target blocks those two blocks are my two favorite redstone blocks i haven't never used lecterns before but now i am and i'm absolutely loving them i also love cal cauldrons if you 
but I haven't used them anywhere here. Damn, what a shame. Regardless, um, you just detect that there is a ninth item. Okay, well, let's actually start up here. Alright, so you detect that there are nine items in there if there are nine items in here it detects that and because here is a signal strength of nine this book has 15 pages which is perfect it could have in theory more and then it would divide um, by a certain thing but i just decided to you know make books that are 15 because that makes it the simplest if I want to do anything with redstone here I've got my books I've copied them yeah this just sends out a single strength of 9 and if this matches the signal strength of 9 or would go above it but this won't go above it because it, uh, the maximum here is 9 and then it deactivates this which deactivates that which activates the redstone torch which makes the thing the crafter drop the item into the dropper then it goes here this here will be a bamboo block in here for a split second then it will go back over here as a plank why is it a plank it is because it detects again if there are nine items in there because right now there are technically eight in there it sends out a signal strength of eight and this here is again set to nine which means this is one because you know minus and then if it's nine it goes to zero activates the lamp and then it's sent down again yeah right here you can see it's just a single strength of three anymore because there's six bamboo in here yeah i have a texture pack <laughs> uh, which makes you know some redstone things a little better where i can see the signal strength this is very useful especially for something like this yeah it's pretty cool i recommend building things like that in your base too i try to com keep it compact it isn't the best looking compared to the sheep farm right here i just you know i i made a whole building for the sheep farm but this thing is just standing right here floating in the air i don't know yet if i'll do anything about it i'll just i guess hey i will just keep it that way i also kept my shulker box on lower right here that way i just you know covered up a little bit of it you know the bottom part of it so yeah i'll just just keep that here and open i mean i i made that look pretty decent didn't i oh yeah no never mind i'm not ending the video i'm gonna make a small sugarcane farm like this without the crafters just a sugarcane farm because i need some all right let's go time lapse that i have actually no idea where to place that at but let's go Yippee, okay, this is done now. I forgot to record the very start of it, but right here, down here, we have, you know, this little sugarcane farm. It works the same as the others. It converts the things into paper, which doesn't, you know, doesn't free up storage space or anything, but I just, you know, mainly need paper from this. I can, I mean, I can remove the crafter if I need some sugarcane itself, but, you know, this is pretty, pretty good, isn't it? I mean the place where it's at i mean i usually like to have my things above ground but hey let's let's be honest i i didn't really want to build anything for this and you know it's just a small sugarcane farm and i guess i'm and i i need some things underground anyways so this is something perfect for being you know here underground right here you can see it it adds a little more a little more depth to the to the island right here Thank you very much for watching, subscribe and goodbye. Here's a little footage of an excellent model to end of the video. You read the title, and first thing we're gonna do is have a place for the villagers, which I'm gonna build right here, let's go time lapse.
Oh yeah, this is a huge cut. This is on another day and yeah, I have my first villager right here. It took forever <laughs> to get him here. Yeah, but I just need a second one now, bro. This took like three hours to find one, bro. I'm doing it with, with zombie villagers, so... <laughs> This is, taking, this is taking forever and I have to do the same thing another time now, bro. Alright, see you when I'm done. Okay, this is a big cut as always, but right here I have managed to get myself a second villager and they already started. Yeah, these were just a few seconds of the video, but this took literally, I don't know how many damn hours. Okay, I have made a new entrance like this, the door will just be really short open and you can go in both sides, let's just make sure, you know, I don't have to use a double door, but right here I'm using a double door, this here right here is for, you know, um, those things when I wanna drive them over. Yeah, also here's some extra security and you know, I'm just gonna now transport the two farmer villagers at the moment over. Okay, that's done. <laughs> Perfect, that, that took longer than I wanted it to, but it's fine. It didn't take too long and he's still alive and now please take your new job. I will take your old one from you. No, oh, it's not that one. It's that work. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. All right, they did it themselves. Perfect. Oh, first one locked in. Yippee, okay, I got my two ones that are converted right here. And the other ones won't be converted, or maybe I will, but I haven't made a setup for that. Now that I have villagers, I can also now finally build an iron farm. Right here I've got two zombies ready, this one is for the iron farm, this one is for when I need it. I'm gonna be using the design from K1 Inc. and using the video tutorial from Schalkelcraft. Let's go with the time lapse. Okay, now the full thing is done. I've made the iron farm here and now I have also made a item filter for the roses and for the iron and it's getting crafted into bone blocks and into iron blocks. I'm gonna just have one output chest here for now because eight. <laughs> This won't get full of iron blocks, it's just a one village farm and here this is taking forever as well. Yeah, this storage is enough. This line here might be too many hoppers regarding lag because our server is a little bad regarding uh, server lag, but I think this should be fine. But now I finally have iron. Yippee. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this episode. This episode took me to record maybe like five days or six days, I don't know. And then to edit, I don't know yet, I'm, I haven't edited yet, but there are two big time lapses here and there are some other things. All right, we're gonna check out Loyal Shop because he said he's ver it's very goofy. And right here- It's uh, very beautiful. Yeah, very and right beautiful. here you can see I'm at height 700. Tridents, while it's raining, is the best thing ever. That's why I love Tridents. It's so good for movement and with a light drop. Oh, and I'm already nearly, <laughs> oh, I'm 600 blocks uh, like I'm five four hundred blocks too high I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm dive bombing down do you think I'll die okay from which angle should I come I mean I'm coming from straight above all right let's I mean, see if I can spot it from like the stairs from stairs all right all right okay uh, I'll be I'll be walking up the stairs let's see all right and we're welcome to shop then this is the bone shop you mean this, this is very cool and also the shop no shop. I, I didn't make that yeah the rocket shop is a bit Random standing around, but I don't. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
bro, I did literally not see this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and why is it in such a random place? You wanted a shop. You wanted a new shop for my for my carrots. It, it's 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 in got a, one. It's 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 like it's like the rocket shop. It's in such a random place. <laughs> it's so ugly. Well, well, the, the rocket shop actually looks okay. The golden carrot one. It, it just it takes up too much space. Yeah. For what it is. Do you have any white wool on you? Uh no. Oh man. I need like three pieces of white wool. Those guys, bro, I Trident deals not enough damage, but it's very funny against phantoms, I, I gotta need, say. Like, three pieces of white wool, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta spend three diamonds, bro. I don't wanna spend three diamonds. Oh no, isn't actually. isn't it like five diamonds? No, it's three. It's three. Five diamonds for two stacks of wool, yeah. Sixty-four carrots, two diamonds, sure. Uh how much do I have here? Uh thanks. Thank you. Look, now I have some food again in my my food chest. Oh, nice. But I don't have any diamonds in my in my shulk or hot bar anymore. Don't don't look in this chest. Two stacks. Da oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, don't don't forget. I, I want to know how many blocks I could make. Uh, I think you could make one and a half stacks. I can make ninety-two point four 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 four. Yeah, one and a half. Loyal has made me a very goofy totem, and it's not the one I have on right now. I'm gonna. <laughs> Get this off and where is it? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. I, was, I hope you enjoy I it, <laughs> bro. Oh my God, he's hanging on my shoulder. <laughs> oh God. Oh, I think. Oh my, I have my. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Put, put it, put it in your right hand real quick, and then look in that five. Oh God. <laughs> like it yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh god wait what if i turn um you bung it off wait wait did, did, did you see it, him it, violently shaking yeah no it still works when i have you bumping off on the shoulder oh uh but it doesn't work in in the thing wait uh i think i have a small a small utility texture pack so should it look um wait where's discord uh should it look like this or should it be bigger uh I, that that's it i think okay okay then it's fine <laughs> it, the icon looks looks like the hanging thing but you know like this it's just not hanging down <laughs> it's just standing <laughs> this is so goofy <laughs> This is so funny. Whenever you have bobbing on and you just like, it's in one of your hands and you just shake and shake and shake, it's... Okay, wait, I'm gonna try. No, that no, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really... Oh yeah, yeah no, I, I just saw it while getting fall damage, okay. <laughs> I'm keeping view bobbing on. Oh, but view bobbing is so goofy. Oh no, oh no, it, it looks so weird <laughs> when I have a trident. <laughs> It looks so weird when Wait, I have a trident. What does it look like? Should we go on Discord? Sure, I, I want to see it. Why, hello. Well, hello. Long time no see. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna watch this. Oh, bro, I never play with you, Bobbing. This looks so cursed. But yeah, th this is it. And wait, if I, for example, would fly up and take some fall damage, then look at this. Th then you see the arms for a oh. little bit. And <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> bro, bro, what was bro doing? What is bro doing? <laughs> What is bro doing? What's happening to him? <laughs> what am I even looking at? I'm looking I at this box. <laughs> bro. I, oh wait, you're you're looking at the back of his head. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Wait, what what if I what if I now um what do I have to do? <laughs> what if I now do this? Oh it doesn't work. Oh, it messes up my shoulder. Okay. Wait, what'd you do? Nothing. Oh motivational. Okay, motivational just breaks everything. Okay, yeah, this is so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Let me get up there again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh I need a chest split, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. It, it's beautiful. But I think now, I'm gonna now if you now if you look at me but I, I'll, in game I'll, you'll also see it. I'll turn I'll turn view bobbing off though because it it, it, yeah. it, distra it distracts me a bit. But the size is good, it's where it's very small. But yeah, it's smaller than wait, a normal totem. 
Yeah, my, do you also know my other texture pack? My, where I have the second hand? Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that before. <laughs> but that's so bad. Looks so, someone wrote in the comments of my video, like, I, I didn't get a comment for like, I don't know, five days and there was this comment. Your totem looks so awkward, bro. <laughs> nice, thanks. God, yeah, yeah, it looked kind of weird in one of the videos I watched. <laughs> yeah. Let, let me let me time send to you the this. totem I have. That's me. Let let me show you like what it looks like for me. Yeah. Like, my left, not sending the whole screen, but like you know, like it's it's still like the normal totem size. Yeah. And I normally have my elytra on, so you know we like. Mm, yeah. on my shoulder normally, but whenever I put my chest... Well, that was quite an adventure and a pretty long video. We are here back at the start. Because guess what? Season 3 is coming soon. All the channels of all the people are in the description. As well as the playlist to the individual videos if you want to go there. In there is also the Craftopia SMP fan server and my Discord server. So like this, this description is packed with all the information you need for the next season. And I hope you're hyped because I am. Thank you so much for watching this. I yet don't know how much views this is going to get. I suppose it's gonna get like a hundred views. I'm hoping it gets more. <laughs> so yeah, goodbye. Have a good day. I'll see you soon.